always been double crocheting in beneath the whole V like that. To do your decrease, take the front half of a stitch, so you're going to come up the centre of the V, and then the front half of the following stitch, so you've got two halves on your hook. And then you just do that double crochet again, but through the two halves. So what that does is it decreases the numbers that you've got in the round, because obviously it turns two stitches into one, but it leaves the backs to fill in any holes so you don't see any holes or lumps in the surface of your fabric. So I'll just show you that one more time. I'll just recap everything that I've done so far. Mm -hmm. So the normal stitch and the only stitch that you're using to make them is a double crochet stitch. You go in beneath both sides of the V like that, yarn over to the point where you've got two loops on your hook and then yarn over and come through the two loops in one motion. So that is a double crochet. To make it get bigger, the instruction will tell you to double crochet two into the next stitch. And what that means is, rather than moving on to do one in this V here, you go back into that same hole to do a second one like that. So that's how it will grow, that's how it'll make, make it get bigger. Then the final thing to make it get smaller again is a double crochet two together. You come up the middle of a stitch, down and up the middle of the following stitch, so you've got two halves like that, and then do your double crochet but through those two halves. And that honestly is absolutely everything you would need to make a level one animal. So what I've done there, just to put that into context, is this is a, a leg. That's my six in a ring that I did initially. So there you say we'd go up to 12 stitches. There you go up to 18. And then where I'm doing those decreases, making it get smaller again, is somewhere like here, where it goes from being wider, is you'd be putting your de decreases in there. And that's what then gives it shape. I mean, can I just say, that in itself is a book. Mm -hmm. Like, you have got... It isn't level one, you're going to be able to make one animal in level yeah. one as a beginner. This There's is 12. Be yeah. You've got 12 yeah. animals yeah. to make with, you know, this, this sort of method. Fab Demo ordered the book for my son, who has decided to try crocheting animals. Yes. Give it a go. Yeah. And, I mean, this is what's brilliant, is that new hobbies and new crafts, if you decide, right, I'm going to take up running buy the new trainers you get that it's mm -hmm. actually expensive whereas yeah, this is, is something that is there's really not a lot of equipment you, yeah. you need and i think that's what people really like it for is so long as you've got one of these in your pocket then you're off yeah. um we'll sort you out for crochet hooks don't panic if you uh, haven't seen those yet hi ladies i bought kerry's book and purchased um this one as well uh, i love making these animals that's from carolyn see i love the fact that a lot of people who have already got the book are coming back to get the new edition which the proof's in the pudding everyone's loving it because remember if if you've already got Kerry's old, you know, the same book but the older edition, then you've got an extra 15 new animals in here. Yeah, it's even, so it claims 15 on the front. It is actually 17, but oh. 17 is not a nice number to write on the front of a book is why it says 15. So oh. it's actually 17 <laughs> new Bonus. and then 13 revised. Bonus. Love, love, love all of Kerry's creation. I'm sat here now crocheting Georgina's head. Who's Georgina? <laughs> that's Sarah? the hippopotamus. So <gasps> that's a really good choice. Uh, one of my absolute all time favourites. Is that in what, what level, level's level that? one? In level one. Yes, Fantastic. Level one. Um, this one's with Julie. What a day. Three of my favourite guests. I'm my favourite presenter. Oh, thanks. I'll pay you later. That was obviously <laughs> one of my friends, Julie. Um, it's because Kerry, it's because of Kerry, the original book, that I've learnt to crochet. Brilliant. It is, and without sounding, because it's something that I often feel a bit awkward about, really, but without, it obviously has been a best-selling crochet book for 10 years. Wow. Um, it hasn't ever dropped off that list. Um, it has t honestly taught hundreds of thousands of people to crochet worldwide. It's in um, dozens of different languages. Wow. Um, it really is a book that sets people off on a crochet journey, but equally, and especially with the extra patterns that I've put, it, I've put in the back, there's a lot of advanced ones as well. So if you are a crocheter, don't think that they're too easy for you well, either. Yeah. I was going to show you, can we have an even Yeah, because right at the it. very back, you've so got some- So what are the some, new ones? So, I mean, did? the new ones are scattered. It's not that they all went into level okay. three at all, but say, Jesse, that was a revised <laughs> one, for example, raccoon, because I've been looking at raccoons quite a lot um, since 10 years ago, and that's a revised one would be for Jesse the raccoon. <laughs> Um, same with Christoph the Wolf, actually. It's another revised one where I just thought I could capture the shaping um, a little bit more this time round. As the raccoon. 
Um, Tash, the two toed sloth. So that's a new one. Um, the sloth. And this is my team member, a very, very much loved, very appreciated um, team member, Tash, that's worked at Toff for a very long time. She's definitely, well, as it says in her story, sloth by name, but certainly not sloth by nature. She's a very, very fast crocheter. Uh, so that's Tash. Uh, so, I mean, sloth, that must be one that a lot of people were asking you for. Yeah. Because I love A lot of them have been requests. So, say, Nusha the cat has gone <gasps> in um, because obviously a, a lot of people out there know that I'm quite famous for crocheting dogs. I have crocheted over 100 different dogs. Oh. Only four cats this, I was, <laughs> so far. Well, I was going to yeah. say, this looks like my mum's Maltese terrier yeah. as well. You could use that as a little... Yeah, absolutely. But okay. yeah, so there you've got loop stitches. Um, the guinea pig's a new one that's um, come in as well. So that's your um, long head guinea pig. Sybil These the sugar the glider ones. is another new one. Um, this, something like this, you're going to be doing um, a bit more complex colour changing and then you'll be adding the wings on. So just a little bit more challenging, but still the same stitch. Noel the chipmunk, he's new too, actually. We're in the new section here by absolute accident. So, yeah, Noel the chipmunk is new. Is this another new one? Another new one. So is Jean the hyena. <gasps> one of my all-time favourite um, Ed's animals makes this one. Like, if you're out there and you have made a few animals, honestly, challenge yourself to Gina because she's got colour changing and loop stitch. So it's a bit of a challenge, but she really is worth it. Then you've got the ocelot, uh, really fashionable animals again at the moment. Ocelot? I think ocelot, yeah. I think I've not heard of an ocelot. There's a nursery rhyme that's quite famous. Thank you to the lady who sang that to me um, at the show last week. Um, there's a, a nursery rhyme that's made that quite famous. At Were the you moment. at Stitch Fest? Yes, yeah. I was, yeah. And then in, um, in Minecraft, I believe, there is an ocelot as well. So it's quite a popular one, the ocelot. Oh, Lots of colour changing. So another nice challenge for somebody that is a bit more ad of an advanced crocheter. Do you know, I have seen one at the, um, co the uh, Conservation Nature Reserve in Birmingham. Yeah. Mm. Then you've got the um, African painted dog, Savannah. So this is a brand new um, one for the book. Um, not been seen before at all. <gasps> no one's seen these, by the way, because this isn't even published yet. This is why, I'm so sorry to interrupt no, carry you. on. There is a massive queue. If you do want this, we're going to let the call centre catch up. We've got kits, we've got yarns as well, but we're just giving you a 30 second chance to check out. Call centre are going wild. Sorry that we probably should have let the call centre know that we're doing this show. We need the call centre to catch up to do the kit. So we're just going to take one minute break. For those of you who are watching everything and haven't yet had chance, we're coming back with kit. You can obviously, um, you can catch up and you can make the most of it with the app. This is how you do it. <laughs> Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the schedule.
when is this rain going to stop? The bridge, you know the bridge they've just opened for a few weeks at, at the Four Alls, right? The water's this far from coming over the top of it again. It's like, oh, it's a bit scary. When, the thing is, when the water comes over it, you can't tell how deep it is. But there's one of those things by the side of the road that goes to six foot to show you how deep the water is. So that's how deep it's gone. And I always have this, it's all right today because it was light today and there wasn't any water on the bridge. But I'm always frightened when I come through in winter because you can't see anything. And you go into the water and you don't know how deep the water's going to be. Anyway, happy Good Friday. Happy Good Friday, everybody. Uh, oh, now my Facebook seems to have jammed. I've got uh, Hayley working at the computer on my Facebook. Anyway, let's do an early bird and see what happens. Oh, let, let me switch it off and switch it back on again. Oh, no. OK, yeah, this is the only early bird I've got today. The only early bird. I've got a special coming up straight after it, though. Now, um, I'm a bit worried because the, the Facebook Live has frozen. No, it's back now, it's back now, back now. It just, it just froze on Hayley at the computer in the, um, in the gallery. Right, this should be 23 99 It's always 23 99 But as we're doing a Bond... Actually, yeah, we're doing a Bond Web um, project in the first hour. We thought we'd bring you Bond Web. For, it's early bird, which means it's not 23 99 today. Oh, look at Delphine. Look at Delphine's new um, thingy in the corner there. 19 99 19 pounds, 19 pounds, you're getting five metres, it's 30 centimetres wide. Now, remember, once you've checked out on this, that is your P&P paid for for the day. Whether you come in and buy a quilt kit, a poppy kit, a, oh, a brand new uh, guest kit, or a sad tangle bag. We don't mind anything. Uh, morning, John, everyone. Love to see you. Love Paula in deep car. I lost all the other messages I had, so I'm sorry if I didn't read out your message. But uh, it blocked, it d deleted them when it all went off. 19, oh, that's what I meant to say. I'll, I'll remind me to ask you something in the, in the break, Ben, or tell you something in the break, Ben. I've got a note for him, but I'm not going to do it live on there. 1999. Yes. Mari says good morning. Hello, Mari, my love. 1999. Oh, no. Keep going through, keep going through, keep going through. Beautiful. Keep going through. It's your early bird. It's your early bird. It's your early bird. Emily says, morning, John, everyone. There are, th there are two... Fa oh, I thought it was odd. There's two Facebook Lives going out. There are two Facebook Lives going out. I don't know, but it did it to me. It did it to me. I had one, and then I saw the other one there. Karen says, morning, John. Happy Good Friday to you and all the team. Happy Easter, everyone. No. Oh, there you go. The other Jan's now signed into this one. The other Jan was in the other one. 1999. Uh, be careful. Uh, be careful now. Loads of these in baskets. Check out, check out, check out. There you go. There's the other Jan commenting now. Morning, John and team. Attractors in as well now. Oh, that's the other thing. There's two things, Ben. Write down on your piece of paper. Two things. Two things. One's not a criticism, don't worry. Oh, no, actually, you're not in on Sunday, are you? But you still need to write it down to remind me. Yeah, Delia, morning, John and team. Judith says good morning. Oh, and also, I'm seeing Dulcie this afternoon. I can't remember the name of your niece or auntie or whatever who worked on, on Wicked. Judith, somebody it was, wasn't it? Judith Cluck. Uh, now, Trudels, Trudels, why are you up so early on your birthday? Right? You should be having breakfast in bed, not be tapping on your iPad. Um, happy Easter, she says. Morning, John, Delphine and team. That's Becky's mum. That's Becky's mum. Uh, 1999. Oh, Delphine's concentrating. She's not even looking up from her desk. At 1999. Keep going through. Keep going through. I'm not going to stay on it much longer because I've got loads to get through. Delphine's got a launch. OK, now, this one's not an early bird, but it's a brand new item. Now, I can tell you they've sold thousands of these on Hobby Maker. Thousands. They, they are twelve ninety nine. That is your price, right? They are the original Cutter B scissors. Now, I've already opened my packet. Girls comes in a, a package and everything. Now, you can use them if you're left-handed or right-handed. They have a little sheath to look after them. They are incredibly sharp. 
very, very sharp. Comfort grip handles, left or right. Ideal for detail cutting. Oh, I thought that was your price. Oh. Now, they're not supposed to be an early bird. Six ninety nine. No wonder they sold thousands of them. I thought they were good at twelve ninety nine. Uh, precision cut scissors, ideal for detail cutting with precision tip blade. I was going to say, Haley definitely said in my meeting, not yesterday, the day before, these were twelve ninety nine. There you go, twelve ninety nine. Where's that then? At uh, Budley Crafts, Cuddly Budley Crafts. No, not Dudley. There's no Dudley in there. Cuddly Budley. Uh, there are loads of you got these in your baskets, right? I haven't got a piece of fabric. I forgot to ask Michael for a piece of fabric. Michael Wolf, is there some fabric there? Otherwise, I'll cut this quilt on the wall. Yeah. I'm going to count to ten, and then I'm going to start cutting this quilt behind me. <laughs> I thought that was a blue roll coming towards me then. <laughs> when did they have to, When did they do denim? Uh, good morning, John. Sunshine in Glasgow this good Friday morning. Pam Minihani says, good morning, lovely. Donna says, morning, John. Name for one. Uh, right, let's have a quick look at these then. Take them out of their sheath. Oh, my word. Oh, wow. Now, don't use them for cutting dress patterns out because you don't want to be snippy, snippy, snippy. But for snippers, these are brilliant. Look, 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 look. Can you see those? Can you see that? Beautiful. Now, these will be brilliant for Delphine's projects. She's got lots and lots of little bits to cut out. If you've not got a tiny rotary cutter, yeah, doing notches. Brilliant message. Uh, the cutter bee are amazing. I've mine for about 12 years. Great for trimming hair too, says Angela. Well, I'm not, I'm, I'll do that on Delphine in a minute. She looks like a shoot with a trim. Good morning, John. Would you order some of Delphine's lovely stuff? Beautiful. From Brian. Oh, is that Liz? Is that, was that Liz and Brian? Oh, Brian. Did you buy it for Liz? Uh, these are six ninety nine. 99 uh, Now, they're meant to be... I don't know. I don't know if Ben was meant to crash these because Hayley definitely said in the meeting they were twelve ninety nine. Oh, six ninety nine. Uh, oh, Dulce is watching. Blimey, she's up early. For her, she's just back from her holidays. She'll be doing all her laundry. She's been in uh, Fuengirola or somewhere like that for her holidays. June says, good morning. Jan says, looking forward to Delphine's applique sunflower. Jan, Jan, not just a sunflower. There's more. And they come in two different colourways as well. Laurie says, morning, John team. Happy Easter weekend. Another pretty shirt. Have a lovely day. Sanchez, says, morning, John. I've done that one. Sun shining in Glasgow. Dulcie says, good morning. It'd be like morning. Oh, we're going, actually, what day is it? Oh, no, it's tomorrow. It's tomorrow we're going to the, um, we're going to Jules's craft fair tomorrow. Yeah. Right. You need to check out your baskets. You need to check out your baskets. And um, what I might do is I might take them with me and because uh, Delphine's going to use them uh, and uh, because there's 177 of these are gone already. Like that in minutes, in minutes, right? Morning, John Delphine. I've ordered two of Delphine's panels. Oh, it's his, it's, hang on, hang on. This is Liz who's married to Brian. Right now, have you bought them and Brian's bought them or have you bought them and you're both messaging in? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Six, nine, ten. Let's have a look at today. I'd love to see you. Uh, let's have a look at today's menu. Delphine Brooks. Lewis, oh, and Lewis and Irene. Oh, no, I, I think uh, Delphine Brooks for Lewis and Irene. Not and, they have not a co collaboration. Uh, collection fabric launch, uh, they're on the website, you'll be buying those already. Nine o'clock, we've got the Moda Climbing Vines quilt with Catherine Wright, it's behind me on the wall, there it is. Beautiful. Then we've got now launch, brand new guest, Crafty Witches. Now, you'll know them from Hobby Maker because they've been on Hobby Maker loads. Here's one, a cushion. Now, is it a gonk? Or oh, because you can see their eyes. Oh, is it, are they not their eyes? Are they their cheeks? Are they pimples? Are they pimples on their cheeks? Anyway, uh, then we've got Tangle and Sew Bag with Catherine Wright. So it's a sand tangle bag. Charlie, have you taken a picture of the other side as well? No, it isn't. There's sand tangling on it. Charlie, it's a Santangle hour. Where is it? Michael? No. Michael, no. could I have the red Santangle bag, please? Because Charlie didn't take a picture. A whole Santangling, right? Thank you, Michael. You're very good. 
Look, show me this untangling, he's saying. Oh, look, Roy's in as well. He never comes to see us anymore. All right, Roy. Roy. Roy, come and say hello. They haven't seen you for months. Here's lovely Roy. Don't think we've seen him since Christmas. Oh, he's waving to Delphine now. Come on in. Oh, you need a haircut. Come in, come in. I've got some scissors here. Shall I do a bit? No. <laughs> How are you? Fine, thank you. What are you doing on Uncle Friday? We don't have... Uh, do you not get bank holidays off? Oh, shh, shh. You're on double time. We're not. You're not. No. You've got enough. <laughs> get off with you. Be off with you. Oh, that's nice. So the warehouse are in, so we can order things up. I didn't think they were in today. Uh, anyway, anyway, uh, is, that, is that it? Or have I got something else? Was that 12 o'clock? No, no, because then I've got crafty witches. <gasps> oh, uh, okay, Delphine gets a kiss. Oh, I'll remember that next time, Roy. I'll be having words with your missus. Uh, 12 o'clock. Crafty Witches panels, uh, there you go. I've uh, got the alphabet. We've got five-inch square ones as well. They're amazing. Right, shall we see how you can get in touch? The first way is by email. Studio at sewingstreet.com. Studio at sewingstreet.com. Second way is uh, Facebook Live, which ones I've been shouting out to you. And I'm not quite sure why there are two Facebook Lives. We're not going to look into it, but just in case there are. Oh, is it? Uh, morning, says Angie. I've bought both items up so far. Dawn says... Uh, morning, John. That Dawn? Not heard from you in ages. How are you, my love? Dawn says, happy Easter. They look like a bumblebees. I can't wait for Delphine's panels. Elaine says, happy Easter. Lou says, morning. Love your shirt. And says, I'm off to my mum's for Easter. Have a lovely weekend. I've been here all weekend. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm not in here tomorrow. Uh, Hilary says, happy Easter, one and all. Uh, right, and then the next way is by the website www.sayingstreet.com what you do is you click on top right hand corner uh, you'll see us on the left hand side there there's a white box on the right hand side this will say yeehaw uh, and then scroll down the page you will see everything from today so the left hand column is things you've seen so far right hand column is coming up on today's show uh, there we go these are the brand new launch 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 uh, they're only 14.99 no, that's wrong, surely. $14.99? You're selling yourself short, girl. Anyway, look, there they all are. They come in bright. The thing is, they come in brights and neutrals, right? But the neutrals are still bright. Uh, and we've got some backing fabric. So what do you use on the back of your... Where are your cushions? Oh. We were told you'd made cushion covers. No, no, no. Uh, Hayley said to us, oh, we'll, uh, we've well, I'll find out from Delphine what fabric she's put on the back and I'll put them in a thing. And I went, oh, she'll have used bumbleberries. So we just presumed that we have bumbleberry. Well, no, you can use anything. Anyway, look, keep going. Oh, now, stop, stop, stop. I'm just mention this once, right? Go down, down, down. The Toft book, right? We've sold hundreds of those. They went on Hobby Maker, sold more hundreds. We've got a few left. If you want uh, that... Doesn't... It's not actually officially published till April the 9th. So if you want that... 1799, Edwards Menagerie. If you want to see more about it, go to yesterday. At, I think it was 11... Th oh, not that. Not that. Get rid of that. At 11.30 yesterday, uh, she was on the lovely... She's called Carrie, isn't she, from Toff? Uh, anyway, carry on. Uh, so there you go, a rotary cutter. Oh, now we're into Catherine's hour. So where's the quilt kit? It's coming up in a minute. There it is. You will not be paying £199, £2.99 £2 for it whatsoever. In fact, you're getting £50 off, I'll tell you now. Uh, then keep going, keep going, keep going, because then we're on to Crafty Witches. Brand new launch. We've got wall hanging, we've got aprons, we've got squares, we've got all sorts of things going on in there. So we've got Linda, who's, who's like the managing, one of the managing directors. Is she called a managing director? Actually, she's a witch. And we've got Hells, who's doing the sewing. Hells is doing the sewing. What are those? What's the oh, oh, right, they haven't arrived yet. Those panels haven't arrived yet. The bags are there. The bags are there, but the panels haven't arrived yet. They will, they will be here. Not quite sure what time they'll be here, but they'll be here. Beautiful. There, now, look at these. You see the Crafty Witches Wild Menagerie? See those squares, five-inch squares? Gorgeous, aren't they? Look. Fabulous. I think they come in several colours, don't they? Yeah, there they go. Different colours, look. Well, do you know what? Everything today is a bargain, isn't it? Hope. Does that say hope? Hope, home and 
What does that one say? Love? What does that one say? Wild? Wild. Wild. No love then. We'll have a bit of love in this hour then, shall we? Delphine's here, look. Hello, Delphine. Oh, hello. <laughs> busy working away busy, there. Busy, busy. How are you? I'm very well. How are you? I'm all right, thank you. I'm not kissing you since you've kissed Roy. <laughs> Delphine, explain to me what what's happened. What are these? What, what have you done? What, what, what we're doing now? No, uh, Lewis and Irene. Lewis collaboration. And Irene. Yes, collaboration. So you are now a designer yes. for Lewis and Irene. Yes. You did one launch before. Yes, that was my animals. That was the farmyard collection. Yeah. All gone. All but sold yeah, out. All yeah, sold out. Yeah. It's taken a while then to get this one round, doesn't it? Well, it, it, it take, but it takes a lot of work. For you or for them? Both. Oh, OK. Yeah, yeah. Charlie answered at the same time as you. He went both, Charlie, yeah, both. Yeah, so yeah, so you're busy. Yeah. So now, what is what, what, what do we expect from these? So, things? collage quilting. Collage. Collage quilting. Right, let's, yeah. let's do the panels. Let's do the panels. Now, people are already buying them, as you've seen. People have been mentioning them, yes. been buying them already. <laughs> Thank um, you. Julie Vaughan says, good morning. Carol says, good morning. Cat, producer Cat's watching everyone. Oh, hello, love. Um, right, OK, which one shall I do first, then? You have to give me a number. TZ62. There you go. Right. So, this one here is... Uh, the, the two bit. Look, 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 look. So what's this one? Forget me not. Forget yep. me not. In bright. Do you want me to move over? Oh no, I'm in the right place. Look. Forget me not. Right. So Delphine, do you know what? Can I just say something? This this cotton is beautiful. It's really isn't good it? quality fabric. Why is it only fourteen ninety nine though? Do you know what I mean? That's a yeah. really good so price. The quality isn't it? is yeah. unreal. The quality is incredible. So let me just explain. What you get is you get your background picture now can you see on there I don't, if you want to come in a bit there you go look you can see that Delphine's drawn the flowers on there and then all of these fabrics here right are what you cut up to make the flower with have you made this one no, no I've not, made yet, not yet two. Uh, right now I need to tell you something in the bottom right hand corner here there's a picture of Delphine's finished one right it's a guide only. Yes. You don't have to stay with that because every... Well, you'd explain, you'd explain. Because everyone's going to cut the, trace the pieces and cut them out differently. Yeah. So some people, you know, for example, you get your, uh, your squares of fabric. Some people might just put, uh, put the tracer piece and put it right in the middle. Yeah. And obviously, depending on how people are going to cut it out, depends on how much wastage you're going to yeah. have. But you've got way so, too much... These yeah. squares, right? You've got all of those squares there to fill that square there. So you've got plenty of fabric, but what we don't want you to do is go, oh, Delphine's got a purple bit there and I've got no purple left. It's because she, she's frugal with our cutting out, isn't she? So, so plan, plan your cutting out, plan yes. your cutting out. Yep. So that should, that should forget me not on bright. Um, and also these fab fabrics here, these, these, have you designed these? Yes, with a bit of, well, Lou. My, our gorgeous my graphic designer. Gorgeous Lou. Lou. Very, very, very talented. She she knows what goes on in my head and how I like my fabrics and how I like my colours. So she's um, so she okay. helps me do all those. So now this is Forget Me Not. Now, they called it neutral. What do they called it? Natural. Still bright, still lovely, still gorgeous, but not quite as bright, is it? Is the background different? Uh, very slightly. Slightly yeah. back, so, different backgrounds. So well. one, the, the, the neutral ones is more of like a muted, just like the, the, the blues, but then the brights has got like the rainbow. Yeah. Yeah. Gorgeous. So that's that one. I will show you these again, but I need to get through them because we're going to run out of time as well. Again, fabric's beautiful. Lewis and Irene. So these are Lewis and Irene. They'll come from our warehouse, but they're Lewis and Irene printed and everything. We have to say hello to Hannah and Ben. Yeah, Hannah and Ben. Not producer Hannah and producer Ben. Not you, not you. This Hannah is Hannah ben and Ben and from... From Lewis and Irene. Lewis and, and Irene. Jackie and Brian. What? I'm Jackie and Brian. Oh, and Jackie and Brian, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Everyone at Lewis and I. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but they'll be on holiday. It's Good Friday. Yeah. Isn't it? <laughs> so right, what's holiday. next? Is that. Yeah, Sunflower. This has been the most popular so far. It's even got instructions on the panel as well. There you go. That's your Sunflower. Is that Sunflower Bright, that one? There you go. Beautiful. Again, the picture in the bottom left-hand corner is just for guidance only. There's all your different fabrics. There's your pattern. And you're going to see Delphine making this one in a second. 
Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now, um, not that any of them are difficult, but this one is the most... I, I don't want to say challenging. It's That one will just take you longer than some of the others, that's all. Okay, perfect. That one will take you a bit longer than the others, right? So then I've got Sunflower in Natural. Because as long as you can trace and cut out, it, everyone can do it. Lovely. Beautiful, aren't they? Absolutely gorgeous. Right, so then... LJ94, yep, yeah, that's that one. This is Pansies. Oh, nice. That's a lovely one. Have that you made one, one of those? I've, no. done, I've made the poppy and the rose. Okay. Lovely fabrics, aren't they? Beautiful. But very generous as well with the amount of fabric you've got to make that picture with. So that's, that's um, Pansy in Bright. Then I've got Pansy in Natural. Gorgeous. All the lovely fabrics. So how do you design all these colourful fabrics at the side there then? I just want nice simple prints. Nothing too, too fussy. And uh, I, I really like, I mean, that one's my favourite print of all, that one. Yeah, but just like nice and simple prints. Nothing that's going to be, take the focus off the actual design yeah. itself. Brilliant. Gorgeous. Next one. Remember, this is a launch. Brand new. Brand new. Now, these are the first, this is the first, nobody's seen these, have they yet? Nope. nope. Nobody's seen nope. these anywhere else yet. These are brand banking new. Obviously, because they're Lewis and Irene, they're going to be for sale in all of the Lewis and Irene yep. outlets, but not yet. Not yet. Which one next? Okay, that's this one. Which one's that one? Oh, yes, the daisies. Daisies, bright. Beautiful. Ben's great-grandmother was called Daisy. My PE teachers used to call me Daisy. They wouldn't be allowed to do what? that now, would they? Why would they call you Daisy? Because I was little and fat and I was really slow. They'd go, come on, <laughs> Daisy, you can do it. <laughs> it's marked me. <laughs> That would have been 60 years ago they did that. It's still not. You can tell she was in the force. <laughs> oh, that's, oh, that's tickled me there. <laughs> and then with eight, a 38 next, yeah? So now I've got Daisy in the natural. Oh, look again. Beautiful, beautiful colours. Well, I think they'll be dead now, won't they? They'll be so old. Yeah, oh, yeah it didn't turn up yesterday, though, did it? His car broke down. Wow. I was all there, ready in my PE kit, ready to go. I'd even, I'd even got my... What's that drink you have to make when you're doing... Um, protein. No, uh No, no, it's the one you drink while you're doing your workout. Electrolytes, thank you, electrolytes. It was all ready to go in the fridge. I was like, will this keep now till Saturday? What's next? Q06. Now, hopefully you've made one of these. I have, I have, I have. Poppy yeah. in Bright. Yes, I've made that one. There you go, there's Poppy in Bright. And that's, this is your panel. That's your finished thing. Yeah. Hang on a second, we're just coming in there. Don't run, Michael, there's lots of cables. Beautiful. That's your finished thing. This is your panel to make that. The thing is, you don't have to even do it the way you've done it. If you don't no. want those blue bits in the middle, you can put whatever you want in Yeah, there, exactly. You? In fact, we were saying, if you want to mix some of your fabric at home in with it, feel like that one there, because poppies have got black bits in yeah, the middle, Yeah, you've got they? black in the middle. Just put some said. plain black in there, because there's no black on the panel. They're all beautiful, aren't they? Absolutely gorgeous. Then I've got Poppy in Natural. Well, I can still see bright colours on this one. There you go. Oh, I think I like that one best. Beautiful. Instructions on the panels. Just All you have to do is decide which ones you want. Beautiful. Then I've got one more. Rose. 
Any other names should smell as sweet. Right, move that one out of the way. Shakespeare, wasn't it? Right, so Rose, is it 65 or 39? 65 first. There you go. Rose, in the brights. I've made Rose. Well, he built that house in three years. Oh, he didn't live it in, Ch- in Stratford. What is it? Oh, the labels are falling off these, Michael, just so you know. Well, oh, 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 oh. Right, lovely. Let's have a look at that one. No, it's your turn, not me. Oh, yeah, I thought I did. <laughs> Be- that's gorgeous, that one, isn't it? You're not doing any stitching. What have you been up to this week? Oh, I've been very... I'm busy... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, there you go. That's the next one. Rose in natural there. Right, you've seen all of them now. All you need to do now is check out your baskets because if there's any you want to see again, just let me know. Um, but for now, we're going to get on with the demo. Right, what is the most popular? What, Sunflower Bright? Oh, Sunflower Natural. It's not the one we're doing. Sunflower Natural is the most popular. Right. Go on, then. So, we've got our picture. Yeah. How do we... Before you carry on with this, what's the first thing I do, then, when I get it So, the first thing you do... So, I will cut out the the main picture from the panel itself. And then um, what I would do then is separate all of the squares. So oh, you... I said you'd do that. Don't give her the new <laughs> iron, I said, because she'll get it. But under... yeah, it's look, fine. You've got There's nothing on the it. Bottom of it. And then you, p- then you just separate all your squares. So yeah. you've got, like, all your uh, different... Um... So you cut this one out, and yeah. then you cut all your squares out. And then you can pick out... Remember, this is a guide only. Yes. OK, so uh, you, p- you cut out your little picture... And you can have that to the side. And you then see, I might, I might not even look at the guide. No. Because I'd want to make it my own. Yeah. Sort of thing. I'd look at it at the beginning and then put it to one side. Well, I think that's what makes these projects so good, actually, because even though everyone's getting the same panel, everyone's going to be different. Oh, yes, totally. So I look forward to seeing these on um, Facebook. Yeah. So, different, so really it? good to do workshops as well, you know, if you're going to do it with a bunch of friends. Yeah. So, and then all you need is a pen, some bond web, and some scissors. Right. And that's all you need. Perfect. So, basically, all you have to do is trace on the glue side of your bond web. You just pick your p- section. So yeah, because it, I just explained, if you do it on the paper side... It will be reversed. Wait, and and, and normally, when we do one of your things, oh, it doesn't matter, it just means the little girl will be on the swing on the other side. But actually, this is important. Very important. Because if you do it the other way around, it's not going to fit any of the no. sections, is it? So no. you've got to do it glue side up. Yeah, glue side up. So... Obviously, this, so I've chosen this, this sunflower one to demo for, for a reason. So there's lots of little pieces, but if you want to, if, if, if you find that that's a bit too much for you to do, you can make them even bigger. For example, I can sew, I don't know if you can see, but these has got yeah. two small sections here. Yeah. It's just coming in. So there's two small sections here. So if I don't want to do two little tiny pieces, I can make it bigger and do... So just trace around the whole thing rather yeah. than the two Yeah, so if you wanted to, you could do, like, the whole um, the whole petal if you want to and not make it into, what, eight se- separate sections? Yeah. You can make it as a one. So, again, it, that's what's going to make it stand out from everybody else's is because everyone's going to do things a little bit differently. So you haven't got to be perfect at tracing. You just use, you're just using a normal pen? I just use a biro, yeah. Yeah. And then you just choose your fabric. So I'm going to go for that purple. So you don't do them all first. You do them as you go. I do them, as, yeah, do them as you go. And uh, so just set yourself up with a little station like I've got here. And you just build it up nice and easy. Now, I need to warn you, I've only... Uh, Delphine's using the new Alyssa iron. There's only 12 left. I had a really good day selling yesterday. There's only, uh, we will get more in, but at the moment there's only 12 left in stock because Vic's had it yesterday and sold lots yesterday. 85 99 should be 99 um, 99 uh, I'll just tell you very quickly, uh, you switch, when you get it, you switch Tom, 
Uh, while the light's pulsating, it means it's still heating up. When you use it, when you put it down to use it, the light comes on. You can change it from left to right handed cable. You can move the cable. Um, and you've got steam, two steam buttons. If you press the left steam button, it's the front. The, the right steam button is the bottom. Press them both together and you get a full burst of steam. Uh, it switches off after half an hour. If you leave it facing down on the sole, mate, this. So when, when you get yours, it has this on the bottom, right? Take that off, then that becomes your mat to put it down. If you leave it down, after 10 minutes, it switches... No, half an hour, it switches off. No, 10 minutes, it switches off. Half an hour if you stand it up like that. 10 minutes if you sit it down on the sole, mate. If you knock it over, 30 seconds, it'll switch itself off. And it flashes if you knock it over. Right, but there's only 12 left. There's only 12 left. So I've already done a bit. So, mm -hmm. so yeah, you just cut your pieces out from your bundle web. And even if you haven't got the, you know, you, the steadiest of hands, it doesn't matter because you can, it just builds up. So it doesn't have to be perfect. So you just scratch your bundle web with your scissors. Are sunflower still the most popular? Sunflower still the most popular, but the natural and the bright are neck and neck. Oh, bright's just gone one in the lead. And there you go. It's as simple as that. Really, really easy. Easy, isn't it? Yeah. Does it matter which order you do them in? No. Does really does not matter. OK, I've got a question in a minute. Look how she's being very... I told you she was frugal, didn't I? Look how she's frugal with her bonder web. And the amount of bonder web she's nicked from here, you think she'd be, you know. <laughs> I haven't nicked it. You've given it me, John. Look, I haven't. I haven't got that power. <laughs> um, I'll do that because I'm going to ask a question about one in a minute. Okay. So I'll just trim it off. So another thing, you don't have to cut it out perfectly from your bundle web, otherwise you'd be, you'd be doing it twice. Yeah. And I often see that when I teach workshops, some people will cut them all out perfectly, then they wonder if it, it distorts a little bit on yeah. the fabric. See if we've got any messages. Uh, Crazy Lorraine, morning, both of you. Always look forward to seeing Delphine. Marina says, greetings from sunny Cornwall. Oh, oh now, yeah. uh, Cornwall was on... Was it Escape to the Country yesterday? I think it was on Escape to the Country yesterday. It looked very nice as well, except the people didn't like any of the houses. Um, Margaret says, morning, John and team. Uh... That's it. Lots of people watching. Lots of you there for a bank holiday morning. Friday, good Friday morning. Right. My question is. Yeah. You see this bit here. Yeah. Do you do one big bit as the background and then put small bits on? Or do you put background on first, then cut this out so it looks like a reverse? It doesn't matter. Oh, it doesn't matter? No. Okay. Good question, though. No, just a, you know. But it doesn't matter. So you can do some... Because there's lots of bits like that on this one, aren't there? Yeah. But no, and, and like I said before, you don't have to do all of those little bits if you don't want to. No, and also you don't have to draw a straight line, look, either. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like a feathery line you've drawn there, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I don't, yeah, I just... You haven't got to overthink it. It's no. just, It just goes to show how easy it is. Yeah. It's fun, though. What are you doing this bank holiday weekend? Uh, Going to start team football? Uh, no, football was yesterday. He hasn't. There's no matches this week. Um, you so think that when they're all, oh, they're all off school anyway, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. So no matches. Uh, what are we doing? Go karting. No go karting. No Frankly, football. Frankly, you're going to spend time with each other. <laughs> I know. We're going to have to actually speak to one another. You're going to go to the pub in my village for your Sunday lunch. We might go to the pub tomorrow. Yeah. For dinner, and then. Uh, no, no. Then she comes to one in my village. And then we're, uh, and then we're going to. The in-laws for... Ursula's? Yeah, we're going to see Ursh on Sunday. What's she doing? Ursh and Petey. Ursh and Petey, yeah. <laughs> and then on Monday, we're going away in the van. Oh, are you? What, for a few days? Yeah, a few days in oh, the caravan. Oh, that'd be nice. Well, yeah. I've got a little doggy now, haven't I? Yeah, is it? Don't it's business in your shoes yet. No, he do, he's in my garden, mind. Yeah. But. Oh, yeah, well, they have to go somewhere. Yeah. So, yeah, we're going away in the caravan. 
up in Shropshire Hills, do a bit oh, of walk, nice. do a bit of walking. The dog will be exhausted. It's only a little dog, but it's not used to running around that. Oh, he's good. a lovely little boy. My and how did you end up with him then? So it's a, he's, he's, it's a long story. Oh, okay. Just it, a friend didn't want him, and you've rescued. No, him. it's not that like they didn't want him. It was just like a rehome. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, like my two, I, I, my two cats yeah. are rehomed, don't they? And he's a beautiful boy. Oh, so funny. Yesterday, day, not yesterday. When was after yesterday? The day before. Um, in the middle of the night, the two, one of them was yowling and yowling, and they don't make any noise, my cats, right? And then the other one was just sitting on the landing, watching what was going on. I couldn't figure out what it was. Next day, this big, fluffy, black and white cat just lets it, while we're all sitting there, yeah. lets itself in through the cat flap, goes and helps itself to some food. What, this random, a random I don't cat? Know, I don't even recognise it. I don't know whose house it's come from. And my two are sitting there. My two big bruisers are sitting there like this, going, ooh, ooh, like this. Anyway, we chased it out and everything, and then my cats went outside. And then obviously it decided to chase Luther in the garden. And Luther came diving through the cat flap like that, into the lounge, straight up the chimney. Up the chimney? He, he, he goes up the chimney all the time. Why? Now. I don't know. Well, no, now I've stuffed a cushion. I've pushed a cushion. I've got one of my garden cushions shoved into the, into the so he can't, so he runs now and hits a cushion. What did you do with the other cat? I don't know, I don't know what it is, I haven't seen it since. We just chased it. We are like, horrible to it. That's a bit random, isn't it? Yeah, but I don't know whose it is. But you live in like a little tiny cul de sac. Yeah, but everyone's got cats, haven't they, around my way? Also, if you think about mine, my, mine, have, no, they, mine go to, um, what's the name? Anne's, gar Anne's garden, right down the far end of the village. She has them in her, my two. So really? these could be here from anywhere in the village, really. Mm. You've got that busy road there. Well, that's not I know, I don't. It's really busy. But then when I was lived in Twickenham, my Norman used to go swimming in the river at the bottom of... I, I was on the river cat in Twickenham. Swim. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then... I've never uh, seen a cat swim. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He used to love it. And he'd get in the shower with me in the morning. Uh, <laughs> and most of them hate, hate it. Um, but no, no, no. When I moved from the flat to the house in Twickenham, they had to cross a river and a main road to get there. And the lady who bought my flat kept saying, oh, Norman's on my bed. Norman's on my bed, so I'd have to keep going to get him. Anyway, this one time I went to get him, and I didn't bother to... I thought, oh, I just can't bother to take the cat box. I'll just get him, put him in the car. So I'm holding the cat like this, driving through Twickenham like this, and there's police cars, police helicopters, and everything like that. And I'm like, oh, my God, I'm going to get... So it was, they, weren't, they weren't real. They, it was a Crime Watch UK film in a Crime Watch oh, UK right. Twickenham Green. But I had to drive through it all with it holding onto this cat. Yeah, well, you're not supposed to do that. No, I know. I didn't do it again. You're not supposed to drive barefooted, are you? Either? Oh, no, with flip flops on. No, but I do. Yeah, I know. So don't go about me breaking the rule, Mrs. <laughs> See, if you throw me under the bus then. Yeah. <laughs> you could have said, yeah, I would never do that. No, I've got honest. No, I used to drive flip flops till I was working with this boy called Vernon, and he was going over Kingston Bridge and he was driving with flip flops on, and his flip flop got caught under the accelerator, Ooh. and it just kept going, and he went. Doof, 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 into all the cars on Kingston, on Kingston Bridge. My earpiece is really playing up to them. Yeah. Not noise-wise, it just wants to twist up and go back in there. Yeah. I'll do a few more bits and I can show you how to sew it if you yeah, want. Yeah, yeah, that'd be nice. I was at 38 already. Yeah. I'll have to recap anyway, tell everyone what there is. I bet, how long, well, it's a bit stupid question, is it? How long would it take? But it's quite, be a bit addictive, because you think, oh, I'll just do another petal, then I'll make the tea. Or oh, I'll just do another petal. Yeah. The, the, uh, the sunflower will take you the longest. But, uh, right. Only because of the pieces. But so easily pieces, done though. in a day. But, like you say, it's just really therapeutic. Just put a podcast on in the background. Sit and do this. It's lovely. Uh -huh. Nice little nippers, these, aren't they? Oh, they're lovely, aren't they? Hundreds of them are gone. That was the early bird from earlier, the scissors from earlier. Should be twelve ninety nine those scissors. And Haley Tot definitely, definitely, definitely said to me in our prep meeting, they're twelve ninety nine. Don't do them as an early bird because they're um, they don't crash. So do them after the early bird. And Ben's crashed them six ninety nine. Perfect for this type of project. Absolutely perfect for. No. Them. Do another one. Mike, even Michael, floor Michael's intrigued. Saying, what, how, do you keep, how do you keep all the bits of fabric on once you've glued them on? 
Well, you, there's lots of different ways you can sew it down. And, yeah. and, and just like the, if the farmyard uh, collection, you can, if you want to, uh, sew around every single piece. Um, oh, do you not do that then? No, you can do that if you want yeah. to. And I'm sure some people will. Or you can just do straight lines up and down it. Oh, okay. You can echo quilt it. You can oh. free motion quilt it. Lovely. So, again, it, it, there's so many different ways. What you have to do, though, is there has to be some stitching. Yes. Because you can't just bond the web on and leave it, because it, it'll stay there for a while. <clears throat> if you wash it, all the bits will come off. And after time, if you don't sew it, they will start peeling off. Yeah, because bond the web's not permanent. No. But, there's, again, it, it, depending on what skill level or sewing level you're at, you can... So uh, Margaret, um, I don't use the um, microchip anymore because Ghost's microchip has moved to right down here. So if he wanted to come through the cat flap, he'd have to go like that, and he's not that clever. So I've had to set it on just normal. Even though I paid hundreds of pounds for a microchip one. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. Could even warn you that that was coming. Again, it's like you say, you must be very relaxed. Yes, yeah, yeah. you're not supposed to say, oh, I've got a cold. <laughs> there we go. No, it's going, it's going, it's not coming. Yeah. Um, so yesterday I went to deliver uh, Easter eggs to my godchildren in the village. Um, and they're having all this work. They bought the big farm, they used to live next door, but one to me, and they bought this big farmhouse now they're doing up. Anyway, they're doing the kitchen bit up at the moment, and I could see the scaff. So I got halfway down. They've got this one of those really, really long drives, you know, to get to the house. Got halfway down, I could see that I couldn't get to the house because the scaffolders were in the way. So I parked in the drive, walked round to the house, and then as I came back round, there was another great big lorry delivering a digger. And I was like, I can't, I've got to get out, I've got to get out. So he had to back out, and then I had to, re and I'm useless at reversing. So I had to dr reverse all the way up this windy drive like this to get back onto the main road. I know I didn't like it at all. Well, that'd be nice as a shirt. Oh, yeah, it? that's lovely. Eh? But you've only designed a five-inch square. Well, it's a little bit bigger. It's nice, though, isn't no, it? No, no, not enough to make a shirt, though, is it? Well, I have to get on to Lou. Maybe watch this space. Oh, that was going to be my next question. Mm. Oh, when are you going to do Delphine Fabrics? Watch this space. Right? Watch this space, yeah. It's in the making. Brilliant. As long as you like them nice and bright. Yeah, of course. Well, you know me. <laughs> oh, yeah. We'll have to get you a shirt done, won't we? Yeah. That's yeah. already been done. What's that? Great. So they're going to call it the Great Scott. That was um, Adam's pattern that he did, from shirt pattern he did. I know, we could do this for hours, couldn't we? Shall we recap, but do use pictures rather than me hold them up, and then if anyone wants one held up, we can hold it up? Only because I'm just aware of the time, look, because it's 8.43 already. I know. OK, so we've got Sunflower in Bright, first of all. Let's see if we... Oh, yeah, that's nice, that's nice. Sunflower in Bright, there you go. Oh, you can't take them yet because um, I, I might have to show them for the end. Anyway, then we've also got, that's the one we're doing here. There you go, look. Then we've got Sunflower in Natural. Oh, I see you brought your crocodile bag with you today. <laughs> it's not a crocodile. And did you see that Liz had made one of these this week? I've oh, really? On Facebook. Yeah, oh, I've not seen. There. I've not been on Facebook much this week. Oh, well, the picture's not taken. All right, so give me the number then. Yes or no, but it's... That's Rose. No, I can't, uh, the numbers have all fallen off, so I can't do numbers, I'm afraid. Daisy. I thought Sunflower was one of the last ones we did. I, I think, actually, we'll go my order. We'll go my order. Yeah. So I've got Rose Bright, first of all. Rose Bright. The, the, the um, com computer's not keeping up with us, so I'll have to show them about this. Rose Bright. See, all the labels are falling off, you see. Lovely. 14 99. Is it not? Are you shaking your head at me? Shaking my head at you. Oh, is she shaking her head at you? Oh, no. Don't be putting up with it. 
standard in stock. Oh, he's lovely though. I like mine. Right, fourteen ninety nine. Then I've got uh, rose in neutral, natural. There must be. There you go. Beautiful. He was cheeky to me in prep, and I said, Michael, you've got five hours of me to make your life hell. Right, um, then I've got, oh, here you go, RKUL69. That one's got a sticker on it. So this is a natural poppy. Beautiful. Then we've got... This will be a poppy as well. Bright, poppy bright. There you go. Beautiful. All drawn out for you with the multicoloured background. Then all of Delphine and Lou's pictures. Uh, fabric, sorry. For you to cut out to make those lovely pictures. Then we've got uh, daisies on natural. I don't think Lou could cope with being on air. Do you think? No, she'd hate it. Yeah. <laughs> a pink hair would go really bright pink. Lovely. Then we've got the uh, Daisy Bright. Beautiful. Make sure you check, check out on these now. Check out, check out, check out. Thank you, Michael. Then we've got... Pansies. Pansies in uh, natural. Beautiful. That sunflower one there is your favorite. That picture there, that sunshine picture is your favorite. That one, isn't it, Delphine? Mm, that one. Yeah. Lovely. Then we've got the other one of those. So this is your pansy bright. Is that the one we've got there? Just a stepping shot. There you go. And that's here. That's no, rose. that's Rose. That's no, that's coffee. not Pansy at all. Ignore me. You can me. see the picture in the bottom corner. <laughs> right, then I've got Sunflower Bright, which is this one. Mm -hmm. Oh, have you done that one already? Beautiful. Then we'll have a couple of minutes of sewing after this. Then you've got your Sunflower and your Natural. Beautiful. Now, there's nothing to stop you mixing in some of your own favourite fabrics in there because you might want to do those little pearls in the middle in like a plain black or a navy blue mm. or something like that. Oh, you multi the panels, you can mix and match your colours. Then we've got last two now. This is um, your forget-me-nots in bright. Gorgeous. That's nice. I like those. Yeah, that's the trouble, I think. The thing is, if we brought you two, but the thing is, there's so much choice, isn't mm. there? So much choice. Now, remember, you can't get these anywhere else at the moment. You cannot get these anywhere else at the moment. Do you know when they're going to be launched onto the general public? I, I, I'm... No. They're on holiday. Ben and Hannah are on holiday again, aren't they? <laughs> oh, they have a lovely life. And Ben goes around the world finding unicorn and fairy duvet covers, doesn't he, for his spare room? <laughs> Beautiful. Right, now, do you want to do a bit of sewing then, Delphine? Oh, by the way, on the website, I'm not going to go through them all, we've also put all of these planes in here, which are gorgeous to go with if you're going to make cushions or backings or just want to mix and match them. I'm not going to go through them all now. They're on the website, and Ben will put them across now into the, you know, kind of um, on today's show rather than in pre-order. There you go, he's going, to, he's going to do them now. Well, actually, you could do them while, you're, while Delphine's doing a bit of sewing. So, Delphine, what stitching are you going to do today? I'm just going to do a bit of echo quilting, I think. 
What? Just a bit of echo quilt. Oh, okay then. Do you want me to move that iron out of the way? Thank okay. oh. you. Oh. Pedal. Can you read? Oh, yeah. They, oh, dear, yeah. Oh, we've got. Oh, okay. You can be able to reach that. Excuse me. There. Yeah, lovely. Thank you. Well, it's the pedal wasn't reaching the floor, that was all. So, to sew them on, I'm just echoing the shape of the, pe the uh, petals. Oh, so hang on. So, uh, echo, echo. Um Yes. Inside or outside of the actual shape? Yeah, so just uh, following the uh, the shape of the pe petal themselves. So it's like raw red, just raw edge applique using a yeah. straight stitch, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm just using the same colour thread. Oh, we've got some lovely threads. We've got the two the pink neon threads here. I don't think there's any John Scott threads left now. They didn't ask me to do another age. No. Beautiful. Look, these are neons. Oh, these would be lovely for all of yours. Look. Oh, yeah. Neons and neutrals, these are called. $74.99. Beautiful. Uh, they're 50 weight, 200 yard, 220 yards, 200 metres on each spool, 20 different colours there. Beautiful. Just thought I'd show you those so I could put them away. Oh. Delphine spent ages designing them. Yeah. You can't catch, that's why. Where's my snippy scissors gone? Don't let her nick those. Oh, I thought you were going to let me have those ones. No, they're mine. <laughs> For the show, obviously, it's the show. It's in my back, it's not, I'd bring it back. So you've just done straight stitch, but you could do this on, you could do it with a um, buttonhole stitch if you wanted, couldn't you? Yeah. Very, if you're going to do zigzag, don't do a heavy satin stitch, because that'd be too heavy, won't yeah, it? Yeah, it would be. But if you wanted to um, do a blanket stitch, for example. Uh, what are you doing? So Number 43, what's that? Uh, it's a uh, blanket stitch. And then if you wanted to, you could go around all the raw edges. Yeah. You don't need a calculator for that sum. So two very different um, te you, you, ways. In fact, if I just take it off. Oh. It's a funny little picture there. Oh, excuse me. So, yeah, there's two different ways of sewing it down. So on these ones here, I've just echo quilted yeah. around the top. Whereas this one here, I've just done a blanket stitch around the edges. So again, very different ways to quilt it. Yeah, very, yeah, yeah, very yeah. simple. Um, but you could almost do that in a dark, like in a grey or a dark blue or something mm. like that, because that would really then accentuate all the petals, yeah, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would do, yeah. And then if you wanted to, a bit of free motion, a bit of extra detail. Okay, so you've got not got anything on the back? I have, but I've only used Oh, I was going to say it's only on the back over that side. Yeah, so, yeah. so you've actually put your wadding on already yeah. before you do that. Yeah, and then, I'll, and then you put the backing on after. You yeah. don't need to do a sandwich. I'll just use it. Oh, no, 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 no. But there's definitely yeah. something that was... Because I was, thought it was odd you were just stitching through just the panel, but I didn't realise you'd only used like a frugal six-inch square. <laughs> and then in the background, you can free motion it or you can leave it plain. There's lots of different ways you oh, can do it. I was going to say, what did you do? But you could do that. You, you could do. You must have finished ones. Have you not got finished ones it's, somewhere? It's all... 
<laughs> well, Lewis Dyer would have got all the finished Busy. ones. This, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it, yeah. Well, when you get to Festival Quilt, you're going to need real ones, aren't you? Yeah. So that's how long is that away? That's August. You have another. So, so without giving any secrets away, yeah. have you? Uh, are you working on things in the background? More yeah. There's one the collection that's all done. That's finished. For Lewis and Irene. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, that will be out in the summer. Yeah. And I'm. Oh, so that'll be out before Festival of Quilts then. It should be out around Festival yeah, of Quilts. Yeah. And I'm working on another co two collections at the moment. For Lewis and Irene. For next year. But then, yeah. what about projects for here? Uh, I will be back in uh, the week after <laughs> the week after next doing a project. Uh -huh. I've got I've got a lot of and how's the book coming on? It's getting there, yeah. And all that and family and, and a dog and yeah. So yeah, who needs sleep? You know. I know, but then you, yeah. you can go home now and have a nice put your feet up. Yeah, well, I, <coughs> I can't got work to do. I've got lots to do. I'm busy. There you go. Yeah. Thank you, Delphine. Mm. Oh. Right, you need to check out your baskets. Loads sitting in baskets. Now's your decision time. Make sure you check out your baskets. Uh, Delphine will see you in a couple of weeks' time. I'll see you in about four or five minutes where we've got uh, Catherine Wright doing this lovely Moda quilt. Now, have we seen it? Yeah, yeah, we saw it in the menu, but we, we, the menu was over an hour ago. There you go. Don't answer back, Charlie. You'll get slapped. Uh, I'll see you in four minutes from now. Hello, I'm Catherine Wright from Leicestershire Craft Centre based in Market Harbour. I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street family. I've been sewing since the age of seven when my mum taught me to sew. I particularly enjoy dressmaking and all through my childhood I made my own clothes uh, including dancing costumes and my prom dresses. But I also enjoy patchwork and bag making and hand stitching and embroidery and really anything textile based. The thing I particularly love about fabric and textiles and stitching is that there is always something new to try. There's always a new technique or a new skill to learn uh, and I really enjoy doing that. My top tip for new sewers is to uh, be friends with your iron. Your sewing always looks better when it's been pressed and it's not like ironing your own clothes. It's much more, much better than that. And also to uh, build your skills up step by step. Don't launch in with the, with the wedding dress first off. You know, start with a simple dress and build your skills up and then you'll see good results right from the start and feel enthusiastic and carry on sewing. So really, just have a go, have fun. It's all about having fun and enjoying it. Um, so happy sewing. Not only is Sewing Street live from 8am till 1pm on Sky 670, Freeview Channel 73, YouTube and the Sewing Street app. Now, Virgin subscribers can watch on Channel 754, which means there are more ways to watch your way with Sewing Street. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8am till 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with split pay. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. 
Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. And we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Bye. Did you know that you can continue shopping 24 hours a day, seven days a week, even after we've finished broadcasting live? Just head over to www.sewingstreet.com for thousands of sewing supplies available from top brands. You still pay only one p and with split pay available on certain items and an easy checkout service too. Plus, you can get expert advice and tips from our Sewing Street hub and UK customer support is available 24-7. So head over to sewingstreet.com and continue your sewing journey. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says Gift Cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. It's all going on here. You know that um, Brian May, whatever he's called, that's on the other channel, right? Brian Cox. He's left cups of water underneath the desk and just, I knocked them over because I didn't see them because I'm getting the iron out and everything. Anyway, look at this. Oh, first of all, Catherine, hello. Stay, stay Bob down, Michael. <laughs> Michael's doing, Michael's doing, look, mopping up the water. Good morning. <laughs> Catherine's here. Now, why aren't you wearing your frock? Oh, well, it's in the wash, ready for next week. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, remember Catherine was on, uh, was it only last week? Or week before? No, uh, a couple ago. of weeks ago, couple wasn't of weeks it? Ago yeah. of hundreds and hundreds of our dress pattern. If you missed that, it's coming back on th yes, Thursday. Thursday. Thursday with Vix. Uh, but for today, it's not dressmaker day, she's a quilter today. Now, it's really funny because somebody put on Facebook this week, right? John Scott keeps telling us that uh, it's not a quilt until you've got all three layers put together. That's correct. Which is correct. So why do we sell quilt kits when it's not got wadding and backing in it? This should be a topper kit or a, a patchwork oh. kit. Not, I don't make up the rules, but it's funny. That... What happened then? Oh, OK. I was going to say there's nobody standing behind it. Um, anyway, 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 anyway. So a quilt kit, but you get what you get in here is enough to make the top and the binding. The top and the binding in here. Now, I'm going to do it. It's Moda, remember? So Moda, $199.99 is a really good price. It's a big size. What you see on the wall there is less than half. Is that half of it exactly? It's half. Half of it. Without the borders. Obviously. Yeah, without the because it gets borders and binding on there as well. Right? Should be £199.99. It's on split pay. Uh, it's not going there. It's not staying there. Watch, 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 watch. £149.99. Still on three-way split pay. Looks, so it's £50 a month, isn't it? £50 a month. 
over three months. No interest charge whatsoever, and we don't charge you for using the, the pleasure of using split pay. As you can see here, look, 68 inches by 84 inches, which is 173 by 213 centimetres. So over two metres long and one and three quarter metres wide. We well, can see how wide this is, because that's the right width. Yes, I did the width. I didn't do them... The a half, because I thought you wouldn't see it. No, 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 good <laughs> idea, good idea. Uh, but, 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 so you, I'll show you what you get in the parcel now. But your finished thing, if you see on here, will have a border, two borders and a binding. No, no, one border, one There's binding. There's two, two borders. Two a borders white border and a, a coloured border. There you go. Oh, yeah, the, a white border, the coloured border and the binding. So you've got two borders and a binding going on there as well. For 149 .99. Now, let me show you what you get in the box. Oh, brand new. Thank you for choosing Moda. Now, here's your instruction by Coach House Designs. Have you? Oh, hang on. They, oh, my word. They're good instructions. Good instructions. Very thorough instructions. Look. So that's your block that you're going to make. That's how you put them together. Where's number one? Number one is the white fabric. Oh, see. Anyway, look, so that's fantastic there. And then all your different fabrics you've got, how to make it all, how to make your blocks. Then let's have a look at the fabric. Now, um, so this is, let me just open this one up for you. This is your cream background fabric or your ivory background fabric. Lots of that. And it's all moda, good quality moda. This is your border and that's your border. That's your binding. Correct. That's your border, that's your binding. Now, that appears in the actual Does. quilt. Does that one appear in the quilt? Uh, no. Yes, no, I think it... Oh, well, so oh, unless no, it does. I haven't, I yeah. haven't got used it Because, <laughs> because, because, because you're not getting lengths of fabric. What you get here is you get a Moda layer cake, right? So you're going to cut it all from the Moda layer cake. Now, do you want to say something about this? As in... You've got to be careful with your cutting. Yes. Yeah. We're not being negative. You've got, you've got a couple of spare blocks, yeah. but you've got to be careful with your cutting. But I'm going to show you how to cut one brilliant. of them. So, so you get your... and, there, and there is a brilliant cutting diagram. You've just got to be on it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just got to concentrate, unlike me. Do what? Unlike me, you've got to keep, keep focus. <laughs> oh, why? Is there a mistake on there? There might be a small mistake. Okay, let's <laughs> show the quilt. See if you can spot the mistake. It's, There's it's no a, prizes. It, yeah. No prizes. It's a spot that spot the difference. The thing is, <laughs> uh, it took me forever to find it. It took me forever. So don't worry. Just go show you can have a mistake in it, but nobody's ever going to notice. Okay. And I, I and I'm do not it trying wrong. To pick I do it wrong, so you don't have to. Yeah. But also, you do it wrong. No, you don't. You don't do it wrong. Uh, but um, it's kind of like it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't it matter. Doesn't it doesn't matter at all because well, it doesn't matter. We'll point it out at the end of the show, but it, it really doesn't matter. So, oh, okay, okay. Now, see, I don't know what's going on today. So we had our meeting the other day about the scissors, and Haley said the scissors are definitely, definitely twelve ninety nine, right? He went to six nine ten. This, she said, I don't really want you to go to 149 dollars because it's Moda and it should be more than that, right? But he's going to go lower. Bang. Good Friday, good Friday, good Friday. Oh. Good Friday. Uh, my, Michael, sorry, I know you've been... Oh, I'm just trying to... Uh, can you see none of the details are coming up? 129 dollars That is your price. He's not going again. He's not going again. 129 dollars Look at the split pay. 43.33. Right, so you get that, you get that, you get that, you get your instructions, you get everything you need. Let's start the demo, please. Oh, she looks nervous now. So <laughs> don't be nervous. No, no, it's all good. I, do you know what? I really enjoyed making this. I think it's really, there's such lovely spring fresh colours yeah. in the fabric. And actually, when you get into a little rhythm with it, it's really nice. So obviously, you've got all your. Um, cutting instructions and because you've got your nice little key I was very organized yeah and went through and labelled up the right number on my fabrics so that I didn't you keep get going I'm just up. trying to track those that's fine there's a lot going on respond. today yes <laughs> okay so no no don't cut to me um yeah, right. you've got a nice little cutting guide here but I'm just going to show you how you cut your block because 
you've only got a couple spare. So if you do do one wrongly, you haven't got a lot to play with. So we'll just iron this one. Um, now, don't think to yourself, oh, I don't like these little zigzag edges. If you've not used layer cakes before, don't think, oh, I don't like the zigzag edges. I'll cut them off. Don't do that because then you're... Sorry, Catherine, I'm putting, you, I'm putting you off and I shouldn't be. small. Right. <laughs> right. Um, so what you've got to do first, from, from each block, we've got to cut four rectangles and two strips. Right. So the way to do it, I even did a little number order on my plan, so oh, I got good. it right. So you need to cut one of your one-inch strips first. And I tended... Oh, you've not unlocked it. I've not unlocked the rotary cutter rotating <laughs> board, so it's not functioning as it should. Okay, so right, we'll do... So, we're all ears now. Okay. Right, so... So, we're going to take an inch off here. Watch your fingers, that's a brand new blade. I know, and you can tell it's lovely. Yeah. Put that to one side. Then oh, we're keeping that. We're not throwing that away. We're not throwing that away. There's very little that you throw away. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Very little indeed. In fact, you could keep the tiny, tiny scraps for crumb piecing, couldn't right. you? So then from that cut edge, you're then going to cut yourself two four and a quarters. Do four. Right. Okay. So this is where you mustn't worry about direction because obviously you cut off one going in one direction and yeah. then twisted it. That's right, but I don't think any of the fabrics are particularly directional. There's a little bit there with the lead, but it doesn't matter. No, does the it? only one the only one thing you, you can notice it on is that um, I don't know what that one, what what would you call that like test tube fabric? <laughs> this one. Yeah. They look like rainbows to me. No, <laughs> Okay, rainbow. Yeah, but, but you know what I mean? But, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's not a thing that so you can one, have two, trees three. upside down. So though. four and a quarter that way. Yeah. So you've got two four and a quarters there. Then with this little bit you've got left, you're going to cut another one inch Oh, crikey. Strip. So each block's going to give you enough for two finished blocks. Yes. Okay. So we get rid of that little bit. Oh, that's your scrap. That tiny bit. <laughs> well, there's a tiny bit more. Then your two strips here are going to be eight and a half. So I'll just line them up really carefully. Okay, there you go. Eight. Hang on, get me ruler the right way around. That would help, wouldn't it? So, I mean, when I do things like this, I always like have a little cutting day. Or a cutting afternoon yeah, where I yeah. just cut it all out and get it labelled up ready. But there's nobody in the craft centre. They're your little straps. Oh, okay. That's it. Oh, that's, that's it. That's it. <laughs> yes. No one to distract you. No. And then these two are going to get cut into in half, so four and a half. Is your blouse a, a, a Catherine Wright pattern? It isn't, actually. Oh, okay. But I did make it myself. Yeah. Nice. I like the unusual neckline on it. Yeah, it's a, it's a chalk and notch pattern. Chalk and notch. Chalk and notch. Okay, so then that's in half there. Uh, Francis, what a lovely quilt. Christine says, morning all, happy Good Friday. Okay, so that's your... That is your initial square out. into things. So you, you're going to do that for... Pretty much. So everything. you end up with two strips the same size and four, four squares the same. They're size. not square; they're rectangles. So oh, this is oh, the thing okay. you have to watch. Right. Um, there is very conveniently a little page that because where you can use it to make sure you've got it the same oh, way. Now, me, Catherine, being Catherine, didn't find that bit to start off with. So, just to show you, if you do it wrongly... Oh, is this why you only made half a quilt? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what have I done with it? I, I, the, my very first one, I did rotate things wrongly. Oh, I had it out to show you. I'll find oh. it in a minute. Yeah, yeah. And it doesn't go together properly. And I was thinking, well, this is really strange. Oh, oh. <laughs> what have I done? And but then I realised... It proved that any pattern you get, really, in real life, in real life, get it, read it, 
Have Absolutely. A cup of tea, look, look at, at all it. the bits. Yeah. Don't think, oh, my Lord. No, because you're like me. Oh, I can up. make this. I know how to do this. That's easy. That's just squares, though. Yeah. yeah. They're not. They're no. not. They're a quarter of an inch difference. But... It's only a quarter of an inch. It's only a quarter of an inch. So, generally, to the eye, that looks fairly well, square, Yes, that's why it? I said it's square, yeah. Yes. But it's not. And they've given you this lovely page so you can check, which is brilliant. Okay. Am I, am I carrying on with making the block or are you doing any bits? No, uh, you're no. carrying on. Okay, good stuff. Unless you want to have a break. Or no, I'm break. okay. I was just checking. <laughs> 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 well, yeah, I'll go for a break. I'll recap. Okay. What I'll do is once the demo's over, I'll recap everything that Catherine's used because we've got the ruler, the rotary cutter, the iron, the little scissors and everything like oh, that. We've I'll got everything today, haven't we? So, yeah, so I found, after I'd done my first one and, and got it all, all my doors, I got myself organised. And I found to do it like a few at a time worked really well, like right. a colour at a time. Um, and then I'd get them and I'd do them and then I'd label them up with my little number again. Good to go. Yeah. So because we're going to put little squares, little white squares. These are making our leaves then. And we've got two different directions. So this, this page... I just kept referring back to, once I'd found it, referring back to because <laughs> yeah. it keeps you on track. Yeah. Because it's one of those things. It's not hard, but it's easy to just get things the but wrong way around. It's an inch, so it's kind of, it, anyone could have made that mistake. Absolutely. And you've got to have it so you've got a leaf going that way and a leaf going that way. Oh, and if yes. you don't get your squares on correctly, you'll have them all going the same way. Yeah, course, and then yeah. your block won't work. Yeah. Hence... One of the little areas here where I, I thought, oh, I know what I'm doing now. Right. And did, did too many the same direction. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, another reason why there's only half a quilt. <laughs> I have got enough to finish it. Because yeah. you do get a bit spare. <laughs> so you, you can only make two mistakes then, basically. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I made four, so I'm in trouble, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you've got some other fabric to <laughs> nestle into it. Okay, so... Your squares go like this, and we're going to draw the... Oh, can you just bob your head back just a tiny bit? That yeah, sorry. Bit. No, 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 no. Now, obviously, you could sit and draw all your diagonals first, but there's 320 small squares. Uh -huh. So it depends how you're feeling. I like to do it as I go along. Yeah. And then and I can... just using a pencil just through I that am. directly across the... I room. really like just... I really like a pencil. I know there's lots of different marking tools and everyone has their favourites, but I just like a pencil because you can't iron it off and it doesn't rub off. No, and do we, are we sewing on that line? We are sewing on oh, the yeah, line. I understand sometimes you do a pencil drawing and then you don't sew on that line, do you? And then it, you're stuck with the line, but this way you're actually going to be sewing straight on the line. Yes, and you can't see it. So we've got some going that way. Oh, this and then got to remember some to going way. this way. Absolutely. And then my, my top tip would be is when you've sewn them, before you trim anything off, just check you've got it right. Yeah. <laughs> before you trim. Okay. So, we're ready to sew those now. Now, for this bit, so this is why it's quite good to do a few at a time. I'm just going to move my little, little things across, can't reach. Um, <laughs> She'll be back in a minute. Oh. Um, so, it was, I did a few at a time because you want to put your needle in the middle for this bit. Right. So, you can line it up to go down the thing. Oh, yeah, of course. So, let me just, I've got it on the wrong setting. That's better. And then when you join the blocks, you can put it on your quarter inch setting. Yeah. I am also just going to put a pin in to hold them a little bit, just so they don't move out of the way. It sounds very busy, doesn't it? Huh? It sounds so busy everywhere That's today. He, he's, <laughs> that, he likes the management to think he's busy, so it's sort of noise banging boxes around everything. <laughs> I've got them pinned and they've still moved. I'm unpinning it now. Oh! That 
did not sound good. No, it should be all right. It should be all right. Let me just do this. It was fine out the back. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> it sometimes does it. <laughs> Is your bob been empty? No. Oh, almost. Right, just have, have another go now. See if it works this time. Let me just put it down. Oh, no, it's definitely hitting something. It is, isn't it? Yeah. It's not very uh, happy. We'll need another sewing machine, I'm afraid. Uh, only, I, only, is, there, is there some down here threaded up? It wasn't me. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's, it's hit. It's hit. We just need a different sewing machine, Michael, please. I think the, it feels like the, um, the, the needle's it, catching on something, isn't it? Does, it does, isn't it? The front is all threaded up. That would be lovely. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Let me just take that one out. I'll take, this one, take this one out. Take that one out. Live telly, everybody. <laughs> it's going well today. Uh, that foot won't work. What about that? Well done. Thank you, Michael. You're earning your pennies today, Michael. Oh, was there my pennies from? <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? Give him extra pennies? No, I said he's earning them today. Oh. It is pennies, isn't it? Um. Oh, yeah, I couldn't see that one. Lovely, thank you. Oh, right. Thank you. Right. Okay, we'll give it another go. <laughs> Sounded better. We'll speed it up a because little. the other morning, Charlie, when you were doing your letters, it did that to you, didn't it? Oh, now I've hit something. Now you've hit what? <laughs> it's all right, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> okay. We'll get there, we'll get there. I was just thinking, you just have days, don't you? Yes. You know, sewing days when you kind of, like, you know, if it can go wrong, it goes wrong. And if you're at home, you just stop and have a cup of tea and a biscuit. Exactly. But it's weird that it was working right out there in your prep and everything. It's just coming here. It'll be something simple. Got any new machines at the um, Leicester or new projects at the Leicester Craft Centre? Leicester oh, Craft. we've always got new projects. I've just been doing lots of summer scheduling, actually. Oh, have you? Yes. So lots of new things on my website. Yeah. Um, oh, what we're doing? How's your glass? How are your glass um, classes going? Yeah, they're really busy. Oh, we did we did so many at the Creative Craft Show. I think I sent out sixty odd pieces of glass last no. week. Yeah. Oh, what, so they they prepped it, and then you took it back. Yeah. So we fired it. So yeah. So last Monday I was literally doing postage for all these different wow. glass things. So that was really nice. Um, and then we've got we've got some. Nice quilt retreats. Uh -huh. Kerry's coming yeah. over to do. To do those at the craft centre. At the craft centre, yeah, because we've got everything there. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. you know, it's such an you don't have to bring anything then, which works oh, really yeah, and well. Also, so if you go away on a retreat and you go, oh, you just need this, you think, oh, it's on the shelf. No. Whereas you know it's full well, well, it's all there. I've got this lovely new website at, at now. Oh yes. And it's uh, it's brilliant because it's like, what do you need to bring? It's got bits on it, you know, what, what's included? What do you need to bring? And there's this section and it's just like, most of them, it's like, just yourself. Oh. <laughs> and did you get one of your kids to make your website then? No, no. <gasps> Proper. No. Oh, it's, yeah, it's really swanky. It's Ooh, really you swanky. You and Sarah Davis, new websites at the same time. It has, it's really good. It's got this function where, so if a course is booked up, you can go on a waiting list and so oh. we can see how many people are waiting and then we can put another date on so it's, it's working really well but I'm having to learn a whole new bit of tech to keep it maintained yeah. Um, but yeah we're getting there we're oh. getting there right so I suggest on these bits that you 
press them back first. Yeah, so oh, you yes, can check yes, you've yes. done them right. Yeah. And then you can trim away. Oh, apparently Amanda Little broke the machine when she's on with Stuart Princess and thrown her under the bus, isn't she? <laughs> the bit was working earlier. That was, a, that was what we can't understand. It was absolutely fine outside in the prep room. You better put a sticker on it so nobody yeah, else had the go. Charlie will just take it home. Catherine Wright, you're looking gorgeous. Love your dress and hair, says Christine. Oh, thank you. It's nice. What do you want, Christine? Oh, now Christine was one of our winners of, you know, we do that, that, that block of the, uh, what's it? Uh, what's it called? What's it actually called? What, for Festival of Quilts? Yes. Oh, yes. Right? Designer block. We're launching it on Tuesday. Tuesday. We're launching this year's on Tuesday. And Christine that just messaged in then was one of the 12 winners. Was it 12 or 9? No, 12 winners that was got on the quilt last year. That was amazing, that quilt. Yeah. Oh, we're doing I can't believe we're all thinking about Festival Quilts already. I know it's going to come around really fast. I know. Have you yeah. got any others before then? No. Doing any of the others? No. Because um, Jules was in last week and I saw you can have a bit of rest. And she went, no, I'm in Exeter next week. No, I'm not going to those ones. It's to stay... It's too much with the family to stay away and they like me around oh. everything. Like and that. Although you've got your business to run as I've well. got a business to run. And do you know what, John? You know, I told last time I was on, I told you my mum was going to a wedding and I was making a Yeah, dress. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to the wedding, I'm going to America. My brother, who's who's so lovely, he rang me up, he said, It's nearly your birthday. Would you like a flight to the wedding? And I was like, Oh my goodness, oh. yes. So now I've got to make me a dress as well. Well you can wear the one you wore on the show. Yeah, but my mum's having oh, that no, pattern. Can't, we can't no. wear the same. No, you can't wear the same dress. <laughs> so, yeah, so I can't do any shows because I've got to make dresses. And whose wedding is it then? So it's my nephew. Oh, oh OK. Oh, so that's it's, nice. So it's so exciting. So, you yeah. you the family at home then? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you just said, oh, I can't leave my family to do extra. But I except can't for, leave them. Except for fun things like that. So when's that then? Uh, end of May. Oh, lovely. Yeah, yeah. So In California? Yes, <gasps> Monterey. Oh, lovely. I know, I, know. I'm, I and feel so lucky. And you your brothers? Um, yeah, and then, uh, well, he's in San Francisco, and then we're going down to Monterey, so I'm in a hotel for a couple of nights for the wedding. So. Are you going to so exciting. stay a little bit longer, so you're not just flying in for the wedding? Um, well, even just flying in for the wedding and out, it's nearly a week. Oh, So, okay, yeah. yeah, I can't really, Push <laughs> really too take too much time off. Uh, Terry says, we're very excited to have a ticket to Festival Quilts. I'm there on the Thursday. If anyone wants to know, I'm at Festival Quilts on the Thursday. I'm there every day. Yeah. You've got a stand, though, haven't you? I've got a stand, yet. yes. I'm, I'm not doing any lessons this year. I'm just, just on my stand. Oh, I'm just on our stand, but on the Thursday. So, but I do, Festival Quilts is my favourite one, favourite show. Yeah. Okay, so you've got your lovely leaves and you're going to attach the white bits. So we've lovely. got the small strip at the top, the slightly bigger one there, and then we've got, this is another rectangle that looks a bit like a square. Oh, so you have to be careful with that one as again, well. Again, yeah, so again you've got to be careful. Uh, and these are just going to go with your quarter inch seam. Yeah. See, it's throwing me because I haven't got scissors on this one. But you've got your lovely little snippy scissors I've just given you. Oh, yes. Well, let's have those. They were the scissors from the early bird this morning. Which we well, they weren't even an early bird. They weren't meant to be reduced. Snippy scissors. Don't well, ask you me. You just, just need loads of me. them, don't you? Because it's good to have, like, a pair near your overlocker yes. and a pair near your ironing board. And they're left-handed and right-handed. They're ambidextrous Ooh. scissors. And they're very, very sharp. And they've got soft-touch handles. And on Hobby Maker, they've sold thousands of them. And I'm liking the lovely little new iron. Oh, the Aliso iron. Now, there were only 12 of those left when we came on air this morning. Five left now, only five. We will get more in, so I'm not saying you'll never get one, but of the stock we've got at the moment, there are only five left. Oh, yeah, they're nice little sharp scissors. There will be, I presume there will be a discount code festival because it's just a bit early because they normally give me one and Stuart one and everything like that. None of us have heard yet, so there will be, I'm sure there will be a discount code. You normally get two pounds off or something like They've that. They've only just finished the Stitch Festival. It's, yes, exactly. Uh, yeah, so the they'll same, be yeah, recovering the and then, the it, then they'll be on it, won't they? Yeah. I'm, I'm imagining this year is going to be 
pre-COVID heathen, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? And we, I think we were so. busy last year, but I think now everyone's kind of thinking, oh, I can definitely go now. Oh, Pauline, Auntie Pauline. Morning. I've booked to go on Catherine and Kerry's free motion workshop in July. Yeah. I can't wait. Lovely. I, I'm mainly the tea lady on that day. <laughs> oh, wait, what? You're letting Kerry do free motion on your machines? <laughs> you mad? We've done it before. She's brilliant. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I should tell her you said that. She'll be watching. She is. She's in the car on the way to Devon. <laughs> oh, she won't be watching then. Oh, she's no, a passenger. <laughs> yeah, she's... Oh, that's I'm gonna take okay, then we're going to put our strip down the middle. Now, having tried a couple of different ways to do this, because it's quite narrow, yes. I think the best way is to put it on and then press it right open and then put the other side. Right. I had a go at doing both sides at once without pressing it in between, but it didn't work so well. Remember, this quilt's meant to be 199.99. Hayley said we could take it to 149.99, but then... In one of those moods today, 129.99. And it, it doesn't really matter which way you do your your seams. I no. just just want to be well pressed. Okay. Um, now, Ben, uh, what's what, what's that job thing? You, it's, he's not leaving. Don't worry, he's not leaving. But he's up to be the face of alcohol-free beer club, right? Biggest alcohol-free beer subscription people. Nothing to do with us. Nothing to do with Stone Street. And we're not merely meant to mention it on air, but I'm going to, because uh, we've both, we've both uh, voted. So what you need to do is go to Wise Bartender UK. This is Instagram. The only way you can vote is on Instagram. Wise Bartender UK. You'll see a post that says, and there's a choice of three of them. And some people, when you click on it, you get a thing saying vote for, and you just click on it. Other people, like one of mine, I just had to write Ben, his name. Uh, but the votes close at midnight tonight. Oh, is it because it was number one on my, uh, when I went last? It's a sixth post down on their page. Help us choose the new face. New face. And um, I don't know, um, are you going to do that funny voice on all of your p Facebook thingies? <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> well, no, you did it on that one, though, didn't you, on your advert? Yeah. Okay. Oh, is it? Right. Close at midnight tonight. That's it. Not mentioning it again now. But if you go to my Facebook page, you can see it on there. So, there we go. There's your lovely little block. So you can see, actually, once you, as long as you get your orientation correct, yeah, it's actually a really straightforward block. To yes, do. goes together reasonably quickly. Isn't it funny because the seam allowances aren't off there? It looks slightly not wrong. Just not. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it's wrong. But you know, it's like any block when you haven't taken your seam allowances off it, you kind of go, oh, it looks a little bit. Not quite, it doesn't look the same as the ones in no. your quilt because you haven't taken, you know, it's like when I you lay you something yes, out, you yes. go, oh, this doesn't look like it fits together. And then once it goes once together, it goes you're together, like, together, that's cool. Go, oh, I see. Well, I'll do a few more yes, and then uh, we can put them together and yep. see what they look like. I'll shut up this time so I don't put you off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to find some of the bits out my box that I've already done because then they'll whiz up quite quickly. Okay. So. But it's only the one block then, all the same. So, block. yeah, so you make 80 of them. Oh, okay. There's 80 in total. Have I got some partial ones? But you see, look, I've been very organised with my different colours and they've still got all their numbers on. Oh, yes. And all cut So ready. each one has a number, does it, then? So each fabric, each fabric design has got a number. You've got a lovely little, oh, okay. very help, colourful yeah. and useful thing. And it tells now, you how many blocks you're going to get out of each okay, one. OK, because sometimes on uh, layer cakes, you get two of one fabric. Sometimes you get three of there one. There are. Oh, there are. So some of them have two um, squares. Some of them have just one. OK. But it, it does, as you go through, you can, yeah. I had quite a nice time just sitting, sorting out the, oh, yeah, I'm sure. the layer cake. I enjoyed that bit. Because you've got plenty of time for things like that. <laughs> this is what I do on my Sunday afternoons. So the, the, oh, well, it took you just the afternoon? No, yeah. no, no, I, no, it didn't. It took a bit longer. But I did it in the evenings after tea. Okay. I did a bit of sewing. So it actually didn't take that when long. When did you see your children then? They, they, they sit at the table. They chat to me sometimes. Well, while you're sewing? Yeah. Oh, you don't do... To, oh, I see you didn't go to the... Into no, the no, no. Half no, I'm, I usually do all my sewing street stuff at home. 
right. in between. <laughs> Don't get them muddled. Uh, oh, Christine, that's why I told everyone it was Thursday. I'm gutted. I won't see you this year. I'm going on Friday, which is my birthday. And then at Festival Quilts on the Saturday with her toy boy, Gary. Well, I won't see you then. There might be a possibility. The trouble is, right, I have to be here. So, I, the, you know, normally I'll do two or three days, but I've got to be here because Stuart has his own stand there and the makes have their own stand there. So, yeah, yeah. So there's only me and Vix to hold the fort here. And, of course, we have all the big guests, don't we, from Festival Quilts coming on to the show and everything. So, yeah, so Stuart's busy there and Rebecca Reed will be busy there. So, you know uh, so I'll, I have to hold the fort here, you see. They should just broadcast live from the show. We did that, that one cool? year and it was so complicated. Was it? <laughs> yes. Yeah, probably a logistical nightmare. Oh, microphones didn't work and there were all sorts of things going on. And you can't, you can't, um, when you, so we interviewed people while we were live on air and you can't, not, not, you don't want to control what they say, but if somebody gets overexcited, you know. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I did find that when I was putting this together, partly because I was only doing doing half of the sample, but um, as I did each colour, yeah, um, where's my little little plan? I did. I like ticked them off. Sorry. That's right. No, no. But because because the first um, sort of two rows are in order. Yeah. So I did number two, and then when I did number three, I started to join my rows together right. as I went along. So it felt like it was growing quite quickly. Uh, oh, Which I see. Rather quite... than making all your blocks. Yes. Yeah. yeah, it was like growing at the same time as I yeah. was making the blocks. Oh. And I thought that was quite a nice way of doing it, actually. I know this won't be in the right order, but I'm going to start. I'm going to put them together so you can see what they start to look like, you see. I'm going maverick. I'm going rogue, John. Oh, OK. <laughs> But the thing is, <laughs> no, the thing is, all these fabrics look lovely. So, I suppose if the only you do thing do you have to be careful of, if you don't follow their plan, yes. is you don't want to have too many greens together. Absolutely. I mean, I know there's a lot of green, but do you know what I mean? So, say there, was, there were only three mustards, you wouldn't want all three mustards all together. Absolutely. Well, no, you? I would recommend yeah. uh, following their plan. But it's all going to work. This is anyway, purely so. for demonstration purposes. Yes. As they say in the profession. <laughs> and when you come to put your rows together, yeah. obviously there's only these little bits that you need to match. Oh, yeah they're, course, the, yeah. they're the important bits. Obviously, there is also a, a seam there. Yeah, but it's cream on cream. But it, if it doesn't match perfectly, you're not going to no, see that. exactly, exactly. I was about to say, if you offset them, but that wouldn't work, because then your vines wouldn't be They growing, wouldn't be climbing, would they? Would no. They? no. no. <laughs> Just trying to go any other ways to help, but now can't. <laughs> Can't help you on that one. See, does that block look better now? Now I've joined it. Oh, oh immediately. It's weird, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> Just so strange when you can take away that middle seam allowance. Yeah, I've got this one to join together as well. A lot of green ones. I know. I'll do a pink one next then. <laughs> After that. So what? What fabric is it? Let me just have a look. So it's Willow by I Canoe Two. I don't know them. I Canoe Two. I canoe too. Or one can... No. One can... No. There's no D in there, though. One canoe too. I just presume that was an I. An I, I couldn't work it out either. But it's really... It's, it's very pretty. No, it is very pretty. It's very spring-like, isn't it? Which is what we want. So nice driving in in the light. And oh, yeah, uh, yeah, so nice. Get on Sunday, and just being, a, you can get up. It's so much easier to get up. And yes. it was light. <laughs> yes. oh. You get up earlier than me, yes. though. Yeah. But when the alarm went this morning, it was getting light and it was so much easier. Oh, I was so, I was having such, I can't remember what my dream was, but I remember having such a lovely dream. <laughs> and then the alarm went off and it was like, no, it can't be already. 
Yeah, it'd be darker from Sunday. But, but not for long, not for long. Yeah. No. And lighter in the evenings. Oh, yeah, 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 but I'm in bed in the evenings. <laughs> I'll be going to bed. I went to bed really early last time. Oh, no, but I hate going to bed when it's sunny outside. Yeah, you it's can hear weird, all the kids playing on the village <laughs> and thinking, oh, here I am, 63, going to bed. <laughs> yeah. Then I'm, sh I'm at the window going, shut up! Shut up! Stop kicking that football! Although, to be fair, John, that is only like a couple of days in the whole year because most of the time it's raining. Yes. And cold. Oh, <laughs> did, you have this, did you have that weird storm last night? Oh, yeah, wasn't it awful? I was sitting watching the telly and I thought, oh, cracky, something's gone. It, it didn't even sound like rain. It's, it was so heavy and so windy and everything. And it was slapping against the windows and the doors and everything. It was quite frightening. Thing is, all the ones that did play football on the green, have all, they're all gone to university now, so they don't play football on the green. Because when I moved in, they were all little kids, weren't they? They're all yeah. 12 years later, they're all off to university and things are working, so they don't kick around the ball on the green anymore. Yeah. I nearly got a sign made going, no ball games on this green. <laughs> but there are, they're allowed to. <laughs> but I just happen to live opposite it, you know. My daughter's back from uni now. She's... Uh, She's helping me out at the craft centre, oh. which is nice. So let's oh, just yeah, check. Right way up, girl. They are very deceptive. Mm. We'll, do, we'll do a pink one. Well, that's a nice one. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, you've not got that one, but if it is, it's at the bottom, on the bottom row. Yeah, there. Yeah, it's nice. No, small ones. Yeah, let's do these that I've already drawn on. Where's my plan? So it's quite a simple block. Once you've mastered the, that, that quarter inch difference on the square, it's actually yeah. quite a simple block. It make, is, it? absolutely. And I mean, you don't have to stand and cut it all out at the same time as well. You can do that in degrees. Yeah. You know? Now, what would it look I'm trying to think of um, my, putting my stamp on it. What would it look like if you did a different stalk to the leaves? My like, shall I, don't shall do I, it, don't do it. Do you want me to try it on this one? No, don't mind. <laughs> I don't think it would probably work quite as well. Oh, all right then. At the end of the day, it's... It, personal choice isn't it oh no no completely completely and utterly but uh, yeah, you're right i don't think it would work or would you buy some green fab no don't no shush uh yesterday we had snow hail rain thunder lightning high winds and briefly some sunshine says roxana uh, Su Suzanne says, we were having a party for my daughter's 18th last night and the gazebo, gazebo broke up in the wind. Oh, oh no. Oof. Hopefully with no one inside it. Well, you be careful. And there was me planning on putting my garden furniture out last week because no. this time last year it was boiling hot. Yeah, I don't think I even put my garden furniture out. <laughs> did you know? I didn't, it was so wet. I didn't sit on it much, I have to say, but I did have it out. We can't get out to mow the grass. It's like a field of grass at the moment because uh, it's so wet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mine had got very, very long because Danny the gardener said, because I love mowing the lawn. And he said to me, don't mow the lawn until we've done this frost or something like that. Anyway, he came last week or before, and he managed to mow it, but had to mow it quite long because it was like waterlogged at the bottom. And now it's suddenly shot up again, and it's quite long, but I'm not going... We can't go out there because my, my, my lawnmower will just sink into the mud at the moment. And the fields, going from mine to, into Stratford, yes, they look, they look now like they, the farmers' fields look like they're lakes, some of them. I don't know how they're coping, no. farmers. It must be an absolute Around. nightmare. It just won't go down. It's obviously, we're obviously waterlogged, aren't we? So it just obviously won't go down. And also, the, all the new housing estates they seem to build these days have, like, a thing at the front where spare water... Yes. Go to. And they're all great big village ponds now, aren't they? They're all completely full now. Yes, with bulrushes in. 
Yes. Oh, I think they're lovely. But um, always worries me that if they build housing sites have got children on and then they've got a thing like this me just being over cautious. There's one near Dulcie and it's beautiful, but it's right in the middle of the, of the uh, housing estate. And you wouldn't want your kids... And there's a play field next to it. Just in a flow now, look. Well, you do kind of get a little rhythm going with it. Yeah. Yeah. But you definitely keep each block. You don't, you don't, um, uh, what sort of chain piece going, oh, I'll just get all the leaves done and then I'll get all the stalks Well, I, I didn't because I felt that then I would have to go back and resort all the colours. Of course. Yeah. And then, but, and I'd already spent time sorting all the yeah. colours. <laughs> but you could if you wanted to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here over Easter. I'm here today. Oh, climb in the chair. <laughs> this new chair suddenly went like that. Uh, I'm here today, off tomorrow, back in on Sunday, off on Monday. Because I don't think Rebecca Reed realised when they did the rotor that she was in on Easter, Easter Monday. Well, it's so early. Easter's so early. I know. No one could quite, big, I think, get used to the fact it is actually Easter. My son's off to Iceland next week. Oh, Charlie's just come back from Iceland. So I'd don't. love to, I'd love to, I'm very, I will talk to him. Um, I'm very jealous, I'd love to go to Iceland. D d you didn't get stopped by the volcano or anything then? Yeah. I think there's certain bits you're not allowed to go yeah. to, isn't there? Yeah. Did you go to the Blue Lagoon? Oh, that was one of the places you can't go to. No. Oh. What did you, why did you go there? Just for a holiday? Oh, very nice. John, we have lots of lakes where there should be fields at the moment. Great demo. Thank you both. Oh, I'm not doing anything. I'm just sitting here shouting. But <laughs> thank you, Susie. Oh, Susie. Susie. Now, Susie lives near me. In fact, Susie, it, it's a field quite near you. Ma imagine, Susie, if they hadn't cleared all... The Earlier in the year, they, where Susie lives, they, on the main road, they she doesn't live on the main road, but they cleared all of the ditches and all the trees, all the roots around, so they had a good clear out there. But where that turning is, to go, is it to the College Arms or something like that? That corner of that field is like a lake. And yesterday the wind was blowing. It had, like, waves on it and everything. Jean says, good morning, John, and all the team. Good morning. Uh, while she's stitching that, I've got three extra wides. Now, they would be good, but I don't know if I'd use them for this project. Because I just... Well, I, I don't know. We'll have a look, we'll have a look, we'll have a look, we'll have a look. They're motors, they're motors. So, look, you see, that there's three there. I'd go... The only one I do, the guy personally who use is this one here. But that's my, my choice. We're all different, we're all different. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you about all three of them before... Right, so let's do the green one first. Extra wide backing. Uh, 13 99 for half a metre. Mode etchings. Oh, they called it aqua. That's definitely not aqua. That's a spearmint green, that, if anything. Beautiful. So now, how wide is this... Um, well, oh, you'd only need to get... Inches, 84. Uh, only, well, you want it going the right direction. So you'd only need 84 inches plus about... So a couple of metres, wouldn't you? Two, two and a half metres of that. Be plenty, plenty. That one. Then I've got the biscuit version. There you go. Beautiful. Yeah, I mean, we, 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 we often sell um, extra back. It's not necessarily for the project we're doing that day. Uh, we cleared the ditch that our back field is the back... Hang on. We cleared the ditch, and that is our field on the back lane. <gasps> oh, Susie, no! It's really... It's proper like a swimming pool, isn't it? Like a seaside. Not that you can go swimming in it. Uh, here we go. Parchment, they've called it. Parchment. Beautiful. And then we've got the red one. Now, that... 
it's personal choice. I can't say definitely. I wouldn't use it. Um, so I love it. This is, I love this red, but maybe not for this project. Not being negative whatsoever, but I'm just saying. Just saying. Yeah. There you go, 13.99. Beautiful. Right, I'm going to go through some of the tools that Catherine's used as well. So, we first started off with the rotating cutting mat. Oh, two left now. That's it, two left. 16.99. Then, now I haven't got this in here. She used a little ruler. Oh, do you she want used to this little ruler. Thank you. It looks a bit, there you go. It's a quarter inch ruler. 8.99. I'll take it off there so you can see it. We can't use it there. It's quarter of an inch on every single side, so it doesn't matter what side you use it. Uh, always really, really popular. We used a creative grid, six and a half by 12 and a half. Beautiful. 23.99. We also best pressed our fabrics before we started using the lavender and vanilla. You didn't see that bit. That bit happened before you saw it. We also used a brand new, well, it's not, a, it's a brand new to Catherine, because I, I opened the packet, rotary cutter. It's the rotary cutter I've got. Oh, fuck. Oh, thank you. There you go. So it's brilliant because it's got the hat, so your, your blade bounces back every time you finish it. You can lock it so nobody can open it like that. It can be left-handed or right-handed. Uh, you can actually lock the blade open as well if you want to, but just remember to pop it back in. 1999, and it's got the little... Um, uh, grip here as well. Beautiful. Uh, then we had the quilt kit itself. Oh, and Miss Lily so I'll do that in a minute. Right, so what you get here is you get your 10-inch um, layer cake, of which you use all but two. That's right, isn't I it? I believe so, yes. Yeah, all but two. There's your binding. There's your... Oh, there she is. There's your border. And, and that one does appear, they both appear in the leaves as well. It, they both appear in here. So you'll make leaves as well. As well. There's your ivory cream background. Should be, well, a recommended retail price, 199.99. We were supposed to do a special price, 149.99. But Ben decided to go to 129.99. There's all your blocks. It's Good Friday. You need a Good Friday treat, don't you? 129.99. And then... Oh, the old, oh, we've got scissors and the, old, uh, and the iron. Scissors and iron. These were the early bird. We've stopped, hundreds of these have gone. They should have been twelve ninety nine. Oh, there you go. The original cutter bee scissors, six ninety nine. Now, I'm not, I know I sound like a broken record. Haley definitely said in the meeting that these were twelve ninety nine. Definitely, definitely, definitely said these were twelve ninety nine. So I don't know what's going on. Uh, uh, good morning, John, and all late on parade today, says Claire. Oh, yeah. Derek says, love that red backing fabric. As a non-quilter, what could I use it for? Okay, you can make a shirt yeah. out of it. Shirt uh, or a kilt, Derek. It'd be a great shirt. Be a lovely oh, Derek's got more shirts than I have. Uh, and then the only other thing we had was the Aliso iron, of which when we started this morning, there were only 12 left. When I said in a minute ago, the, oh, thank you, Michael, there were five left. Just check. Three left of the Aliso iron. We will get more. We will get more, but we don't know when. Uh, the three in baskets as well. There you go. Catherine, modelling the iron. You do get a soulmate with it as well. The light <laughs> comes on as you iron. 85 99 Now, the recommended retail price... Oh, five in baskets. That's six in baskets now. The recommended retail price is 99 99 We don't think... Oh, no, 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 no. When we launched at this price, there was nowhere else you could get it less than that apart from if you were a club member somewhere else, right? Uh, even the Long River was more... But Long River, I, th I don't know what they've done with theirs now. I think they've got a pound ch cheaper than us or something like that. I don't know, just to say they're the cheapest. Anyway, 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 that's that, that's that, that's that. Uh, what time is it? Oh, at the end of the hour. Yes. Is there anything else you need to So I put four together. Look, I found my one that I did, I did wrong. So you can see, if you've rotated your rectangle, it doesn't quite fit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you do the first one, it does that, you know you've done it wrong. Yeah, but I'll be able to unpick that and put it I right. I just twist it round, yeah. Yeah. But then... Uh, but there you go. If it's four together, you can see with... Yeah, but you're, it won't be ready till Christmas times two. We've known your rate on making quilts. What, finishing all the ones yeah. that I started? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Years. 
When I first met you, like, oh, I've made my, was it your brother you've made love? I've made my brother a quilt <laughs> at Christmas. Christmas came and went, next Christmas came and went, oh, we can have it for this Christmas. But so what? So what? I get there in the end, you know. Yeah, made with love, though, isn't it? <laughs> Always. Right, now you're back at now. It's time you're going to make Cassandra Santangle back. I aren't know. You? And she's going to do some Santangling. We'll I back. know, I know. But don't go anywhere. I've got a brand new launch. Now, you might have met them on Hobby Maker, because they have been on Hobby Maker before. Um, first time they've uh, ventured into the fabric world. Um, and it's the Crafty Witches. We'll see you back. Oh, hang on. They're looking at me funny now. Don't... Oh, she, I thought she'd have a witch's hat on. That Linda. Oh, she's got a cobweb round her neck. Oh, no, and a very emerald. Is that real emerald? She's richer than I thought. Anyway, I'll see you with them in four minutes. Hello, my name's Rebecca Harrison. Uh, my background is in theatre costume, so I've made uh, costumes for film, TV and theatre. Um, I began to sew when I was at school, in primary school, and I also uh, did a lot of sewing with my mum at home. Um, one of the first things that I ever made um, was this little mouse, um, and I hand sewed her at primary school. I think I was eight or nine um, when I did her, um, and I treasure her. She's, uh, she, she's I just love her. Her, her head's, her stuffing's gone in her head, so she's a bit wobbly. Um, my favorite things to sew, of course it's um, probably because of my uh, period background um, but I just love them I've got one here um, I love the structure of them um, the shape the bones make I, I just think they're beautiful um, and the fact that through the ages they've changed to uh, make women's shape different um, and I find that really fascinating um, my claim to fame is um, because I've obviously uh, doing costumes for film and theatre, I've been lucky enough to meet um, a lot of famous people. So um, I've met people like uh, Dame Judi Dench, uh, Kate Winslet, uh, Juliette Binoche, uh, lots, oh gosh, lots and lots of people, lots more than I can probably, I haven't got time to say them all. Um, but yeah, just, and, and all around the building where I used to work um, in London, you'd see lot, lots of people, Christopher Lee, Sir Richard Attenborough, um, yeah, just lo lots and lots of people. Um, so it was, it was really lovely. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm, I feel very privileged to do what I do. I love my job and I'm very lucky that I get to do it every day. Um, and I really enjoy being on Sewing Street and uh, demonstrating um, how to make things and um, hopefully inspire you uh, to, get, to get sewing. Every day our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8 a.m. till 1 p.m. And you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one P&P throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. 
You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Brand new guest now, brand new guest here. I'll introduce you in a minute, but you might, if you watch Hobby Maker, you on Hobby Maker all the time, aren't you? Yeah, uh huh. Yeah, uh huh. Uh -huh. We've been on there, we've been with another shopping channel for 18 years. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so, yes, people do know you. <laughs> um, right, before we go any further, then, for the people who don't know you, um, what's your name, where do you come from, what do you do for a living? My name's Linda Chapman. Yeah. I tell them, tell them, Linda Chapman. Um, my name's Linda Chapman. I'm originally from Hartlepool. Yeah. So I'm a monkey hanger. She's a monkey hanger. swinger. I'm a monkey hanger. <laughs> oh, monkey hanger, monkey hanger. Sorry. Yeah. But I now live up in Northumberland, and I'm one of the company directors of the Crafty Witches. I filmed one of the Catherine Cookson's in Northumberland. All right. right. And I've filmed all over the world, including Iceland, but I've never been as cold as I was in Northumberland. Well, we're tough up north, you see. You said, oh, I'm a northerner as well, but I was so cold. Well, we live just 10 minutes from the beach in, in Northumberland, oh, 10 okay. minutes from Blythe Beach. So we're down there most mornings. I love walking dog. on a, a beach in a British beach well, in Well, you go up to Bamburgh and we've got white sand, but we don't have the weather. No, no, it's not bikini so, beaches. Oh, no. No. Mind you, everyone's doing that. Like, if you go oh, to Lisso Beach on the Wirral, right? On Christmas, not Christmas morning, Boxing Day morning, they're all in there and they're yeah. swimming. They're not uh -huh. in what suits or anything. Yeah, oh, we have wild swimmers and everything off the beach where exactly. we where I'll we I'll be like that little cold tub in my back garden. Right, okay, so Linda, so what do you say? You're, the, you're what? You're what? Company director? I'm a company director. Um, the Crafty Witches yes. are Who a are company they? with um, that I we brought to the crafting world in October of 2022. Oh, it's quite new then. It's quite new. Well, you've been new. crafting for like 70 odd years. Oh, God, you? yeah, I'm ancient. Yeah. I'm older than I look. Yeah. Um, I can't, I'm not going to say how old she is, but when she told me this morning, I was a bit shocked. Because you retired. 83. <laughs> You'll meet her in a minute. Um, That's why there's this distance. Yeah, there's a distance, because otherwise I'll throw things at each other. Um, uh, you've retired already. I retired for all of eight weeks, and then Becky Seddon, who is my business partner, persuaded me to go into partnership with her. So um, does she ever come on air? Then? No, she has two young children: Nola, who's five, going on fifteen, right. and Bertie, who's two, going on twenty-two. Oh, okay, then. So she's busy. Um, so, way. and Becky designs everything. I come up with the ideas, most of the ideas. And then Becky puts them, she gets inside my head, which you've already gathered is a very scary place. Do you know what, she, do you know what her mum said to her? Because I, I said, you're nervous. She went, no, I said, yeah, I get a bit nervous. And I said, is that why you talk so much? And she went, what did you say? Your mum said what? My mum used to say I was vaccinated with a gramophone needle. That's a brilliant one. I've not heard that before. <laughs> OK, so, so you, you normally do paper craft. Yes, and then right. we have Hells, who's who Oh, yeah, have a quick, guests. quick, quick say hello. To, have you got a camera over that side yet? Say a quick Hells, look into your camera. So Hells is Hubble Bubble, Becky's Toil, and, of course, I'm Trouble. OK, then. So where did the witches come right, from? Right, the then? crafty witches came from many, many years ago, um, when my niece and nephew, Laura and Matthew, were young, about six and eight. They're in their 30s now. Yeah. We were sat around the kitchen table in my mum's cottage, my mum and dad's cottage up in rural Northumberland, and out of the mouth of babes. So my niece, who was about six at the time, my sister and brother-in-law were there. She said, Auntie Linda? I said, yes. My daddy calls you and Nana the wicked witches of the north. <gasps> to which he nearly choked on his um, food. I mean, there was no love lost. Still isn't. Oh, is she still <laughs> married to him? Oh, yes. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm, the hardest bit when you start a company is thinking of a name. And I'm sure, I mean, sadly, my mum's no longer with us, but she's my guardian angel. Of course, she's yeah, like my nan is mine. Yeah. And um, she must have been putting this idea in my head. And I just said, when Becky said, what we're going to call ourselves, I said, well, why not call us the Crafty Witches? 
We probably get called other things, but yeah, well, yeah. not bothered. Start with the bees. <laughs> <probably>. <laughs> but listen, this is. But then, but see, so before we got, before I looked at your stuff, I thought, oh, that all they're going to draw is witchy things. No, no, but it's no, not, no. It's furthest away no, from witchy things. No, we isn't it? we put all the ideas in the cauldron. And by the way, we are going to make you an honorary warlock. Oh, what? So to be part of our coven. Oh, we don't sell these, by the way. <laughs> Oh, how gorgeous. Oh, look. The cauldron to put my, my coffee in. Oh, um, thanks. That makes me a warlock, doesn't and it? And you always also get, I always bring chocolate. She always brings chocolate. The gallery is loads of chocolate in the gallery. So thank you so much. You're welcome. Right. <laughs> Let's go on with now selling your thing because this is so basically you're known for doing cards. Aren't you? We are. Oh. And then um, we, we work with Pollyanna Pickering, have worked with Pollyanna Pickering for 11 years now this year. And I suggested to Anna Lou that she, you might like to sell Pollyanna's artwork in fabric panels. And you did such a good job on the first show because I watched it and I thought it was fabulous. Well, you messaged in. I did yeah. and it was sold out. And then Debbie Moore was staying in the same hotel as me the, a few months ago. And she said, why aren't you doing panels? And I said, well, I don't like to step on other people's Toes, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. and she said, "Just fill your boots, just mm. do it, honestly, because we do a different style of work." Of course, no, no, we're all, it's, a, it's, yeah. a, it's a it's a world that it's a big world. We can all and do it. We right? have lots and lots of licensed artwork that we've collected over the years. So, right. so now it's licensed to you. Yes. But now, is there if people buy your panels? Are they allowed to sell the things they make? Yes, yes. Because a lot of licensed fabrics, like if you get a Warner Brothers or a, a film licensed fabric, you can make them to gift, but, you, thing, can't, but yeah. you can't sell. No. So before we start, they're allowed to yes, make things themselves. Yes, because we've bought the commercial license. Right, okay. So you're allowed, to, as long as it's a finished artic article, yeah, yeah, yeah. you can sell it. Yeah, you sell. don't want people selling your no, panels or anything no, like but that. Yeah, yeah, you're free to sell. Perfect. Right. So we should, should we open the first one then? Go on then. And we'll go over there. Now you're already supposed to be here for five minutes, and you've had six <laughs> minutes already. Oh, but what we're going to do is are you going to be here for the second hour as well? Yes. Yeah. Good, good. Good. I don't sew, folks. I used to sew, and I, I used to make tooth fairy pillows and cushion covers for the animal charity that I was treasurer for to raise money. I haven't sewn for 16 years because I had a bad accident with my left. I have a metal plate in my left wrist oh, have now. You? So, so don't get a magnet out then. So I can't, I can't do, I can't knit hitting? and things. Were you in the pub? No, I, I, was, I was trying to get... You don't have to tell us, you have to tell no, us. No, I was trying to get the postman's attention. Andy Love told everybody on air that I was chasing after the postman. Well, yeah. You know, I, I don't know if you met our producer, Hannah, she's not in today. You know Hannah with the big hair is one of our yes. producers. She thinks that a postman's uniform is the sexiest uniform. Really? Is. And I've got the loveliest postman <laughs> in my village. He's got a key to my door so he can put the parcels oh. in the house and everything. He's <laughs> absolutely adorable. So what were you doing for the so, postman then? Um, I wanted to catch his attention because I needed to ask him something. Yeah. And as I ran down the drive, I stood on a pebble and you know how your foot oh, goes like no. that? And I put my hand out to start. I went flying through the air, put my hand out and I... I lost the end of the bone, so I now have a big metal plate in my wrist. Oh, oh that must have been... Oh, that's so, my legs go all funny I couldn't now. drive for ten months. Oh, my goodness. So, drive people up the wall. Oh, I not, yeah. constantly do. But there again, I've been married for 45 years to the same man, so I must be doing something Is right. Is he deaf? <laughs> he thinks he has. <laughs> hey, I don't know whether we're going to last five minutes. <laughs> I'm not upsetting him, <laughs> No, no, no. I'm not, we're only messing. We're only messing. She's all right. Look at her. <laughs> uh, right, so tell me what this is then. Right, so... She's happy, she was happy it was me, just so you know. She's not, was. like, drawn the short straw. I drawn. was. Do you want me to hold one oh, then? Can you hold it? You're yeah, all right. I'm all right. <laughs> What's this then? What's this? Right, so this is your 40 uh, times just slightly bigger than five inch squares. Yeah. And what we've done is we've given you 20 of what I would call the feature panels, which is the gnome. The ones with the gnomes. And then now, are they gnomes the or are they gonks? No, these are gnomes. Gonks, gonks are totally different. What, we had gonks when I was a child. No, I don't mean gonk. What do I need? What do I no, mean? No, you do mean gonks. Right. Debbie Moore says if you can see their eyes, they're a gnome. And if you can't see their eyes, what? Have you switched me off? You've... Go on, go on, go on. They're a gonk, she says they're a gonk. No, these are gnomes. These are all gnomes, these are all gnomes. Gonks right? were totally different when I was a girl. Well, they gonks were when I was a girl. Anyway, well, I wasn't a girl, obviously. No, but... they were they trolls. Oh, no, they're, yeah, they're trolls. Trolls. it's a horrible world now. Oh, it? yeah. Ignore anyway, look how gorgeous the colours are. Look at the beautiful... So now, so you have the idea... 
but you don't sit down with a pencil and draw them. No, I just come, oh, let's do this, let's yeah. use this, that work. someone else do all the hard yeah, work. Yeah, but you, you gave us some templates to work with. Yeah, yeah, no, but all these, all these pictures on here, yeah. these are all these, like, I, that, like the, that one's got bees on it, yeah. that one there's got a and little then flower trough. We've and got the, you know, the contrasting uh, patterns, what we would call decorative papers, yeah, now yeah. decorative. You're all right, do you want me to tell yeah. that? Yeah, no, you're all right. Now, now decorative um, materials. Yeah, let me pop it down. And, and what go, we've okay. done is, if we can look at this quilt on the back here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, Michael, I've, done, I've done one sample. Is that it? No, no, I'm, oh. not, I'm not like this. I'm not I've done this one good. sample, it's not this. <laughs> this. This is what Hells has done. OK. But this shows you just using the, the squares in their entirety. OK, so um, I'll ask Hells in a minute, but Hells said, oh, I don't normally do sewing, but you must do, because that's beautifully made. No, I do. I don't normally do sewing on the telly. On telly, but yeah. you do it in real life. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, right. sewing's a hobby. <laughs> okay, well, it's a good hobby because she's very. That's so beautifully finished off that one. Well, sometimes you get people come on and go, I'm "Not really a sewer," and I have to go, "Oh, it's lovely," and it's you know, <laughs> and I'm polite and everything. But that I noticed earlier that was beautifully made. That one's beautiful Thank and simple. You. It's not difficult, is it? No, no, it's really easy. Literally, cut out all the squares and then just patchwork them together, sew them together. Do you know what? You Done. almost don't have to cut them up, do you? You could literally just cut that exactly. in half, put that one there and yeah. just yeah. quilt it, couldn't you, really? Yeah, you could it. just put a quilt line in between. I mean, I decided to cut them up so I could move them about yeah, oh, yeah, 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 and yeah. have them in. But if you just wanted it like that, just yeah. put along the middle and So she's not a, a monkey, what's it, is she? No, no. No, she's... No, I'm a loiner. Yeah. You're a what? A loiner. Loiner. I, I dread to think. We'll ask her when we go over. <laughs> anyway, anyway, you're loving this. You're loving this. There's four. So now, how many? You've got 40 squares on. Right, hang on. Have I got any repeats? No. Um, no. No, I haven't. Because normally no. what you do on a panel like this is you do 20 and then you just repeat them. But actually... So you've got, you've got repeats of the of patterns, the, but, which But the gnomes need, themselves... They're all different. They're all different, aren't they? Because okay. you, you've got... No, there, there are a few repeats. But we've given you an equal number of patterned and decorative. Well, no, hang on, that green one's Well, this repeated. one here. Oh, she is there. Oh, yeah, she is there. Yeah, and there. So some oh, of them are some repeated. Some of them are. Yeah. But aren't they gorgeous? But you could got... do um, cushions with these. You could do a tote back with these. Yeah. You can do your scented hearts and things like that. See, I'm going back to 16 years yeah. ago. Oh, right, I need to tell you there's only 20 left. Oh, my goodness. There's only 20 <laughs> left and 25 in baskets, 27 in baskets now. Thank you, everybody. I'm the first one. Oh, no. <laughs> um, anyway, anyway, I think they're gorgeous. And I love the fact you haven't just gone, oh, these are what we do. Let's bung in some just... These are all thought through and they're all really pretty. And yeah. They all match in. Even though it's kind of, that's like a Tula Pink design, isn't it? Kind of very different, but they're all going to work beautifully together. Be they? Becky is... And she's watching. I know she is. So, hi, Becky. She is... I've worked with Becky for eight years. Yeah. He, probably even more. She's worked with some of the biggest paper companies out there. Yeah. And she is a really, really top class designer. Does uh, she never come on then? Will she never come on? She will, but as I say, with Bertie and Nola she can bring just the kids. Little, Where does she live? Up your way? She lives in Southport. Oh, no, I, well, I'm a North Westian. Right. I can look after the kids. Well, <laughs> That's not yeah, you'd only look after them once. <laughs> <and> then... <laughs> Can't say that. CVUU93. What's this then? Right, so we've got these are your four square panels. Now right. these. Oh, I'll put it. I'll put it straight down. Put it straight down. So these are so versatile. We've got two sets of four. Um, so cushion covers, tote bags. Yeah. Um, They're nice panels. size, aren't they? They are. Yes. So um, we oh, have. Quick message. John definitely likes you, Linda. He's being horrible to you already. <gasps> <laughs> you can't say that. <laughs> Yeah, no, normally, hang on. Good morning, Linda. So nice to see you on Sane Street. I bought lots of Pollyanna's card kits and fabric panels. I'll be buying lots today from Jane in North Yorkshire. Oh, That's up your way, isn't it, it North is. Yorkshire? Yeah. Um, I'm normally really, really nice to people on their first day oh, yeah. to let them break them in. Right. And then they learn the real me. Well, You've no. You've got the real me within 14 I, minutes. I've seen the, you're in action in the green room. So, I've, I, I mean, I watch Sane Street now. Yeah. So, and I, honestly, I was so chuffed when I knew we were getting John because I knew the banter. And the first show you did with Anna Lou, it oh, was... Oh, I was really polite that she day. Was, <laughs> she, was, she was nervous because she didn't know how it would be accepted. Yeah. 
but you were just marvellous with her. You really were. Oh, thank you. That means a lot. That means a lot to me because I just come in here and I shout and everything, and I don't really, you know. But yeah. Anyway, so what right. you made? So who this, made this? Then? Right. This is one of Marie's, um, and what she's done is she's Marie? quilted. That's Marie, a name we haven't even right? Yet. Marie Poole is our another sample maker, yeah. oh. and she's an expert um, sewist. Is it a sewist oh, or a no, sewer? I hate that word. What, so I call sewers, but right, really sewer. you like to be called sewers. And the girls have just had such fun. And I, I bought a new sewing machine. It languished in the, in the garage for three months, but I actually got it in the house, and you will see my first cushion cover. Is that today? Yeah. There is a mistake. Don't but be telling people No, that. you have to own up to your mistakes, John. Everybody gets it wrong first Anyway, time. that's a gorgeous cushion cover. So, oh, excuse me. Yeah, then she's used some of her own fabric. Oh, OK, fine. Um, Lovely. So that's that one there. And then there's a tote bag. Lovely. Again, Ooh, just yeah. using some contrast. I like the fact you've done different colours. Yes. On the squares as well. So it doesn't, you know what I mean? You can make all different things. If you made a set of uh, cushions, they'd look gorgeous in a kiddie's bedroom. Or, or a wall hanging or with a, a wall, four yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because and they're easy to cut out. Now, I tried using... Um, a rotary cutter. Yeah. And that's what I used to use back in the day. Oh, is it? But now, because I can't put pressure down with this hand because of the metal plate... Do you know plate, what you need? You need one of those, like, guillotine fabric cutters. Well, I, I've yeah. got... I've, I use scissors. Oh, now. When is it, Ben? Sunday, I've got the electric scissors back in. You watch on Sunday, right? Right. They're brilliant because you won't you won't worry about your wrist then. Ah, either. right. They're on a shelf somewhere around here. I don't know where they've gone. Anyway, anyway, anyway. So there's a, a tote, another tote bag with oh, just okay. some contrast fabric. The, Lovely. The world's your lobster, as I as say. As they say, yeah. You know. Uh, oh, again, there's only twenty of those left. And how? Eighteen and how many baskets? 27 in baskets, that's going to sell, 29 now, that's going to sell out as well. You made all these samples, it's going to sell out. Well, it's a good job we've got a different show coming at 12 o'clock, Exactly, oh, yeah, just as well. Or oh, wait till you see, if you love these, you're going to absolutely yes. adore those there. Right, now, NG, oh yeah, look at the 16 minutes in. NGUU68. This is another set of oh, four panels, yeah. but they are different to the other four. Right. So that is that one. No, it isn't. No, That's it isn't, because it's got... Um, we had this in order, didn't we? All right, hang on. Is that one? No. No, no it's not. We, we, do you know, we were super organised, weren't Amy, we? She's going like this. She's going, flip it over, flip it over. Let's have a look. Let, what are we looking for? Let's have a look. Well, there's, there's that one. Right, OK. So there's a cushion cover. Right made with that panel there. But again, with the panels, you can make them into wall hangings, you can make them into tote bags, um, you can make them into cushions. With that one there, no, that's, that, yeah, one's yeah, that one's here, there, that right? One. Can you see here, John? <laughs> Who made this one? Marie. It says see, on here, doesn't it? Oh, see, no. I was going off after five minutes. She was supposed to be doing this. <gasps> you think you want to go home? You no, said you no. want to go home now. I won't be offended much. She gets paid for this, you know. She's got to earn her money. We'll make her work harder. Oh, God, don't don't be good. So, can you? Did you say you'd done this one? No, Marie's done Right, one. what Marie's done is she's actually stitched round it. Look. Yeah, lovely. That's, that's dead, quilting, that that's is. That's dead clever, isn't it? Lovely. I will get to quilt level yeah. at some point. Now, remember, if you come here, you've got to stand up and sew here. No. Yeah, I, I will not. <laughs> no, no, no. I'll give we'll you a box to stand I'll on. <laughs> I'll have to bring my sidekick with me. How many sidekicks have you got? Um, well, it's me, Hers is my main one, aren't you? And then I've got Ian the Warlock who helps as well because we've got three Warlocks have now. You? now not we've got, Ian from upstairs. No, no. We've got Ian the Warlock and Kevin the Warlock, and now we have John the Warlock. Exactly. Yes. I'm not doing any work for you, though. I'm just going to do it. That's all right. BMUU23. Right, so cushion. this is the rectangle cushion. That, is that one of those in front of us there? Uh, this one here. Yeah. There it is. Oh, that's nice. Now, why have you done a rectangle cushion? That's unusual. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> we just thought we'd do. I'm totally honest. I'm totally honest. We just, well, if you've got a small chair. I think chair. I found the match, haven't I? I don't know. <laughs> Because they're not, they're a new, no, no, because most people, when they do a cushion cover, they do an automatically do a square cushion they cover. Do. I like different shaped cushions. I've got so many you cushions see, in my house. When you get to my age, you're classed as a grumpy old lady and you can say what you want. Nobody takes any notice of you. Well, they you, do. <laughs> Let's see if I've had any complaints yet. No, no. 
<laughs> um, that's gorgeous again, isn't it? So you've got your two little gnomes there and their little teapot house. Do they live in houses like that then? Is it turn? Well, some do. They're posh ones. Oh, that's a posh one, is it? Yeah. Some of them, no, it's trolls that live under bridges. Oh, isn't honestly. It? <laughs> right, then you've got, what and it then, is, is then, you've got your envelope yeah. back fabric yeah. there. So you've got you've got a choice of three different fabrics. Yeah. So whatever you make, you'll have a spare piece yeah. that you can make into pencil cases, makeup bags, and things like that. And that's what um, on the second show we have a lot more finished samples because um, we only had this for a certain amount of time. <laughs> there is another one of those that hasn't got a cushion in it. Oh, it's so it's another one of these that hasn't got a cushion in it. Keep going well, to that tangle, that's what you're looking for. Oh, no, no, hang on, that must be that one there. There it is. Oh, I see, same thing, there you go. It's a good job I have brought her, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> she she has, has, she's earned her money already. No, she has it. Well, she did bring me a sausage roll. And it is like, help, help the aged, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I need all the help back again, yeah. that like. tell you. I did a naked calendar for... Uh, oh, no, it was age concern. I did did you? Naked calendar for well, you see, I mean, I was happy being retired. I was happy hanging my washing on the line. Cause you I'd, were. I'd never done that. For, we'd, we've lived in our house for 37 years, and the neighbours, when I first retired, I hung the washing on the line. Lindy, you've never, ever hung the washing on the line. Oh, you dirty no, I mare. She goes in the dryer. <laughs> but, I mean, you know, I can't afford to run the dryer these days, so... Anyway, look, there's your, th there's your fabrics for your back again, your envelope back there. And then that is a finished... Oh, cushion. now that one actually... Oh, you said it's got an envelope back yep. there. Oh, I love the way you've labelled them all. Yes. Oh, yeah. Well, now, you must have thousands and thousands of designs in your, in your warehouse. And you um, no, no, I have a home office. I have a very short, oh, but short then you're, commute. You're, you said this to me earlier. You're a digital designer, aren't yes. you? So you On, haven't got... Yeah. All of this? No, no. I, we, on on Hobby Maker, we sell digital designs right. uh, because I've been in. So is that on a USB stick? No, no. It's all downloaded straight away. Oh, I don't know what that means. It means you just <coughs> click on purchase and it immediately is sent to your computer. Oh, like a PDF thing. Yeah, or your Chromebook or your iPad or your yeah. You see, you're an oldie, but you know all this. I don't know well, what any of that means. I mean, when I went to school. Calculators hadn't been invented. Well, no, because it's late on the no, chalk, no. isn't it? <laughs> I love him. Isn't he cheap? I love him. No. I'm only a little bit behind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a tiny bit behind you. I don't know why I'm saying all this. Um, so, this, I've learned to use a computer through crafting. Oh. Because I've been demonstrating CD-ROM crafting for nearly 20 years on shopping television. I've got no idea what one of those is. Well, you just print the designs off and make the cards, so it's a shop. Oh, it's a CD-ROM. Do you put yeah. it in the, you, yeah. the, the computers? You have a and thing where you And now USB. Put it in, yeah. It's a shop on a USB stick or a digital download that's open 24 hours a day and never runs out of stock. Oh, so clever. that's what we do on Hobby Maker. Yeah. So they're all, so your warehouse is, are files on a computer. Yes. My office is upstairs. It's my office come craft room. Right. I have a very short commute to work. Yes. Right. Uh, 40, I didn't even say prices or anything like 14 Right, I've moved on to FXUU09. Oh, this is pretty. Right, so this is your square cushion. Right, and square what cushion. What we've done on this is a little bit of a plique. A. On the end, because we were asked to do things that you could applique. Oh, okay. So on the cushion in I'll the corner. It, yeah. Square or like, square? With, yeah. Oh, yeah. I see. Can you see? And Hells has done that one. She's actually appliqued. She's stitched round here. Yeah. And she's um, then put some. What's on the back of that one there? Is that like a, an interface? It's just thing? nine on interface, yeah. Yeah, interfacing, yeah. And then she's cut round the sun and put the sun on and she's... Oh, it's the sun! I was about to say, what's that on there? Oh, she... Oh, <laughs> blimey, the look I got there. <laughs> what did you think it was? I, I thought it said none. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that's a none No, from... that's the sun. So yeah. she's done exactly the same with that and then she's appliqued some flowers on as well. Beautiful. Now, this is my... First attempt, John. Oh, here we go. Right, right. that's and for I the did, mistake, then. I didn't do any instructions. I just sewed it. Yeah. Right. But I did I did the flaps the wrong way around. Doesn't matter with an envelope. That's not a mistake. Well, I thought it was a mistake because Hell's told me I had to do, do it the other way around. But that's my first attempt in 16 years. I've not... With a gammy wrist. Yeah, with a, a gammy wrist these days. Oh, it's not bad, is it? Not bad at all. Fourteen ninety nine. The panel is this, right? So again, you get the feature pan, feature square. 
you get your two squares for your envelope back and you get your applique um, bows and flowers and teapots and nuns. But you Happy could use, nun and sad nun. You could use that with any of the panels. Yeah, 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 yeah. The colour you, themes are all the same. But you also don't even have to use it with the panel. You nope. could make that cushion and then use those for something completely yeah. different. Because uh -huh. all of our ladies and gentlemen got stash. Yeah, we, you know oh I mean? gosh, yes. I mean, you know, we paper crafters have stash. I'm waiting yes. for the... Um, the upstairs to room to come down through oh, really? the, yeah but it's right above where my husband sits i made sure the chair was my chair wasn't there because i've got the sofa because i shared the sofa with the dog oh <laughs> so you've got a specific place you sit in the lounge oh, do you not i only live on my own i can sit oh dear like. no yeah. colin has the armchair next to the window oh yeah and um lexi has the other end of the sofa that's the dog yeah I have an old English sheep dog. Oh, my mum always wanted one oh, of those. I've had like them, the Dulux yeah, dog. I've yeah, I've had them for 50 years. Oh. I described Lexi's sunshine in a fur coat. Oh. She makes everybody smile. Um, Difficult to take for a walk, though. She's quite big. Oh, yeah, she's big, but she's good. Oh. Unless she sees the CAT. She oh, right. Well, she yeah. don't bring around mine, because there's two of them. Um, but our last dog, Maisie, our last old English, she had the armchair next to the fire. Oh, uh, OK. So, yeah. Yeah, LPUU48. So right. what's this, then? This right, this is a tote, tote bag. bag. Now, this one's got instructions on it and everything. Yes. Sorry, we'll be over in a minute. <laughs> so, they said she could talk, but they didn't realise they put her with me, did they? Right. <laughs> so this one, will, this will be one of... I'm, I'm aspiring to this. Right, OK. This is a bit beyond me at the moment. No. It, it is. There are some things, you know. Um, I bet you love going shopping, don't you? No, I don't, actually. I don't do any shop. Christmas is all done online. I don't do shops because there would be rage. You see, if I go in the car park, <laughs> I'd have a go to the first person who didn't park properly or comes down the wrong way. The don't first, go to my local waitress. The first person at the supermarket who didn't have the money out or the credit card, I'd be on them. Because oh. why don't you have your cards out? You know you've got to pay. I have end. to say, I always find that really odd that they, they slowly pack their bags and so, then they go, no. oh, yeah, hang on. And no. then they get a purse and then they go, oh, I've got vouchers. And you Ooh. go, oh. No, so Colin does all the shopping. Oh, blimey. So he does he take one of these with him? He, no. <laughs> And I don't think it would do anything for you. Uh, so it's a double-sided tote bag with your handles. Now, have you made this one? Has it got anything inside it? No, uh, Maurice made that one. Oh, it's one. got pockets. It's got pockets. Yeah, it's got a pocket. This Maurice works very hard, doesn't she? She has. She has. Yeah. She's a gem. Uh, so you've got your front and your back. You've got your lining. You've got your straps. You've got your pocket. You've got spare fabric. Spare fabric. Oh, uh, and you've got all your instructions on there for 19.99. Now you could make it like that, which is just the two layers. But if you wanted to, put some H640 in it. You put some wadding in it. If you want to make it a bit, I like them like this because I like to be able to you go to the shop with it like this. And when you get to the shop, you fill them. Yeah. I don't want a, a, a structured bag. It's going yeah. to take up all my boot and everything like that. So 19.99. <laughs> you like me? Why well, now's the first time? Oh no, I love going shopping. Right? Do but, but no. I do get. And I used to love it when we had to wear masks to go shopping because you could be rude about people yes. behind their masks. Yeah. Their masks. <laughs> yeah. The trouble is you forget. You go, oh, look at that one. And you realise that, that the mask doesn't stop the noise. It just stops the face, doesn't it? <laughs> anyway, 19 99 Right, now, next one is VRUU13. And is that the next tote bag? Is this a tote bag as well? So this is a tote bag Oh, this is nice. Colour. Oh, I love the bubblegum pink on this one. And we have to say a big thank you to Louise, who, who works here. Who Lou, helped us. Lou with yeah. pink hair. Yes, yep. big uh, thank you. She's been busy today. Because she um, sort of enhanced the colours yeah, for yeah, us yeah. a bit more, so the pop. So all this is your design work. Yes, yes. You've given it to our Lou upstairs, yeah, and, and she's she, gone, I'll just uh, yeah. shift this one to this shape or yeah. put a border on it or something uh, like no, that. No, no, she's just... And oh, just the in colours. her colours? Yeah. Oh, brilliant. So um, all of this is she, you. She was a big help. Yeah, so she's I've got, brilliant. It's, it's lovely. You've all been lovely yeah. today because I've hardly slept all night. I mean, I don't do mornings in any case. I'm Are a, you here? Oh, no, you weren't here first. No, she was... Uh, Hells was here yeah. first. I wasn't far behind her. Oh, were you not? No, because I stopped at the bakery down the corner and got a coffee. Who you used to work for? Yes. Yeah. Used to be, what was it used to do? I used to be an area manager for what is now Greg's and... One another thing, you'll never guess where else I used to teach craft. Where? In a Young Offenders. Oh, brilliant. No, I love things and, like that. And I uh, taught craft in a mill. 
prison as well. Oh, uh, you see, I think that's brilliant because I just think we're so easy. It's so easy for us to go. Some people are, don't get on the right path, do they? No. And once they're on that wrong path, they dismiss. Yes. When I did my, because oh, I trained to be a teacher. When I so did, did my, I. Oh, there you go. <laughs> when I did my teacher practice in Garforth Comp in Leeds, right, they had a stream of kids who at 13, they decided weren't going to, they were non-examinate, and they'd been just pushed to that yes. side. Yes. And I went in, and they were my, I loved work. They were difficult to win over, obviously. Oh, you they, had to. You yeah, because they, they knew they were but being you rejected. See, because I gave them something tangible that they could barter with, yeah. a maid card was worth half an ounce of, of tobacco or a Mars bar. And you flirted with them? No, because I've always been this old. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but it was the first time I'd come across somebody my age who, um, yeah, that's it, who couldn't oh, yeah. read or write because, again, yeah. his... Dad used to hit him and he perforated his eardrums. So the teachers in those days, you were yeah. classed as being thick. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you're put to the back of the class. Oh, you see, it's just... Anyway, let's not get And there. those... Uh, Hells loves these bees because they're angry. <laughs> Is she angry? She's a bit of a misery good at times, but, you know... You'll meet her in a minute. Right. You'll meet her in a minute. Oh, look at her face. Look at her face. She's shocked. I am shocked. No, she's she's had a difficult time lately, bless her. I have. Oh, She'll I've tell you all awful. about it. Oh, she has. working with her. I've been a master. <laughs> oh. Right, yeah, let's move on. Let's move on, because we've got to get some sewing done. We're halfway through the hour. That's not you, that's yours, that's mine. Right, um, OXUU41, what's this? Oh, an apron. Right, so, is this the adult's apron? It says growing fun. So, is this, this is the adult's apron. Yes. Isn't right. that lovely? Fabulous. So, so now, again, it's all your artwork. Yep. Oh, this is the fabric from the five-inch squares, isn't it? Well? Yep, same um, fabric. You've got your labels on there. You've got your instructions on there. You've got, you've your, got your pockets. You've got your with your pocket. You see, I, Lou always does this when she formats these panels and everything. Nobody's going to see inside there, but you still give us a design of fabric to go yes. inside. Yeah. Well, what Lou did was she, she, we had some templates of our own that we, and we'll, we'll be bringing more of our own templates. But to start off with, because this is an entirely new adventure, um, she gave us your template yeah, to yeah, work yeah, yeah, with. Yeah, yeah. And um, I have to say, you know, Becky's done a, a Absolutely fantastic job. I mean, I'm just standing here looking glamorous. Yeah, okay. Did you make this one? Uh, yeah, because you've bagged this one out, haven't you? So you've got... If you can either make it one layer or you could do a health done and just literally get a, a couple of metres of your own fabric and bag it out and then it's real. All your seams are hidden. You haven't got turnings in round here and everything like that. Um, that's How much is it? Seven, no, that's wrong. It should be 17 99 should be 19 99 or 24 99 No, I questioned all the prices and Ian said they were all... because they were wrong to Oh, did you deal with Ian? Yeah. Oh, dear. <laughs> That'll be, be explaining it all then. <laughs> OK, so that's your apron. What actually are we sewing later on? What are we going to be sewing? I'm doing the rectangle cushion. Rectangular cushion in a minute. OK, let's go. Let's move on then. Let's move on. No, I've got three. Oh, no, two, 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 two. So now I've got C-O-U-U-57. Which I presume is a child's apron. A child's apron, is it? apron. There you go. Isn't so it's exactly the this same. Is really okay. sweet. Let me pick it. I can oh, just imagine there. Nola in this. So if Nola's watching, who? Nola is Becky's five-year-old daughter oh, okay. who's, go who's going on fifteen. Yeah. Um, Nola will be bagging this. I think they'll find it's our sample. No, it's ours. <laughs> <laughs> I'm open to take these all home with um, me. Now, the quick question, do these come from our warehouse or do they come from they yours? They all come from yours. Oh, that's fine. So they come, they come, because I always ask when, when, if it's a drop ship, when you're going to the post office with it and things like that, but it's our warehouse, so it's fine. Oh, now, they're working, the, the thing is, I was ready to say to you, oh, well, expect a delay. I mean, the only thing that might be delay was the delivery people, but our warehouse are all here over the weekend. They don't have, they only get really? their normal Sunday off. They don't get the other days off or anything. Mm. So, because Roy was in earlier, wasn't he? Anyway, so it's the child's apron, exactly the same look, but for a child. So they are they little applique bits? Yes. Then, so as you well? can sew those on, or you can use them somewhere else, and then you've got your apron belongs to. You know what you could do. You, you could, could pad those out, couldn't you? Get me. You were just get yeah, me. Get, I was just going to say that. Get some calico, bag them out, make a little soft toy out of them. Yeah. Beautiful. What's on the other side of here then? You've the got instructions. A bit more. Pockets, pocket lining, more nuns. Oh, no, they're not nuns, they're oohs. They are clouds. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know, because the other one had none written on it. This has got ooh. I'll get used to it, more. Right. 
What's the matter? I said I'll get used to you. <laughs> <laughs> right, I've got one left, then she can go. <laughs> right. What's this, then? Right. Blimey! <laughs> <laughs> we had to bring our broomsticks. Is that what well, I saw you arriving on it? Hey, earlier. that cost me a fortune, that broomstick. Oh, it's the, it up it's the latest model. It's a wall hanging. <laughs> it's actually, that's Helza's broomstick. It's who's? Helza's broomstick. Faster. We do this. have witches' hats. Where are they? Well, we used to wear them, but I let her off from wearing them now. I bet you look like a little mushroom wearing yours, <laughs> don't you? Well, I've, as you get older, you shrink. <laughs> Do you? I always thought I was five foot four, but I'm not. I'm only five foot two and a bit now. Oh, yeah. You're petite now, then. I am petite. Yeah. Well, it, that height-wise. No, 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 no. Size. Petite <laughs> only means height-wise. <laughs> anyway, look, what's this, then? That's your wall hanging. And again, you could um, pad that out. Um, quilt it. <laughs> quilt it. it just... So do I get the fabric to make all of this, then? Yes. Here, yes. Look. So you've got your tabs. I was going to say, I could just... So Hell's, Hell's made this one. She can explain to you what she had to do. We did have it hung up there, but it fell off, John. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's because the aircon will get it and knock it off in a minute. <coughs> anyway, so... Oh, hang on, what's that bit there, then? That's your back in for your Oh, apron. wow. Hang on a sec. Oh, I see. So you applique it all on. Well, you... Look, look, so you've got your... Yeah. You've got your plain pennant... Yeah. ..here for your wall hanging. Yes, and that's, that's your back. That's your backing. Yeah. And then, and then you so, create yeah. your own... So you could pad that out if you wanted to. So you've to. used the wellies, but not the, not the gloves yeah. on yours. And then you've got your be happy sign as yeah. well. And you've got a watering can up there as well. Yeah. Oh, now, this, this for you when you've not got your glasses on. <laughs> yeah, My yeah, mum used to get the like library that. books out with writing <laughs> like that in it. Uh, 1999. Beautiful. Right, now, are you going to go and sit down now, or are you going to stay I'll here? I'll stay and watch. All right, then. <laughs> oh, I'm going over there tips. now. I just need to untangle my, my earpiece is twisted around for some reason. Around back. Uh, we're coming over to see you now. <laughs> right, so we're going to do the rectangular cushion, aren't we? Yes, we are. Give I've us already... a hug, then. Hello. Hello. It was nice to we've see not, you. No, we've seen it. We've all seen each other we in have. the green rooms, haven't yes. we, beforehand, but not... Because I was sort of your hobby maker, hobby yeah, maker, yeah. and then they said they were coming on here with us. So just tell me where you come from, what you do then. Okay, so I work with Linda. I'm like Linda's assistant, and I demonstrate on hobby maker. Right, and but you normally demonstrate paper crafting. Though. Yes, I do. Sewing is my hobby. Right, so you know how to sew, but yeah. it's your hobby, not your job. Yeah. And then how did you get into it then? Have you done it all your life? Um, I started crafting because I had quite a stressful job, so I needed something that was just going to relax me. What, more stressful than working ask, with that? Ask her what she used to Kids. do, she'll be amazed. I used to drive trains. Oh, did you? I did. Oh, uh, fantastic. Yeah, it My was. granddad used to be a guard on the train. I mean, I'm going back donkey's years now, mm. but he was a guard on the trains, yeah. Yeah, so that's how I got into... Like train crafting. trains or tube trains? No, train trains. Oh, wow. Fast trains. So you did the, you did the crafting to bring you down? YeYeah, you just, to, just to relax oh. and to just empty my mind. So where are you from then? What's your um, accent? Leeds. Leeds. But I've been in the south for longer. I could say there's more of a southern. Yeah, I can there's, hear a, there's, the a twang. there's a twang. There's a twang. Yeah, because yeah. my first college was at Bretton Hall, which is between yeah. Wakefield and Barnsley, sort of thing. And I loved being up in West Yorkshire and everything uh -huh. like that. I loved it up there. But then you've been down south. I moved south when I was 22, right. so I've been down south a lot longer. That, well, you can. It's really weird because it's a, fu a funny fusion of <laughs> yeah, the Leeds and a... the southern. It's, it's lovely. Though. I love accents. Right. Okay. So what are we doing? Okay. Then? What are we doing? So to start off with, I've cut everything out. So this is the rectangle cushion. Um, as we showed you earlier, you've got three envelope backs that you can choose from. Yeah. So this is going to be bonus fabric, which I'm going to save and make for something else. What are you going to make out of it? I'll probably make a bag, and I've still got some applique left from others, so then I could just applique it and quilt it and do what and such like. So I've cut that out. I've chosen which ones I want to go in which direction. So this one, I've already ironed it, and then I've just hemmed it. Beautifully so, sewn, may I say. Thank you so very when, much. When you, when, you, when, you, when you do sewing as a hobby, mm -hmm. or did you... No, hang on. So did you, when you first were a train driver and you thought, I need a craft, did you go yeah. sewing or did you go card making? No, I went card making. OK, so yeah. when did the sewing come in then? The sewing started in 2018. I bought myself a sewing machine and set myself the challenge. This year, I will learn how to sew. Oh, so it's quite... Well, I say it's it is years, quite, it's yeah, quite, it's quite recent. Because yeah, yeah. then you had lockdown and everything, so you were stuck at home with your sewing machine. I wasn't. Right? I was at work. 
We I was told yeah. through lockdown. Oh, we she's worked a all the way. Right, task. I know. But then, hang on. Cracking. She's up. She's up there. Yeah. And you're down there. I'm down there. So, uh, do you do it by Zoom? Do you do it? How do you contact? How do you talk to each other? It's usually just WhatsApp videos yeah. and chat. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. all right. So, anyway, but, so no, 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 no. I apologise at all. Uh, beautifully sewn. Thank you. Really beautifully sewn. So, what I've done with this one is folded it over twice. Yeah. Because you've, if you hold that up against there when it's not stitched, you can see that we've been very generous yeah. with the length Yeah, well, there's nothing worse on a cushion, is that? When you do an envelope back, if they're and not quite... And it goes like open, that. And then you put the cushion and you're like, oh... I know, you want a lot of depth in yes, between yeah, them. Yeah. So, folded it over twice yeah. and then I've pressed it. And then what I want to do is just stitch a couple of lines on there. Okay. So, to do that... This is where I'm going to choose my stitch length because it's going to be on the outside. Yeah. I want it to be more fancy. It doesn't need to be holding things tight. Yeah. So I'm going to use 3.5. Okay, so like a top stitch. Yeah, inside, so it's like a yeah. top stitch. And I mean, then, you could, if you've got a machine that says decorative, you could do decorative stitches along here and any, or anything. Yeah, you, you could do. I know on some of the other cushions that we've got coming up. I know. Marie, Marie, there you go. Leeds came out there. Oh. I, I went all north. Yeah. <laughs> My husband's from the south as well, so oh, obviously yeah. picked up from him. So I've brought okay, my needle yeah. across. Yep. To oh, I see. Zero. So you're in the middle, but you brought the needle right the way across, yeah. so right near the edge. And of I'm thing. using this edge of the foot to line up with this yeah. side. Fantastic. And then, let me get my pedal. Just speed I've got up very a fancy bit. trainers on, everybody, just so you know. But the fact that I've actually got trainers on is the miracle, because I had to have um, surgery on my toe. Oh, today. what is it with you? Hello? I've, just, I've had a, an operation on my toe this week as well. Have you? Yeah. Yeah. And no anaesthetic. <gasps> oh, no, they knocked me out for mine. No, I've well, had two. the first one, but this one, they went, oh, you'll be fine. and just did it without any. Oh, no. Right, so right. now I'm going to come up to this side. So I've moved over to this edge of the foot. And you're going to move your needle And then over I'm going to move my needle over. Because Have you got I this know... machine? Is this why you asked for this machine? Um, I've got a brother. OK, yeah. So... You thought you'd stick with the brand? I'll just stick with, yeah, because this is the first time I've ever sewn in front of anyone. Standing up, on Standing telly. Standing up, on with telly. Me and in your ear. No pressure whatsoever. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just going to stitch along there and then just trim that down. Yeah. And then I'm going to press it just oh, to Oh, we should have given you the lovely yellow. Where are the yellow and black scissors gone? They're on my desk. I've got my little snippy ones. You no, know, we've got some fantastic ones. Have They're you? lovely. We've got some I need some new snippy ones because I've broken the others. There we go. So I'm literally just going to press that just to set those stitches. Yeah. And then this is where I'm going to start putting it together. So I've got... OK, so now I always bottom. get confused about which order we should put them down in. The amount of times... I know it doesn't <laughs> matter because she made it yeah. wrong. But sometimes you put... If you've done a decorative one, exactly. the amount of times I've put, put it on thinking, well, that'll be on the right one out, yeah. and then it's on the one on the inside, so it's exactly. wasted. Exactly. So always right sides together. And because this is directional, we've got our little gnomes going oh, in that gnomes. direction. Yeah. My little gnomes. I'm going to lay that over the top, like so. And then... Of course, we don't need to up. worry about cutting out because you've just cut the panels Literally exactly just, as exactly. they're printed. So you yeah. haven't got to worry about measuring and things like that. And this one, again, is directional. So I've done my seam at the top there oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. like that. And then all I need to do is just bring that down and then line these up like that. And then what I'm going to do is smooth that out and then I can pin it. Yeah. So, I always, so you're a pin girl rather than a clip girl? Um, it depends on the thickness. I do prefer pins, but if I'm doing something that's going to be quilted, then I am going to use a clip. Yeah. Do you do dressmaking as well? Um, I have dabbled, Yeah. but I'm not very good. I'm not very confident. Why is that? Um, I think it's because it's all curvy and I tend to do straight lines. Oh, OK, OK. I'm still learning. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Every day's a school day. Exactly. So I'm going to pin the bits that are going to cross over yeah. first, just to secure them. And then... That's nice. Oh, thank you. But I bought one very much like that for my um, goddaughter for her birthday, not last year, the year before. So uh, a friend of mine got me that. Oh, nice. I do like my bracelets. I nearly wore my cat bracelet, but it's quite delicate. 
And well, I you thought, won't be banging it against this. Well, exactly, and because I am quite clumsy. Oh, are you? Oh, What's yes. it made of, the cat bricks? It's, it's silver, but it's got a cat playing with a ball of wool. Oh, no, you'll break that. And, and I, I only wear it on special occasions. Yeah. Oh, this isn't a special occasion, then? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm far too nervous to be. You're not nervous, are no, you? No, I wasn't until I started doing this, and now I've got you watching me. If you stood there and shut your eyes, I'd be fine because no one. Actually, I do this. So everyone at home, just shut your eyes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's not the idea. You don't come across as nervous. Neither of you do actually. Neither of you come across as nervous. There we go. It's just that I want to make sure that I'm doing it right. Yeah. And then pin there. Yeah, and big Ben's man, the bourbon biscuits. Him. It's probably Linda. She's probably opened up the jelly babies. I have to have jelly babies. She's jelly, jelly babies. babies all the time. Yeah. Where are they? Because I'm diabetic, so if I, my blood sugars drop, I have to have five jelly babies. Oh, that's a good one. Five jelly babies. <laughs> if you're any rustling, jelly oh, okay. babies. Jelly babies. She never shares either. No. No. Right, so I've changed my stitch length now to 2.5. Right. Because I want it to be a smaller stitch because it's going to be sewing it all up. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I've set it at five, which is around, I think actually five and a half is probably quarter inch. Right. So I've brought it in a quarter of an inch and then... Oh, so a quarter inch seam allowance, you mean? Yeah. yeah. And then we'll just come down here and stitch over. And then what I'm going to do on this bit is because this is going to have extra pressure on when it when pushing, I'm putting the cushion in, in, in yeah. I'm going to back stitch Good idea. over that just to strengthen it up a little bit and then keep coming down I know I'm sewing a little bit more slowly than the other ladies do but I don't want to go wrong yeah. <laughs> here we go and then when I get to the corner yeah. I'm going to do the same again with that back stitch just turn your microphone off for me Ben would you sorry there we go purely because yeah. It's in the corner. Yeah, so now we'll bring that one down and then off we go again. So we're just going to stitch all the way around. And I am being good. I'm taking my pins out. Yeah. Do you normally run over them? It depends. These ones are not so bad because they're quite thin, Fine, but yeah. this isn't my machine. And <coughs> <laughs> no, Catherine has to use it, doesn't she? Exactly. And I don't want to bust the needle. No. It's really so funny because, I mean, I went to, when I trained at Wimbledon School of Art, we always we straight, straight over our pins. We didn't ever stop, you know, like, we put a sleeve in, we just yep. go straight over them. We didn't even think about taking Exactly. Them a lot of people just do. That's what we were taught, no? That's what we were taught. So I'm going to come to this one. And then come That, that back. machine needs a new needle, actually. It does feel a little bit grippy. You can feel it going. <laughs> yeah. It goes through the fabric, it's thumpy, yeah. thumpy. Oh, we don't need to leave. Uh, we don't need to leave a turning gap either on this, do we? Because we can no, turn it through exactly the uh, envelope back. Yeah. Even better. So, for if you've never sewn before, this would be uh, a perfect yeah. collection. Have you Have you ventured onto zips yet, then? Oh yeah. So you're right with zips. Oh yeah, yeah. Zips, I'm fine with. It's funny, isn't it? We're all, like, you don't like curvy seams, but you're fine with a zip. Mm. I, mean, I hate doing zips. Do you? Yeah. It's only because we were never trained to do it, because I did period costumes. Right. Period oh, costumes of course they don't have zips. zips. Yeah. No, no, I've never had a problem with the zip, because I've taught myself practically everything. Yeah. From YouTube um, videos and things yeah. like that. Yeah. And just from trial and error, yeah. and just from getting bits of fabric and putting them together, um, and asking Stuart's been a great inspiration and help for me. Stuart? Our Stuart, yeah. He's always been really helpful. Our Stuart? Our Stuart, yeah. Do you know Stuart then? Yeah. Oh. I used to work with him at... Um, oh, uh, I'll swear. Yeah, <laughs> the yeah. dark side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm just going to snip the corners like so. And then I can turn this. Look how easy this is. Like so. Oh, there you go. There we go. And then I've got a little pokey. Oh, you got the tools. Yeah, oh, I. I've got my little corner pokey thing. Oh, yeah, I've made curtains. I made, oh. I decided um, my craft room was going to be turned into a sewing room. Right. So 
I moved everything out. It took me weeks, but then, of course, I needed curtains. So I made patchwork curtains. Wow. And Are they then, fully lined and everything? Yeah. Woof. Oh, yeah. And then, because I loved them so much, I made them for bedroom as well. Oh. For bedroom? For bedroom. Not the bedroom in Leeds, is it, that one? I don't, I, don't li I don't live in Leeds. No, I know, but the curtains but, do. Foot bedroom. Foot bedroom, yeah. Right then. So let's give this a press. Oh, yeah. There we go. So now I'm just going to go along, give it a quick press. Do you think your neatness comes from, is it just you, or is it card, just being very neat on card making things? Because it's really neat and precise all of is it. Is it? Yeah, it's lovely. Oh, I don't know. Well, that's what I was saying about that quilt on the wall there. It's I am a bit of a perfectionist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think there's no point doing something if you're not going to do it right. But every single thing that I make has always got something a little bit wonky. All my quilts, when I'm quilting, I always go a little bit wonky. Um, I just embrace the wonkiness. I what? Embrace the wonkiness. Yeah, 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 exactly. I've actually got a rubber stamp that says that. So now, if we give that a press on the front as well, like so, and there we go. Gorgeous. Yeah. Fabulous. And then that's ready for a rectangle cushion. Yeah. So can you buy um, rectangle cushion pads? Yes, you can because I've got one over there. Where did you get I, yours from? Then? Um, you can say. I can't remember, I think it was Don Elm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's that many years ago, because that was actually on my bed, and then I'd got rid of the cushions because the cats had slept on them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the cushion covers are gone because they were. Oh, but you still had the rectangular cushion. But I still had the cushions left, and I don't throw anything away like that. No. And it just so happened that it fitted perfectly, but I was looking for cushions for the shows this week, yeah. and I spotted rectangle ones, but I can't remember the size of them, but I know that. Yeah. This but it's is, always better to go a bit bigger, isn't it? Because you is, want it plumpy out, really. Exactly. So the, the square one is a 16 by 16 cushion oh, okay. if you leave your um, quarter Also, with this thing. one, you could almost um, uh, quilt it, couldn't you, if exactly. you wanted to? Exactly. So you could add your wadding behind it, and then you could go in and go around yeah. and quilt it all. You could hand quilt it if you want to. And, yeah. of course, if you've got any of the others and you've got extra applique, then you could add yeah. your applique to it. Or indeed, to the back. Brilliant. Right, I'm going to leave you now because I'm going to go back okay. over there and just uh, recap <coughs> the bundle of the panels from this hour. Which ones would you like to do then? This one. Five inch squares. Oh, no, we can't. That's sold out. <laughs> CV93. There you go. There's your four big squares. And that you can use for all sorts. Yeah, exactly. That's a about to sell out. There's how many left? And how many baskets? Oh, there's twice as many people. In, there's eight left and 16 people want it. 68. Oh, 68. Yeah, yeah. yeah the other four squares. Okay, too many people got that in their baskets. Check out, check out, check out. Thank you, Michael. Then I've got M BM23. These are all selling out. Thank you. On your first show. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Uh, right, this one here is this one. This, this is, is the, a rectangle. This is oh, this the one, one we just that made. Be um, Hells has just That's been Hells, have you not Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's, it's too early in the day. Normally, it's I'm used 11 to... o'clock. No, but uh, now we don't start on Hobby Maker till 1 o'clock, so you can have your breakfast You're in bed. You don't have to make it stay? No, no, not today. Oh, but no, not doing two I'm, shows in one day. I mean, day. you know, in another life, we had to get up at 4 a.m. because no. we had to be there at 6 o'clock. Exactly. I, I'm, I have to get up at half past 4 every morning. Well, you're looking good on it. It's makeup, love. Makeup. <laughs> right, uh, for Fourteen ninety nine. That's your rectangular cushion. Thank you, Michael. Right, FX U U O nine. This is your square cushion with your applique. Square cushion with applique sections. Fourteen ninety nine. Lovely, Michael. Then with this is a biggie. This one's the bag one. This one. I'm definitely going to have a go at making a tote bag. Okay, so if you have it made by twelve. <laughs> when you come on at 12, you can borrow the sewing machine. <laughs> there you go, look. Tote bag, lining, straps, pocket, instructions, spare fabric, everything. Beautiful. Lovely. Then I've got VR13. This, again, is another bag. 
just in a different colorway because we can't do things in different colorways altogether because this is we have to use the artwork as it is right um you know you can't pick you can pick bits out but you can't change the artwork in color wise or right. anything so but i think you know we've we've given you 10 different projects oh, yeah. there got, well yeah it's been very popular because nearly everything sold out Thank you, Michael. Then I've got Ox UU41. Oh, Michael. Do you know he's, he's worth his weight in gold, isn't he? Well, he's he? a lot of weight to him. That'd be a lot of gold. <laughs> oh, oh, he's just telling me how much weight he's lost. Who, Michael? Yes. He's told me he's lost over a stone because I offered him chocolate. He's, uh, and he, he wouldn't take it. What's so, happening? So, Alex, on the next shift, Alex, if you're in, you're getting chocolate. Alex, who t it was, Alex, was it lovely, Alex, who rushed me to hospital? When I had to trip it, or not in this studio, in that oh, studio. Oh, did you? Banged. Oh. I, oh, I was taken to A&E. Lovely I, Alex took me to A&E. I once tripped on the wires in another life, and I went down on my knees. There was a minor earthquake in, <laughs> in, 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 the in place. Peterborough. Yeah, in the place, yeah. <laughs> right, oh, sorry, this one is um, Kids Apron 57. So, there you go. Like, yeah, I think Nola, we'll have to take a photograph of Nola in this. Oh, I yeah, definitely. She'll be really sweet because she's, she's absolutely gorgeous, is Nola. She's more excited about Easter than she was at Christmas because she likes chocolate. Oh, see? Yeah. The, um, the shelves yesterday in the supermarket, like, I don't know if they haven't bought as many or if everyone's gone wild, but they're very, well, very empty. The I've got an Easter egg waiting for me at home and it's, it's got Baileys in it. Baileys? Yes. That your little tip a little bit. I like Baileys. Nice. Well, she'll, they'll tell you I'll drink anything. Oh, but I won't. I'm, oh. I'm very petrol. Uh, petrol. This is your wall hanging. You can make it yourself. Do a plea case. It's got the backing. It's got everything you need, actually. Just a bit of wadding in the middle. Do a bit of quilting. Right, we've got to go. Thank you ever so much. It's been really oh. lovely. Well, you don't go. Hang on. Oh, you're we've not got one more. No, no, no. All this, right. is, this is what's coming up oh. in the next hour. Tune in at 11. <laughs> 12. 12. And 12. You, you've 12. It's 11 o'clock now. Sorry. Ah. I'm just... I've only had like. Uh, do you see, there's your jelly baby. And I probably need me jelly babies <laughs> yeah. when I get back. This is my favourite one that's on the oh, show. Oh, is it? Look, at, look now at those. We've got, we've got the alphabet in all different, yeah. in different formats, haven't we? But this right, is. Right. So you, you've got the panels, and then on the second item that goes with this, you've got a cushion with the word wild on. Oh, made, made up of, of the letters. letters. But the things that you can do with these, and we've got five different. Themes yeah, these for the are alphabets. Beautiful. I love these. When I saw these in prep, oh, right, now be careful on pre order, they're flying out, right? Um, uh, when I saw these in prep, I just went, they are oh, gorgeous. these are a bit of me. That has to be, we have these as toppers on Hobby Maker, and these are my favourite alphabet. A topper? a topper is something you just put on the top of a card. And I think where our neatness comes is because when you make samples. I didn't say you were neat, I said she was neat. Well, you haven't seen much of my work yet. Have you? <laughs> when we make samples, you have to make sure your cutting out is precise because if you get a close-up and you've got white bits... Oh, I know. And if people, people, people tell will it, tell and also you... People's tell is now, yes, at this big, you yes. do a close-up of a card and it's like that big, we isn't it? We say to all of the girls and boys, because we don't call them a DT, a design team, because it sounds like a nasty disease. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, so we tell our girls and boys, you know, you've got to make sure your cutting out is precise and that's why I think that we are so... Methodical. Plus, I'm a Virgo. Oh, are you? Um, a perfectionist. Oh, what are you then? Gemini. So am I. What date are you? 13. Oh, I'm 19. And Ben's the 11th. Right, we've got to go, got to go, got to go. They'll be back in an hour with these. Oh, what are you going to make in the next hour? Or you I'm going gonna, gonna to show you another cushion. Another cushion in the next hour. Uh, don't go anywhere, though. Catherine's up next making Santangle bag, and she's going to be doing some Santangling. We'll see you in four minutes from now. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. I've been part of the Sewing Street family now for over a year and it's been the most incredible journey so far. Some of you may already know that I like all things sewing, anything from quilting to toy making, needle felting and of course applique, which is my favourite. The best thing about being part of the show is being able to share with you my imagination and bringing you new ideas and new designs and patterns and seeing how you interpret those designs and make your own work and then sharing your images of those is the most rewarding part for me. I'm currently working on lots of new ideas and exciting projects that I cannot wait to bring to the show and share with you all. But in the meantime, take care everyone and happy sewing.
never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Every day our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8am till 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says gift cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four, or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with Split Pay. And we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Bye. Did you know that you can continue shopping 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, even after we've finished broadcasting live? Just head over to www.sewingstreet.com for thousands of sewing supplies available from top brands. You still pay only one p and with split pay available on certain items and an easy checkout service too. Plus, you can get expert advice and tips from our Sewing Street hub and UK customer support is available 24-7. So head over to sewingstreet.com and continue your sewing journey. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Just get those crafty witches out of the studio. They're so noisy. They are. I've got some messages for you, actually, ladies. Um, uh, oh, I've got a message for you from your last one, Catherine. Oh. Lovely demo from Catherine, says Sue. Uh, right, yes. so... Um, uh, Steph says, uh, hi, Linda, I know you well from somewhere else and your paper crafting. Welcome to Sewing Street. John, honorary warlock, what will you do with your newly acquired powers? I have to have give me powers, just a mug, just a mug. <laughs> How lovely to see the crafty witches on Sewing Street, says Susan. A good morning, uh, Linda, says Gillian. And then Anne says, I'm really enjoying the show today. I'm looking for a new sewing machine. What's the brother sewing machines being used? Anne from Stonehaven in Scotland. The brother, 250... Because it's got 250 stitches. Is it ES or SE or something? FE. FS 250 FE. F for Freddy? Yes. F for FE. We'll put the graphics through for you if you want to know. Because it's a really, really, really good little machine. There's Rebecca Harrison and um, Tracy Dennis both have it as their go-to sewing machines. Because I also, oh, it's a starter, lovely starter, starter machine. It's a lovely starter machine, but it's also one that's going to stick with you. Cause it's a really lovely machine. Right. Are we going to put it through now or later? 
We'll do it later. Right, so we are now... Hello, Catherine, by the way. Hi. Uh, we're now going on to a Santangle bag. Yes. That you're making. So not only do you learn how to make the bag, you also learn how to do a bit of tangling on it as well. Oh, hang on, I'll do it upstairs there. A little bit of tangling. Right, yo. So let's do this. Now, this bundle here is proving incredibly, incredibly popular. What you get in your bundle is you get half a metre of your... Now, is that Dan, what's his name? Jason, Jason Yent, I'll get them muddled up, yeah? A half a metre of your... Oh, that's hot tomato. They've changed hot tomato then. Then, in here, you get your pattern for the bag and the instructions, your pattern pieces, you get your stencil, you get a pen, you get all your buttons, and you get a Santangle label. Right? All of that for 23 99 That one is incredibly popular, and that will make this bag. Now, this one... Has, you didn't put anything... Oh, no, it's got, it's got super a, lightweight, lightweight. Super lightweight. We've got a slightly heavier um, weight interfacing coming up in a minute. Right? So that's the red one. That's the red and orange one. Then we... Oh, I love this. I don't know if I like the green. What colour are you making? Or blue? Mm. Green and blue. They're both beautiful, aren't they? This one here. Again. Uh, Jason Yenta Dazzle. Oh, is this Jason Yenta as well? Yeah, Jason Yenta. Love the green with this. Plus, you get all of this... Now, you will get the label, but I just had to take that one out of here for, for, for Catherine. But you get the stencil, the pen, the buttons, the instructions, the pattern pieces, and this. All the only other thing you need to buy is some interfacing, which I'll show you in a second. You cut it all up. <laughs> the non left. <laughs> Tiny bit that I put in the bin. <laughs> Beautiful. Right, yo. Then we've also got the blue one, which you're going to see being demoed. So you see, look, you've got your stencil, your pencil, your stencil, your pencil, your stencil, your pen, your buttons, your label, instructions, pattern pieces, half a metre of the blue, half a metre of the pattern blue. Gorgeous, $23.99. Now, here I did have a piece of interfacing. But look, you see, no, it's a piece there attached to my thing. This is a piece that's attached to the <laughs> fabric, right? This is the weight of interfacing you want for this. Now, I think it's sold by the half metre, isn't it? There you go. Now, is it already cut at half a metre? You only need half a metre. You only need half a metre. You only need half a metre. I'm thinking if people wanted more of it. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter anyway. Uh, interlining H250, standard firm, iron-on. It's cut to order. It's cut to order. Should say it on the graphics, tell them. Cut to order. So if you buy one unit, you'll get half a metre. Half a metre's plenty for this project. Now, before we start the project, I've also got some other panels of Sandra Santangle that she designed. Now, she's reprinted these, because when I did these with her last time, they completely and utterly sold out. Look at these. Nothing through the bag. Nothing through the bag. But look at these. They're like a Santangle tiles, aren't they? I, have, I haven't got codes on them, I'm afraid. See, it's the only five-inch square one. It's the only five-inch square one. 1999. Do what? At 19.99, beautiful. Look, look at all. They're all different. Look, and then the fabrics. The fabrics go weird. They're all gorgeous, aren't they? So they're all uh, tiles. There, I'll fold that up in a second. Then I've got this one here, which is. Uh, can. You uh, can someone shut the door? Because they're being very loud next door, and I can hear whoever it is next door shouting through the door. This is your green dragon. Oh, you didn't have to do it. Oh, thank you. Right. Where's the dragon then? Oh, aye, there's the eye. There's the eye, and there's the tail. I can still hear them. Can you hear shouting? Who is it? Who's on next door? Anyway, anyway, look, 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 look. 9 99 green dragon panel piece. 
Oh, now, Haley told Ian to move, remove that word, because it's not a panel piece, it's just a panel. And in the meeting, Haley said to Ian, move that writing there, move the piece off there. He hasn't done it. Anyway, that's that one. Then I've got a pink... Ooh! What's this one? Yeah, 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 who was it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Sharon, what's she doing on this time of day? 9.99. Blue Owl, this one. You see, remember in the meeting, um, Haley said to Ian, move the word, pe remove the word peace, because that makes no sense, does it? It's just a Blue Owl panel, this one. Blue Owl panel. You see, uh, where's the... I can't see an owl. Maybe it's just me. Oh, you've got it upside down. <laughs> I can see it now. <laughs> I can see it now. How many people are messaging going, it's upside down, John, it's upside down. <laughs> How strange is that? I couldn't see it now. I can see it totally now. Don't laugh at me. Don't laugh at me. Uh... Loving the show. Can you tell me if the H250 interfacing is woven or non-woven, please, from Linda? I'd say it was non-woven. Yeah. Let me have a look. No, that's not woven. That's it. That's fused. Lovely. There's your owl. Your right way up, owl. Oh, oh I feel stupid now. I just spent my whole day feeling stupid. Don't we? Now, I've got two more, like, black and white panels. These look fun. You could do your own colouring in. Oh, owl. I can see the owl. <laughs> so, look, now it's not upside down. You get four owls. And then you get four little owls. What an owl. 8 99 they must, they must have been um, in the next village to me. To get out of the village, there's a little bridge. And the little bridge was damaged. It's, it's taken years. It's going to take over a year to fix it. But right next to the bridge... Is a, a very, it used to be a little old-fashioned pub, and they spent £4 million on doing it up and making it all posh and everything. Um, however, when they shut the bridge, pe people from my side can get to it, but people from the other side, which is the main side of Stratford, can't get to it. So their, their take, takings must have been really, really down. Anyway, they, they put, when the bridge, op the bridge is open again now for two weeks, and they've literally said, come and make the most of it, come and make the most of it, come and get your Sunday lunch, come and get this, come and get that. Because of the poor people, it's not their fault that the bridge is shut, is it? We've had this round us, electrification of the railway lines, and it's, we've got two bridges near us that are endlessly closed, and we can't get in and out of our village, oh, and the businesses no. are having a nightmare. No, it must be awful, and, and there's is. no... I know it's an inconvenience for if you live there, which, but then if you've got a business... Oh, like, it's terrible. It must be terrible like, it'd be like if they shut your, the road to yeah. where your craft centre is. Yeah, it? people can't go around. And you know what? They, they started it, and then they hadn't kind of quite worked out the design. So oh. it's going to be... Yeah, but the council had approved it, and so it's going to be shut for, like, months, months longer while they finish working shh, it out. Shh, shh. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, brilliant. So here's your um, dragon one. Beautiful. Right, that's it, that's it. Let's get on with making the bags. You're making the blue one, aren't you? I am. Be careful if you've got the red one in your basket because it's very, very popular. Oh, got the pattern on its own. Pattern on its own, sorry. That wasn't the door. No. Uh, there you go. Oh, unless it was the other side of the door. Right. £12.99, £12.99, the pattern on its own. But when I say the pattern on its own, you get the buttons, the pen, the stencil, the label. You just supply your own fabric. It's two half metres of fabric, isn't it? £12.99. Right, now we can start. So you're doing the blue one. I Ooh. am, which I have cut out ready. Right. And then because um, I was going to have a go at my tangling. Oh, you're going to do that first? Yeah, well, I thought I'm going to do the pocket. So I'll do the pocket in the lining fabric so it stands out. Oh, OK, because on this you did it actually on the bag bag. I did, and that was my first ever go. Well, wow, that's very good for a first um, ever go. And I thought, I like it, but you can't see it quite as well as I'd like you to like it, you know, that as, as I'd like to. So I thought what I'll do is actually put the plain one yeah. as the bit that I'm going to do the design on. 
and um, Sandra's outside in the green room. So Watching you. No through. stress. Yeah. But she gave me a special badge. Oh, did she indeed? <laughs> Don't tell the badge ladies and Simon. <laughs> They'll be furious. <laughs> Since I was having a go. I didn't get a badge for doing it. Oh, well, there you go, you see. I've done it twice now. Anyway, what are you doing? So, I have put my stencil on and I'm going... I'm. You're going straight in then with I your permanent in. ink? Yeah. Well, no, because what Sandra says sometimes, if you're not sure... Do it, it does say you can fiction. do it in pencil. Or fiction pencil. Or, yeah, or absolutely, but I'm, I'm going for it. Ink. That's the way I rock and roll. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to trace it in. But it's a, it's a nice sort of sturdy stencil. And when I was doing this, do you know what it reminded me of? It's fun, it's mindful, it's nice. It's like reminded me, you know when you were a kid and you got a pencil case? When I was a kid was a long time before you, Rick. <laughs> but go on, you get a pencil case. And, and, or, or whatever, and you used to doodle on it. On your pencil case? Yeah, or on the side of your book. No, no, we used to, we used on to your margins. all our books in... Um, Wallpaper or brown paper. Did you not ever doodle in your margins? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In yeah. The margin. Oh, no, we're allowed to doodle in the margin. We're allowed to doodle in our rough book. We were given a rough book. Yeah, I used to have a rough book. I'm not that much younger than you. <laughs> we had rough books. Anyway, I'm... And we got, we got two different numbers between us. No, I'm 51. Oh, one number between us then. Yeah, it's still a double number, though. <laughs> you're, you're, you're looking good, girl. Thank you. I try. Yeah. Um, anyway, I'm, yeah. I used to do a lot of doodling. And, and like, you used to sit on when you, <laughs> in the olden days when you had telephones yeah. and you had, a, you had a, always had a notepad next to the oh, telephone. Oh, totally. And you were yeah. stuck next to the phone, weren't you? That's but, not because even of the, the old days. When I worked, I remember working in the Mercury Theatre in Colchester mm -hmm. and I'd save all my phone calls up for that for, and I'd make a big mug of tea or coffee, but a cup of tea, get my fags out and everything like that, have my notepads and I'd then do all my calls. Yeah. All, all together, drinking my tea, smoking. But when you were chatting on the phone, did you not doodle on the notepad yes. by the phone? Notepad. Absolutely. So it reminds me of that sort of thing. But you've got the nice guidelines to start you off so yeah. that it... Uh, oh, yeah, and no, it just needs you to bob your head back because we can't see what you're doing. Sorry. Okay, thank you. Um, so, that it, um, so that you're not totally random. Right. Can we see that? Yeah. We can. So that's my basis. So I'm going to then do a little bit of... Freehand now. You're going yeah, freehand? I am. Go on then. Rogue, is that the word? Rogue. But if you get this, the instructions booklet has all sorts of suggestions and tips and everything it like that, doesn't it? It does. And there's no right or wrong with it. And what I really like is she says you can, um, you can embroider as well, yeah. which I think is a really, really nice idea. So, you know, you can just get creative and it's good to be creative. What do you think? That's like Harry Potter, something that's saying, Harry, I've never seen Harry Potter, but it's sort of saying Harry Potter to me. I think, is it because the schools have different emblems or something like that? Oh, maybe. Oh, oh Michael, hasn't lost my mug and my chocolate on it, sir. It's good I got my new mug, yeah, because Big Dan broke my mug. Well, I was sitting on this side of the thing, and he was... Buzz, buzzing about over there, and we suddenly had this great big smashing noise, and it was my mug all over. There's a video of him breaking it. There's a video of him breaking it. Oh, no, we did it by accident. He didn't throw it on the floor. He's not you, Michael. I'm putting some little flowers in because there's flowers on my um, main fabric, so it sort of goes, doesn't it? And then, because this has got like some nice little yeah. bits I'm going to use some of those as a bit of inspiration and I like spirals they're quite good so the one that you've done on this bag is more of a circle with a triangles bursting out from it is yeah so you've got oh, you've got that yeah, stencil yeah. as well you've got both stencils yeah. large and small so you can have a good play around with yeah. it I mean you could have a practice on paper first couldn't you just oh, no, no, do practice on paper first before you do it on your fabric. Or, like you, do it on a piece of fabric, because if it goes wrong, because you've done this after you've made the bag, have you? Did you do that after you made the bag or beforehand? A little bit both. Oh, OK, because I was going to say, because if you left it till you've made the bag, then you, then you made a mistake and you didn't like it. I sort of did the outline, and then I made the bag, and then I did Colours. some extra bits. Yes. 
<laughs> I'm just looking at the balloons on the ceiling. They're not our balloons. I got told off for releasing some of our balloons on the ceiling. They wouldn't tell me off. They'd just ignore me. No, no, they just ignore me or phase me out. You do some little teardrops. I haven't made side. an advert for ages, have I? It's very mindful. Do what? Very it's very, yeah, it's yeah, very yeah, yeah. mindful. How are we looking? Gorgeous. Looking good, aren't we? Yeah. I might just do an extra little oh, circle. She's getting there. Yeah. She can carry on now. <laughs> it wants that there. That's the trouble. You get coped completely into it. <laughs> and they're not called circles. They're called bubbles, aren't they? Oh, are they? She says, you know, don't call them um, circles. Oh, dear. Oh, she's, <laughs> she's <I'm> contemplating. <laughs> standing there staring at her. I know, I know. I'm going to do a little flower just here, and, <laughs> and then I'll do, and then I'll, then I'll, the bag, then I'll do some do sewing. I know, but I'm enjoy myself. Lovely. <laughs> and there we go again. It just wants to. It just needs that to balance it up. Yeah. There we go. Lovely. There we go. <laughs> That's it done. That's a permanent pen. That one, isn't it? So, yeah. Well, yeah, that comes in your kit. Well, I did that again. I asked about it because I was like, oh, you know, can you wash them and everything like that? And yes, you can. Yeah. And it's not, not a problem yeah. at all. Right. Okay. So we've got a pocket front. I've got a 20 pocket past, front. 20 past, we've got a pocket front. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to show people no, that no, no, this is literally my second go at it. Yeah. I've never done it before. And I was like, you know what? Don't be afraid. Just have a go. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going to put a nice little label in here. Which you get in your package. You do. And this is coming on top. Um, we've got a one centimetre seam allowance on our bag. So now the pattern pieces, yes, they're all in there, aren't they? And they've got the seam allowance drawn on them. And things, they right? have, and they've got how many you've got to cut out, and it's very clear. And there's a lovely Put it towards you a second. Towards there's um, a very nice diagram to show you how to lay it all out, so it fits on your fabric perfectly. perfectly. Lovely. And we're going to sew around this and just leave a little gap on this side to turn it through. Lovely. So I've, man I've started in the wrong place there, but never mind. <laughs> <laughs> After you've shown us where to do it. I know. So you sew across the top. And don't yeah. think, oh, I'm doing it wrong. It's because you're making a nice lined pocket. Yeah. So you're making a plain pocket for the front, then? I did, yes. Yeah, yeah, because on this one, it's the you've, you've used the same fabric, haven't you? Yeah. Oh, and I suppose what you could also, if you want to team it up, you could do the um, tabs in the plain and things like that as well, if you wanted. Yes, because the tabs are, they've got one side of each. You've got them lined down the oh, fabric. So yes, you could place see. them round either way. Uh, yeah, exactly. Your choice, really, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because they, they come off, don't they? Yeah. 
So and before I turn it round, you just want to um, snip your corners yeah. so it turns round nicely. And snip here so it turns around nicely. So very nice instruct, very thorough instructions. Oh, the buttons are MDF. I thought they were coconut buttons. Oh, no, no. No, they would, and you can do decorating yeah, on the buttons. Dangling on the buttons, of course yeah. you can, yeah. Okay, so I'll give it a press and press that edge in. I feel like I just need to poke those corners out a bit more. You see so. Delphine melting Bondweb on the bottom of the brand new iron earlier. It's gone now, it's right. <laughs> I've had to buy a couple of new ironing board covers lately. Oh no. Interfacing, bonderweb, all the usual. So did Alice Marion. Did you see her Facebook page? She went, Am I weird? And no, she didn't write that. She said, um, Is it strange that I'm so excited about a new ironing board <laughs> cover? And I just wrote underneath, You're weird, you are. Well, some of them are better than others. I got oh, a no. very good one the other day. Yeah, no, no, no. Some of them are. And then you put them on, they go, It doesn't fit like the old ones. I know. Things, yeah. Now, I did find a very good one the other day, which I'm going to have to get one the same for home. because I've Oh, it's for, the, uh, uh, for your... Work. Yeah, but um, I have managed to stick interfacing to the one at home. And Already? Oh, the one at home. The so one at home, home yeah. and Simon will be cross because they'll come and iron his shirt. Oh, no. And they'll get warned sticky. Him? No, OK. I don't... He gets cross. So mm -hmm. I, I thought I won't tell him. I'll no. just get a new camera now. OK, so we're then going to pop out a lovely little pocket. We've got little... On the pattern piece, you've got little dots for placement, okay. which I have marked on with my friction pen. You just yeah. probably can't, can't see, see them. And then, of course, this time we are only going to sew round yeah. three sides. So the day turning <coughs> that you left, you're going to sew over it now to close it. You don't have to close yes. it. Yes. On its own, do you? No. That's closed it up as you've gone down past it. Graphics doing at the moment offer the pattern on its own if you want to display your own fabrics. We have got three bundles, the blue one, the green one, and the red one, if you're interested in the bundles. There's the blue one that we're using. Really pretty fabric, actually. isn't it? Kind of like, I like the blue, but I really like the green. The green's got something really fresh and zingy about it, hasn't it? Well, then I connect the blue and the green. Red flying into the lead, though. The scissors there are from the early bird this morning. They're meant to be twelve ninety nine. Haley said, "On no account reduce them," but then did this because he doesn't listen. Oh, I've forgotten to top stitch along the top. Oh of the no! But because <laughs> I've got my lovely design, I don't think it needs no. that. Okay, we're going to make some tabs now. Okay, let's find my little tabs. Okay, so I've got a main piece and a lining piece. Lovely. And we're going to go around the pointed edge and leave the straight edge at the bottom open. Yeah.
And again, you're going to uh, trim off the edges so that you can Using the original them. cutter bee scissors, left-handed <laughs> or right-handed, very, very sharp. $12.99 they're meant to be. I could do with some if they're left and right-handed. Yeah. Because you don't often get that, do no. you? press and then at this stage you're supposed to put a buttonhole in but I don't want to swap the you're machine to do what? put a buttonhole oh, in. so yeah, if you no, look no. on the bag you'll yeah. see that there's you've got your buttonhole which tab are you doing side tab yeah 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 buttonhole but I don't really want to swap the machine oh. over to do a buttonhole at this stage should I do it for upstairs oh no here it comes yeah no no uh, this is this is a stage you would now do a buttonhole but we're not going to change the machine over to a buttonhole now but that's when you'd now do the buttonhole on that one and on that one, and you've got one going across the top, but the one going across the top, they get fixed into a seam. Yeah, no, you don't. You do one both ends. What? Oh, no. Yeah, there's a buttonhole on both ends of the big one. Oh, no, on the big one. No, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. So these two, no, that one, those yeah. two get into the seam. Yes. This one, you do a buttonhole on each end, so you can dispense of it if you want to. You didn't want that strap on the top. You could get rid of that. But be careful. You don't want to lose it. A lady rang us up at the craft centre yesterday. Because a lady rang us up at the craft centre yesterday because she'd seen I was demoing this today yeah. to find out if she could if we sold the pattern because she was like, I'm going to Spain and I'm going to miss the show. Oh no! <laughs> but we were like, well, you have to look on uh, Sandra's. <laughs> she could buy it when she's in Spain. Oh, she'd be on the aeroplane. Yeah, so she thought she'd miss out on the because I'm she right, was flying you. when. Uh, and she saw when the show was on. Yeah. Okay, there we go. All right, so we'll imagine that we've done the buttonholes and then we're going to, we've got nice little uh, notches on your pattern to put your tabs in place yeah. so you can line it up. So obviously you could do, so you're going to think that they're going to flip out when you've sewn them. So if you wanted them to be that way, you could do it yeah. like that. Or like that. Hang on, I'm supposed to be doing them on the back panel. Not the front. Not oh yeah, because you want to come round to the front. Yeah. <coughs> going to go across to base those it, yeah Quite a little, it's quite an easy bag to put together, isn't it's it? It's a nice bag yeah. to put together, yeah, absolutely. What a quick sewing project. Or you're thinking, oh, I'm going out tonight, I could make a handbag to go with my outfit or something. You could, couldn't you? Right, there's the base. Where's my little side panels? Okay, so we're going to put our side panels on now. But I like that it's just a little bit more than a tote. Oh, yes, no, 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 yeah. exactly, exactly, yeah. So, have you interfaced everything? I have this? interfaced my outer piece. Okay. Um, I didn't interface the little tabs. It does tell you on the pattern which bits to interface. Okay. Or not. not. There it is, one ninety nine. cut to order. That's for half a metre. I would tell you how wide it was, but somebody chopped it all up, so I can't tell you how wide it is now. <laughs> Who would do that to me? You, can't, you just can't get the staff. No. Call yourself staff. You're an <laughs> expert freelancer. You're not that staff. That is true. All right, you just can't get the expert freelancers. <laughs> <laughs> Even experts questionable sometimes. Okay. <laughs> I uh, didn't say it. When we sew down these, you're going to stop 
a centimetre from the bottom. Oh, okay. I'm going to put a little dot on so I actually remember to do it. Uh, Christine got the scissors, the B scissors, because of the colour. They match perfectly with my B retractable tape measure. Oh, they're very, very popular because there's not hundreds of them. I think, I think little scissors like that, they're just so useful, aren't they? Yeah, well, especially when Ben takes them down from 12 19. Well, absolutely. You kind of have, you've got to have a pair by your overlock or a pair in your sewing box. Yeah. I have a pair in my knitting bag, you know, yeah. all oh, yeah, the different yeah, yeah, things. Yeah. And then... You come to do a job and think, where are my scissors? Like yes. my glasses. I've got about eight pairs of glasses at home. The amount of times I'm in my office upstairs going, where are all my glasses? I still haven't stopped a centimetre. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. You, you even marked it off. <laughs> it's because <laughs> someone's talking to me. Oh, I've <laughs> Right, I'm going to start this one a centimetre in. Do you know what? I'm always really tired by the second show. Yeah, actually, my I brain, feel after five. I know. My brain has stopped working yeah. properly. Well, also, it doesn't help you have a sit down in between. When they make us do those days where you do three hours on, two hours off, two hours back on again. Oh. When I come back for my second, yeah. I'm like this. I quite often have a little afternoon sneeze oh, when well, I get have home. Have you got talk back in? Because no. Ben was just saying exactly the same thing. He has to go home and have, Does he have to have a little sneeze. He has to have a snooze. I always have a, I, yeah, have a little I, afternoon The snooze, snooze doesn't hit me till about five o'clock in the afternoon. That's when my head starts drooping like that. To be honest, I could always have an afternoon siesta. Oh, could you see my friend Dulce? Yeah. Oh, I love an afternoon siesta. I actually lived in Spain for a year. Oh, that would be right. Um, yeah, but nobody, no Spanish people have siestas. Don't they? No, no. They just like have a nice meal and sit around and chat and stuff. I'd be the only person who'd be going, right, I'm off for a little sleep yeah. now. <laughs> and when I, when I worked in New York, all the New Yorkers would have a 15-minute sleep in the afternoon. Okay, and I could do They'd sit down in the, in the kind of green, well, it wasn't the green room, but the lounge bit we had. I would literally sit on the sofa and go like that and then wake up 15 minutes later. Took me 15 minutes to get wrinkly <laughs> and then and they'd just be getting up and I'd be just getting comfortable. So they had a real power nap there. Oh, no, no. And it, it's, you have to learn to do it, because if you sleep longer than the 15 minutes, you're groggy. But if you sleep for just the 15 minutes... Oh, no, they loved it. They really... And then they go off to the gym and they do everything and I'd be like, oh, I'm going to the supermarket to make ice cream. <laughs> I used to get... On purpose, when I lived in New York... I'd set my alarm for like half past four in the morning, half past three in the morning, just to go to a supermarket. Because in England, the supermarkets weren't open then. No. Uh, no, and this was like, you get in the middle of Greenwich Village, go shopping at four o'clock in the morning, do your shopping. And see, like, it was like the village people, YMCA, and there, there were all sorts of people in there, to, obviously coming from the clubs and things like that. But I just used to wander around going, I'm in New York and I'm buying ice cream at half past three in the morning. I would love to go to New York. Oh, I love it. It's on my bucket list, that is. For sure. I lived there for a year and I just loved it. <laughs> would you would you go back then? Well, if, it's you, if you had the weird. opportunity. I've been back a couple of times, uh, but not to live, obviously, just to visit and everything. And I, I mean, I think it was I was there at the right time with the right people and the right. You so said Donna. I worked and lived with a girl called Donna then, and um, we just we were like, you know, when you work with somebody, and you just or we, we were twenty four seven with each other. You just get on instantly. And because I didn't know her before, we went there and we just had, so, and we kind of wanted to do the same things and were happy to go to, you know, kind of, we just had a brilliant, brilliant time. And all the people we met while we were there and all the designers we met and things, it was just at the right How old time. were you when you were there? Oh, well, hang on, it was 88, so I'll have been 28. Right, so a good time. Yeah, oh no, it was fantastic. You got the energy. Yeah, oh yeah, we just have to have the <laughs> Yes, because the New Yorkers, New York, it really is, New York doesn't sleep. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, yes, you'll see, she's married with grown-up kids now and everything. In fact, Donna, after we worked there, I left, and then Donna stayed on for another six or eight months. Then she went, Donna's a real, one, had a wanderlust. She just went travelling the world. She's a bit like Hannah, no, producer Hannah. Just went travelling the world, and she went to the South Pacific. Where's Vanuatu? Is that the South Pacific? Or she kind of went to all these different islands. Anyway, she went to Vanuatu and met, uh, met, married her husband, and... Um, they had kids at Vanuatu, and then sadly he passed. So she then came back with her kids and everything. And, um, oh, no, no. She, and she's still got that wanderlust, even though she's based in Croydon. 
But yeah, so we're still in touch. But we're like older and wiser, aren't we? 28 then, and we're like 63 now. Have we got any bad clips? We have. Oh, what do you need? Bad clips. Yeah. There you go. We've got some bad clips. So we're going to... Got, we've got the sides. We've got the thing. We're going to put the base in. Right, yo. And this is where you were meant to leave your centimetre gap, is it? Uh, that's it? why you've got your centimetre. Yeah. I've got it on three sides. I'll be okay. I'll box it on the four. Um, and it does have instructions to, if you want to, how to put a cardboard base in your bag so that you can make it extra yeah, sturdy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's instructions for that as well. It's very thorough. Very uh, Julia says, Catherine could use the Visaline pressing cloth that Kim had on the other day. She could, but we don't have a sample of it here, though. Kim only brings her samples in and takes them away with her, so we don't have it in, the, in stock, that's it. They're great for saving a mess on your board and your iron. No, it was brilliant, wasn't it? But we, we don't have a sample of it. Also, also, uh, it's, uh, Catherine doesn't need to worry about it. It's Delphine that messes the iron up, not Catherine. <laughs> Very easily done with bond yeah. web. And she wasn't even ironing at the time. All she did was she was picking some a bond web up to move um, it across to the side, and it just wafted against the bottom of the iron. Let's just slide this off oh, yeah. so I can get the bag in. The machine that uh, Catherine's using, someone was asking earlier, here it is. It's the Brother 250. FE, FS, oh, there you go, FS, that's why I was getting confused, FS 250 FE. So uh, FS must be, there's 250 stitches. Fashion edition is the, oh, because you get the extra feet on it, the, the fashion feet that they use for everything. And then what's the FS then? Something to do with stitches. Anyway, look at it, 399 pounds. Fancy stitches. Fancy stitches, maybe. maybe. <laughs> well, it's got 250 stitches. Uh, Three-way split pay, look, 133 pounds a month. It's good, isn't it? We've got five in stock at the moment. We will get, oh, Kim Suleiman's here, look. Kim Suleiman. Hi, John. We'll leave one there next time. There you go, you see. Thank you, Kim. Thank you, Kim. Yeah, because you bring all your stuff in and take it all away with you, don't you, see? Because she's dropship, you see. Everybody's, you everybody's watching today, what? aren't they? Everybody's watching Everybody today. watches every day. Everyone has us on, wittering on in the background in their sewing rooms. That's true. Right? If I'm at home pottering yeah. about... What, don't you have us on at the craft centre? I don't know. Also, you have to That's only because I haven't got a TV or a TV licence. No, no I was going to say, because <laughs> in the pop-in shop, we're not allowed the radio on. No, because of because music licence. Yeah, music licence. Performing license. rights licence, And I was like, oh, I it's a have. little community shop. No, deal no. And I went, no, John, you cannot have the radio on. No, you can be fine. Yeah, no. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't be. They would be. <laughs> yeah. So, no, yeah. I don't put it on. Yeah. And also, if you've got classes, you can have one person who wants Radio 4, one person wants Radio 2. I think it's quite nice to have a bit of quiet sometimes. Well, no, when it's, I, think, I, I agree with you. And also, just now, when we, you were sewing and I was just watching you, Ben was like, talk, John, talk. I quite like the odd kind of like just quiet, contemplative watching of sewing. <laughs> watching to see if I go wrong. Go wrong, yes. Yeah. How many times she goes wrong. <laughs> oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. I, couldn't, I didn't know what this word meant. Louise messaging going, I love a nappetizer. And I'm like, oh, I've never heard. What's one of those? A little nap before bed. Love the show as always. Louise, Louise my, hand, my husband has those. A nap before you go to bed? Yes, yeah, so it stems from when my youngest was a little baby. He used to go and lie on the bed with her to, like, settle her down and get to sleep. And he'd always have a little snooze. At that point, it was, like, about, you know, six o'clock in the evening. Yeah. It'd be his little snooze. But as the children have got older, his little nap, because they still like to go and have a little cuddle with him, oh. his naps got later and later. <laughs> So, now, so these so days it's about clubbing, half nine at your night. Your youngster, he'll have his little nap at three o'clock <laughs> yeah. in the morning. So sometimes it'll be like half past nine, and he'll be having a little snooze. Then he'll get up for a bit. <laughs> no, I'd be rubbish at that. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't do that. I I'm can't like, even have the afternoon in, nap because in bed. Be once I'm in bed, I'm That's in bed. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if I have an afternoon snooze, it tends to be on the sofa. Yeah. Oh yeah, you couldn't go to bed, bed. Mind you, Hannah's been known to go up to bed for an afternoon snooze and sleep until the next morning. Really? Yeah. Do what, Charlie? Oh, apparently Steph, Hannah's boyfriend, was doing a DJ set on TikTok. Whatever that means. And Hannah was joining in with him. How funny. What, so if you do a DJ, what, so he just sits on TikTok playing records? Hmm. 
But then, if, if, then can you do that on TikTok without having a license? I don't know. I, I don't. Oh. I don't. Re I'm not really a TikTok expert. No, I'm not. I don't know anything about it. But no, because if you put the wrong tune on your Facebook, if you add a tune to your Facebook little reels, they take it down if it's got a tune on that you're not allowed to use, don't they? If you, put, if you uh, add a tune to it. Yeah, I yeah. I only use the ones they they let. Well, you. no, they, but then you see, I thought I thought that Instagram and Facebook were owned by the same people. So when I put my Christmas decorations up. On Instagram, I added a tune that it said I could add. Yeah. And then I just shared it on Facebook. And the Facebook one got taken off. Oh. Not use it, but it's still on Instagram. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know either. The I mysteries of social media. So if you've been good and left your centimetre at the bottom, your bag base fits in really easily. Yeah. Because it just folds up nicely. Lovely. A slight bit there, I just need to... And I haven't gone quite down quite far enough. That's better. And really, I'd say just put, put, putting in the base is probably the trickiest bit, but it isn't really tricky. Christine said, uh, Gary likes a nap during the day as he's up at five o'clock in the morning. He always says he's having a nap to get energy for his main snooze. I can't understand <laughs> that. Well, he's young. He's a, she's a, he's a toy boy. Right, let's turn it around and see if it's okay. looking nice. Push my corners out. Need a pokey tool. There we go. There we go. Cute. Looking, looking nice, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I'll undo those. So I'd, I just pinned those little tabs out of the way so I didn't accidentally stitch them into the wrong bit. Okay. So you're going to make your lining in the same way yeah but leave a hole in the middle do you have to, do you have to leave you a hole do. in the middle yeah. yes you do okay i'm going to make the little center tab just so you can see how that would go lovely put that there for now there's my center tab morning john and catherine you can beat a granny nap says morag where where what's your necklace catherine it looks lovely from here what is it? Let's have a it close up. Got, this was my Mother's Day present that my children bought me. Did they make it? No, no. It's, well, it's, gone. it's not straight. Way, That's go. it. Look, it's like a little shelf and it's got um, sewing machine. Is it balsa wood? It's, pl it's hand painted plywood. Oh. It's a lady on I found on Instagram. Okay. Yeah. Oh, did she do. Have you got another brooch of hers? No, that was a different one. A different <laughs> All my jewellery is mainly sewing related. Yeah, yeah, yes. but that's the day you wore that one. We said where it was that's from. That's true. She got inundated, didn't she? She did, out. yes. I think this is a lady called, I'm trying to remember, Layla Amber. Okay. You sure that's her name? We don't want to inundate somebody. I'm sure it like. is. And she does She does sewing ones, she does knitting ones, and they're all like... Hand, uh, and hand there we go. Now, Instagram, what? Layla what? Layla Amber. Layla Amber. It's gonna be, she's going to be overwhelmed with hits now. Your beard needs a trim, doesn't it? Yeah. No, I'm not talking to Catherine. I'm <laughs> talking to Michael. <laughs> <laughs> My just here. Just, here. just, just there. Uh, yeah, just a tiny bit. It's because it's longer on one side than it is on the other. Yeah. Unless you've got a lobsided face. <laughs> well, I think everyone's got a lobsided face. Yeah, yeah right. no one's symmetrical. I suppose it's accentuated when you grow a beard, isn't it? Just, um, yeah, just if you push it slightly differently. Then yeah. The bang can't go into the colour, though. It's nice, it's got so many colours in it, isn't it? Oh, Louise. Louise says, Unfortunately, due to a mixture of my medication and chronic fatigue, I can nap at any time. Oh, Louise. So on this, on this centre tab, when you're going to stitch around that, you need to leave a gap in the side. Yeah, you oh, I'm going to do it quite big to see if I can remember. <laughs> 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 I 
There's hope for me yet. I'll get there eventually. I um, opened up, I had last, uh, last week I had this show where I was selling like um, uh, William Morris teapots and everything like that. And I opened one box and broke, snapped my nail. And my nail's completely jagged down like oh that. No. Just from a little cardboard box I just noticed. Yeah. Yeah. Not very attractive. Now look. You might as well have because everyone's seen it. Look. Oh. Sorry, Chad, I didn't really just bring it all the way across. Look. Oh, the the guitarists have those. Won't that be on the fret, that bit there? Anyway, I've, I've got very healthy where my nails are healing, it's concerned. Because, like I say, I had the operation on my toe on Monday. No anaesthetic whatsoever. What was wrong with your toe? Oh, do you really want to know? Is it grease then? Oh, is it what? Is it gruesome? No, it's, it's an ingrown toenail. It was oh, OK. Toenail. And I had it done on the other foot, and he gave me, he gave me injections in my toe, you see. And I said to him afterwards, oh, I can feel instant relief. He went, no, John, you're still anaesthetised. That's why it feels <laughs> good. And then this time I went in, and I said, it's on the other foot now. So we've got to decide whether he's just going to maintain them or whether I've got to go and have a fully-fledged operation. Oh, dear. Where they, uh, uh, look, listen away if you have your 11s or your lunch or anything. What time is it? Lunch, right? right? What they have to do is they have to cut... A, the middle of your toenail out Ooh. so that your two sides grow together like that so it stops it growing and thing like that and I said oh I can have that done he said you, you have to wear golf balls on your big toes like these golf ball things <laughs> on your big toe. so I can't wear shoes or anything no, you just anyway I said oh just do it and he went I think you need to inject me and he just did it just got his scalpel out and he went oh that was a nasty one that one I went You've just done it without an anaesthetic. Well, yeah, yeah. And it was healed. I'm all healed. It's, wow. Um, when, I, when I was on a Bond film, I was saying the other day, I was on a Bond film. Um, yeah, it did hurt. Um, when I was on a Bond film, I had a box of coat hangers. And you know, I, they, they, make those, they used to put those great big staples in the bottom of cardboard boxes. Yeah. One of those staples was sticking out. I hadn't seen it. And I threw the box down like that. And it cut. I got rushed off to A&E, right? By the time I got in to see them, which was about four hours later... They were like, we can't believe that. That's he that started healing. Have you got some sort of mutant powers? I've obviously got that must be superpowers. You like in, wow. I know. Shame. That's actually quite good though, isn't it? Oh no, 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 no. And and it's like if I get anything like that, if I cut cut myself or anything like that, it heals really, really quickly. That's good. Well, yeah, oh, I haven't I haven't go and have my tattoo. I've had a day off yet. You haven't had tattoos? I'm having two tattoos. I'm having the one that my niece bought me for my 60th birthday, but it yeah. has to be done by the man in L.A. Okay. And we're going to L.A. in October. Oh, my word. Whether my niece comes, you see, if she doesn't come, I can't go and have it done. So if she comes, I'll have it done then. Because um, he owns the design. Oh, uh, and then the other one is a lady around the corner of me does fine line tattoos. And she's done a design. You know the front cover of my book? Yes. She's done that as a fine line tattoo design. Just, just tiny like that. Yeah. No, oh no! Don't you, it can't be seen. No, I no, can't be seen. I don't like to see tattoos when you. I mean, I always wear long sleeves anyway, but I don't like to see tattoos on wrists or on thumbs or anything like that. I'm a bit fussy like that. And how those people have those great big, like dirty big roses on here, and I'd be like wanting to wash my hands all the time. Anyway, that's my, my own personal. No offence if you've got one. But um, so yeah, so no, I'll have it here or something like that. So. Mm -hmm. What, there, across the book? No, because it's quite long, isn't it? I'm looking for my book. It was on the, it was on the wall, wasn't it? Or is it there, Linda? You see, because I think what she's done is I think she's not, she's not got the writing. She's just done a design with this rib ribbon work going down there like that. So, but it won't be that big. Imagine if it was that big, it'd be like this. <laughs> just have it all over your back. Oh, no. <laughs> like David Beckham. Then when you're on the beach, you say... <laughs> no, I can't. Oh, no, you can't. Also, <coughs> it's 63 year old skin. What's it going to look like with a tattoo on it? It'll all be saggy, won't it? Anyway, we'll, <laughs> that, we'll get there eventually. I keep saying, I'll, be round, I'll pop round next week and have it done. I'll pop round next week. Um, so she suggests that you hand stitch this lining. Yeah. Closed. I'd be probably. Cause oh, I, no, top stitch. I, top I would stitch. probably. Top, did I top stitch that one? No. Did I even close it up? <laughs> 
Yeah, it's close up. Oh, perhaps I did hand stitch it then. Perhaps that's been good. It's very, very neat hand stitching because I can't even see it. I'll find it. Perhaps I did something different entirely. No, 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 no. It's, it's definitely... No, oh, there it is. I mean, it's very neat. I but, did do very neat hand stitching, yeah. to be fair. But, um, but no, I top stitch around the edge. In fact, I think I had a top stitch around the edge of those yeah. as well. Yeah, so you could do, absolutely. Yeah. So then the, what happens is you, you put your buttonholes in and then that goes over it on one side yeah. and then it goes over and oh. you can pop your button on the other side. Is the button on the pocket? Well, it is oh, in the yeah, pocket, it is, yeah. but you could, you could. So no, now no, I've no. done my nice design, you could make it higher. But actually yeah, no, no, I like you, it on the pocket. It makes your pocket secure. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. And I think it's a really nice design oh, feature. Sorry, yeah. I've let you witter on. It's, oh, you've run out of time. Sorry about that. When <laughs> That's all right. I am here next Thursday, oh, and Thursday this, the 4th. With Vix. Vix is yes. on. Yeah, and it's my one day off next week. And with, back with my dress pattern yeah. and a lovely quilt as well. Uh, your quilt? Not or? my quilt, no, a bit, but a really nice kit, yeah. Brilliant. Right, let me just go through the bundles very quickly. I'll just do the bag bundles. Red one, first of all, which is in way in the lead. You get your instructions, your pattern, your stencil, your buttons, your pen, your label, your hot tomato and your... Dazzle, 10 left, and 19 in baskets of the red one. We've got it in the green. I like this one. In fact, I must remind Michael not to send this one back because it's got, we've got the label. Oh, no, actually, Sandra Santangles in, isn't she? She must have got a label to put in there. Half meter, half meter, buttons, pen, label, stencil, pattern, and instructions. 23.99. Then we've got the blue one. Uh, instructions, pattern, pen, label, stencil, buttons, half a metre, half a metre, 23.99, pattern on its own, I'll just, I won't do the panels, I'll just do this now, pattern on its own, 12.99, now if you think about it, that bit there would be 9.99, wouldn't it, but you've got the paper patterns there, stencil, buttons, label and pen, 12.99. Right, so you'll see Catherine next Thursday. Uh, so make sure you come in and get her dress pattern. And uh, I'll be back in four minutes with more Crafty Witches. Hi, I'm Becky. I'm the soft craft expert for Crafters Companion. Um, I come from London and I've been sewing pretty much all my life. I particularly enjoy doing embroidery, I'm really keen on that, but I've, I've, my background is um, dressmaking and also sort of patchwork and quilting. Um, so I do an awful lot of sewing for all sorts of different things. I suppose once you start sewing, you start doing lots of other kinds of sewing. So I particularly like got into needlepoint um, during lockdown, but I suppose embroidery is probably my real passion. My mum was a costume designer, um, so we were always sort of surrounded by bits of fabric and material and ribbons and that kind of thing. And I was always making teddies um, and my dolls clothes as a small child. So it was just something that was quite natural. And in fact, I've got so used to being able to sew, um, it's just become a natural sort of part of what I do. Um, I'm always fiddling around with fabric, as my husband puts it, um, making something new, um, trying something out. Always measure twice, cut once. Um, I'm a great one for not doing that and I always regret it. And making sure that you've got an iron to hand is really important. I use a tiny little, um, sort of almost like a travel iron that I have right next to my desk when I'm working so it doesn't take up too much space. And we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Bye! Did you know that you can continue shopping 24 hours a day, seven days a week, even after we've finished broadcasting live? Just head over to www.sewingstreet.com for thousands of sewing supplies available from top brands. You still pay only one PMP with split pay available on certain items and an easy checkout service too. Plus, you can get expert advice and tips from our Sewing Street hub and UK customer support is available 24-7. So head over to SewingStreet.com and continue your sewing journey. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? 
That means on certain items, you can spread the cost over two, three, four, or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with Split Pay. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8am till 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one p and throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Not only is Sewing Street live from 8am till 1pm on Sky 670, Freeview Channel 73, YouTube and the Sewing Street app, now, Virgin subscribers can watch on Channel 754, which means there are more ways to watch your way with Sewing Street. They're back. Well, we you can hardly see you behind all your cushions. We, we must have done all right because you've, had, you've allowed us back on air. So I had we... no choice. <laughs> the security guard was told not to let you out until you've been on. Got your money's worth out here. Yeah. Right, just explain. If you weren't here at nine o'clock, who are you? We are the Crafty Witches. Um, Hells is Hubble Bubble. Yes. She's one of our guest demonstrators. I'm one of the company directors. We've got Becky Seddon, who designs and is my business partner. She's Toil and I'm Trouble. And did you speak to her in the break? Um, we, we, she WhatsApped us. So and was she happy with your yeah, performance? Yes, she's happy. Well, it's tough if she's not. <laughs> She hasn't got much to say, has she? And how does it work then? So there's two in charge. There's the, the, Becky and I own the, own the company. Yeah. We became a limited company last June. We were sole trader for a few months and then we thought this is just getting serious. So we became a limited company last June. Oh, wow. So we're now the Crafty Witches Limited. Uh -huh. We're on Hobby Maker with our digital designs and our paper emporium products. But... Um, I'm very good friends with Anna Louise Pickering because I do Pollyanna Pickering on paper craft. Oh, and I said I to Anna Lou, why don't you see if Sewing Street would be interested in using some of Pollyanna's artwork yeah. for sewers? And of course, you did the first show, sold out. And she told me how well she'd done. I how got put in the newsletter. Did, oh, the yeah. Newsletter. Oh, did you get your photograph taken? Yeah, yeah she's very good. Yeah, I all about my history. Uh, yeah, because she, she hobsnobs with the rich oh, and no, famous. Oh, no, she's proper you know. on. You, do you follow? Well, you also obviously follow her. Follow her on Instagram. She, this week, Joanna Lumley. Yes. Who are all famous yes. people. She's like hugging and kissing with all these famous yeah, people. Yeah, oh, she does. Week. Well, her and her mom, you know, they, they travelled the world. Well, and also, it's a, it's a foundation, isn't it? Yes. It's a charity. Yeah. So all those big names are so Yeah, I, I remember after we sadly lost Pollyanna, I went for um, Colin and I, and Lexi were on holiday and we went to visit her. I thought it was quite near to Yorkshire. It wasn't where she lives. <laughs> and we were having lunch sat outside in the garden and I always remember Anna Lou saying to me, I didn't, I 
I didn't think anybody else would want me after mum passed. Oh. And it, it, it broke my heart. Yeah. But she's busier than ever. Yeah. And she's still going abroad and but everything. But also, she and the mum had a very, very oh, strong very bond, close. Didn't yeah, they? They were, yeah. the Pollyanna couldn't do anything. She was like, Anna Lou was Pollyanna's comfort blanket. Yeah. And then I had a chat with Debbie Moore, who I've known for 18 plus years. Oh, and the rest. And she said, why? Have you got a chateau then? No, I haven't got a chateau. Okay. I've got a house. Yeah, she's got you know, a chateau. I know, she? no. I, I, I was going to be a French teacher when, when I started. Oh, were you? I, I was, was. going to be an English drama teacher. Well, I, I, did, I did French and geography. Oh, what funny things. I don't know. It was actually, wasn't oh, it? Right. Um, and Debbie was very encouraging. I said, well, look, I don't want to do anything that's stepping on anybody's toes. She said, just fill your boots. No, you know? no, no. So we do a different style of artwork. Totally. And we have loads of licensed artwork. But you both artwork. do cards. Do you yeah. know what I mean? So there's no difference. Oh, well, no, not no difference. But you know what I mean? If you both do cards, you can mm -hmm. both do fabric, yeah, can't you? So you're a designer, you're a designer. Wait till you see these. These are already really, really, really popular on pre-order, right? Um, so I've got INN, no, INUU54. Look, now, the, 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 I know what's going to happen. There's one, two, three, four, five different alphabets here. Yes. And I know what you can do. You're going to put them all in your baskets and decide what you want. So this one is Floral Desire. Yeah. Who named that? Becky. <laughs> anyway, aren't they gorgeous? Aren't they good? She got the whole alphabet with lovely little flowers all entwined and everything. And then if I lift it up, you've also got more five-inch squares that go with all the flowers. They're like woodland flowers. There's butterflies. There's dark background flowers. There's... I've got a sh that one there. I've got a shirt up. It's lovely, isn't it? Like that. Anyway, so this is fourteen ninety nine. So you get you get all your forty. You get forty. Is it forty? Yeah, squares? forty, 40 squares. Forty squares. So obviously twenty six for your alphabet, and then the rest are filled with all of the beautiful um, fabrics to go with, complementing fabrics to go with. And we've got a beautiful quilt behind my glamorous model. Oh, there you go. Quilt on the wall, Michael. Um, oh, hells that Marie's done just to show she makes you. She everything, Marie. Marie is her name. Marie. Oh, Marie. Yes. Okay, Marie. So did she ever come on telly? No, no. No, she's not coming on telly. Well, I have enough to deal with with Hells and Ian. No. <laughs> <laughs> Does Ian come on telly then? Ian comes on television. Yes. What does he look like? Then? Um, Ian the Warlock. Um, yeah, what does he look like? Have I seen him in the green? Um, Probably. Probably, yeah. yeah. All right, I'll he's, look he's, out next time. He's little time. with glasses, isn't he's he? He's what, little with glasses? Little with glasses. He's a lovely fellow. Kettle beige. <laughs> right, now, if you love that, right, if you love that five-inch square, there's then a, one of these panels to go with it, like a cushion panel to go with it. So the letters, look, are the same as on the five-inch squares. Well, we had to think of four-letter words and keep it clean, John. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I dread to think what's coming up. Anyway, so that's the front. There's your two envelope backs, but there's your spare piece of fabric. And you know how I said I'd started me? This is my second attempt at a cushion cover. Oh, is it? So, Put it yeah. the right way up, first of all. There you go. There it is. So that's my second attempt at a cushion cover, and I got it the right way around this time. Oh, you did, yeah? You should sign it. So I will, hopefully the next time, I will have progressed. Oh, are you coming back? Well, uh, Hells is going to do the shows. I might come and do the odd one. Oh, so you're just Lady Mucko. You sit in your ivory <laughs> tower up there in I wish. Monkey Land or whatever it's called. <laughs> Monkey Land. <laughs> okay. Um, but you come and do Hobby Maker, don't you? I've seen you in the green no, room. No, I, I do Pollyanna. I'm trying to... I'm oh, do you see, I thought you were one of the ones I saw every... every <laughs> she's trying to do it I am. I'm trying to. I mean, you know. But I, you love it, don't you? I once, I once travelled twenty four thousand miles in one year, up and down the A one. Oh, 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 in your car, you mean? In I my thought you car, meant yeah. Oh, no. But no, the, the, I get tired with the driving now. You know, it you is a long drive. Get a driver. No, I like to be in control. No. I knew that was coming. As soon as I said it, I thought I know what's going to come. No, I don't <laughs> even like Colin driving my car. I'm Colin's a, your husband? Yeah, I'm a terrible... I, I, I drive from the passenger seat. Oh, yeah. If I, if I were him, I'd stop the car and tell me to get out. <laughs> Have you got separate cars? 
Yeah, he's got his oh, own so he's car. So he's not stuck at home. Or no, no, no. Car. We've swapped. He used to have the big car, and I have the small one. And now, since he retired twelve years ago, I've been working. Oh, he's much the... older than you, then. No, he? no. He just took early retirement. Blimey. And But I've had to keep working to keep him in the style to which he's become accustomed. She loves oh. it. She loves it, really. <laughs> right. Let's put that one there. Let's move on to the this next one. one. You are you you fifteen. This <gasps> is gorgeous. These are all gorgeous. You're going to love all of these. Look at this one. So what's this one called? Lavender? Uh, Lavender Love. La Lavender Love. Lavender Love, this one. Beautiful. Um, beautiful. Now, what I would do is when I found out the one I loved the most, I'd buy a couple of them. Because mm -hmm. obviously you only get one of each letter, yes. don't you? And if you want to spell out somebody's name or something, yes. you might want other, other L's or M's or whatever. You'd be all right with mine because I'm L-Y-N-D-A, so you'd be all right with my name. And you'd be all right with mine? Yes. But yes, a couple and of ben, them. And this. But Jimmy. Yeah, you'd have to. What's happened to your hair? Do you know Jimmy? I've known Jimmy since he was. He started on another channel. He first... Oh, he's worked on another channel. Oh, I thought yes. This was his first ever job. Jimmy, no. <laughs> Jimmy. You mean he worked, he's worked before. Jimmy hugs are worth the weight in gold. <clears throat> I've never had a Jimmy hug. No, have you not Brian, had a Jimmy no, hug? No, Brian May has them all, doesn't he? What's he called? Nigel May. Nigel May, he's too busy. Brian May. <laughs> right, what's this then? This is what we've made with the panels. We? Well, yeah, the Ray. royal we. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's lovely, isn't it? And with you don't have to spell love if you don't want no. to. No, do and with the leftover fabric. You could do vile. <laughs> well, that's it. I had, to, I had to think a nice four letter <laughs> word. Yeah. Oh, and what's that? That is just a, a bag that Hell's made with the spare fabric. That's the bonus. No, oh, no, that's, no, we're not that's on that. That's the bonus. Yet. Sorry. That's the bonus Jumping fabric. Ahead. Yeah, no, I'm getting too excited <laughs> now. You're tired now. Did you I have am. your deli beans in the break? No, because I, I can only have them if I have, like, you know, oh, the uh, sugar uh, levels. Uh, yeah. Oh. And you didn't have a sugar rush? No, then? no. I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm all right. <laughs> jelly babies, not je jelly babies or jelly, oh, jelly babies. I love jelly babies. I love, so. jelly beans. I love all I the like, weird flavours. I like everything that's bad for me. Yeah, yeah. That's why we're at the yeah, like Mario. Anyway, fourteen ninety nine. That's that one there. Now we're moving on to the one where you can show us the excess fabric. Right, and then we've got the uh, cushion at the front there. Oh, these are beautiful. Look, this is the love one. In your lavender here. Oops. Ho oh, no, this is home, home, this one. Yeah. Home. Beautiful, that is. And it okay. doesn't matter. I love that green fabric and I love the, the gingham as me, well. There you go, because you've got the green fabric and yeah. punch you in the face then. There's your spare fabric with which we made a this pouch. Bag. Yes. <laughs> we being the royal we. Yeah. Who did this then? Oh. We can, oh, no, we're not making that now. No. Beautiful. Oh, I see what you mean about zips. Yeah, you're good at zips. Oh, thank you. She's good, isn't she? She's very neat, isn't she? Yeah. She's lined it all as yeah. well. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, thank Gorgeous. you. Gorgeous. Right. There you go. Home, <laughs> that one. Home. Don't, don't tell her too much because she won't be able to get her head through the door. <laughs> we leave the studio. <laughs> I don't, and she's a friend. God knows what you like with your enemies. <laughs> you don't ever want to find out. No. No, it wouldn't. <laughs> Fourteen ninety nine. that gorgeous cushion panel. Right, then we're going to move on to... That goes there, that goes there. FQUU26. And these are... Tiny World. Right. I don't know what these are going to be. This is for babies. This oh, is, isn't it well, it, you gorgeous. say it's for babies, yeah, but, but it doesn't have to be for babies. No, it's it? cute. It's whimsical. Whimsical. Yes. It's your middle name, isn't it? I what, heard. whimsical? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Amongst other things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Look at it. Little be lambs and donkeys and koalas and pandas and cows. And then the beautiful coordinating uh, decorative paper. Um, not paper. No, it's not paper. And right. Uh, look what hell's made. You did make this one. I didn't did, you? yeah. Yes. What is it? It's a, a like a quilt for a yeah, I'll help you hold it. A up cot. Then. A cot. Oh yeah, lovely. I could all I could see was this. I couldn't figure out what was hanging for just your label, isn't it? Yeah. There you go. That's so cute, isn't it? It's beautiful, isn't it? You know what you could do as well? Because you cut them up and turn them back together again. 
Um, but if you did that, you could put some sashing in between them. It did like little frames in between the letters. Mm -hmm. Like that one. That one's got sashing in between. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was wondering if you could put a dark sashing. You yeah, like that would look frame. really striking, Lovely. wouldn't it? And that's good because it not only looks pretty, but they can learn the letters. Yes, when so do, yeah. Them, when they won't you could use it as a wall hanging and then yeah. have the letters. A is for so-and-so. Yeah. If, although, no, we haven't got, like... We haven't got the proper letters with the ab with the animals, so we. we oh no no you can't yeah. do K for koala no no, no 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 but they could learn the letter letters couldn't they? We can with one of them though because we have got oh, oh okay. yeah I think we've you got, got that one yeah. today. So that one there is that one and then there. It and is. then we've also made a bag out of the squares. This oh right, yeah the squares from the bottom right, of this, the pattern. Yeah. Right this goes in with what we're going to show you next. Okay, so these are the five inch squares that come below the alphabet letters for children. Yeah. Gorgeous. Right, then we've got the cushion. So what word has this got then? So this has got baby on. Oh, okay. So there's your cushion. We'll show you the there's panel. There's your panel, there you go. So you've got baby. But what we did, we didn't want to give you two bees with the same colour and the same animal on, so Becky did a little bit of um, witchy, oh, witchcraft okay. on it. Yeah. And so did she it. sit with a paper and a pen and, or pencil? No, and... no, it's all done on a, a Mac. I don't know what that means. It's a but you have to push. Make a draw, don't you? No, no. No, oh, because this is all... That. Yeah, she's drawn them all by <laughs> hand. <laughs> this is all our licensed artwork, so shall we say about the angel policy again? Yes, please do. That, Tell um, them. We have bought the commercial license when we've um, bought the license for the artwork. So that means that you can make to sell. You can sell on and make some profit on it, whether you sell for charity or whether you sell for personal profit. You are allowed to do that as long as it's a finished product. You're not allowed to just sell, sell this. Sell the panel, yeah. Uh, and do you not get a percentage or anything then? You're missing out there in your no. pension. <laughs> Because some people say you can do that. You have to pay a license oh, no. fee and Oh, no. No, we just, you know. I need there was some good in there somewhere oh, deep we're, in oh, that dark we're, part. We're not, we're not totally black witches. <laughs> there's, a little, there's a little bit of white witch in there. Oh, with that's us, right. You know, the good witches. Uh, so that's your baby cushion. We made a baby. Oh, yeah, the baby cushion's there. Baby and cushion. you've got the baby cushion with Lovely. your... But look at this. Our Hells has made this. So this is a baby bag. For you to take all your paraphernalia. Okay. Hang on a second, um, I've lost them again. See, I and we never had any children. We just had dogs and puppies. Yeah, but you have way. to take you have to take as much out with them as you do. Oh, <laughs> don't you? Just, <laughs> Sometimes yeah. you have to take more. So um, we've got the baby bag, and then that bag we showed you before fits inside to put your your nappies and your things like that in. Yeah. So. Um, so yes, so that's a nice big, big bag, and she's used all the fabric yeah. there as well, and she's then some white fabric. Of, um, not, did you make this one? And then yeah. what's, what's inside that one? Um, it feels like a like a fine bone. Heat, sort. It's heat and bond. Oh, heat and bond, heat yeah. and bond, brilliant. Heat and bond. And then one. we've got a pocket inside as well. Gorgeous. So is it all of this fabric from that? Panel. Yeah, apart from um, I added a bit of my own white. Oh, in, there, that bit. But I could have used white from the edge from the of the board. panel. Yeah, exactly. Gorgeous. Right, that's that one. Now, we've got two more. V A U U. No, we need the animals. No. Now. You need what? It's, it's the animals, the wild menagerie that you've got next. That's, that's that one there. That one. Yeah. This is my favourite. When we did this as toppers on Hobby Maker, I love this one. Just look at the artwork on that. And now this... we'll... Oh, now you have done. Yes, you can now. The see... letters are... go with the animals. Yeah, so we've got the L's the lion. Yeah. The J, you've got the J near you, is a jellyfish. Je a jellyfish there, yeah. And What's this one called then? That's a narwhal. I didn't even know they existed. Yeah, you? that's a narwhal. And then we've got an octopus. Uh, we've got a vampire bat. I just love this. I think it's really, really... This is the most popular on pre-order, yeah. this one, yeah. Yeah, it's, um, it's colourful, but it's like muted. It's more like vintage colours on yeah. this one. What's the X then? Um, is th I I'll put it down like this, shall I? You have got a fish that's called an oxalot, uh, an exolot or something. I'm not quite sure. You'll have to Google that one. Google that one. Yeah. A fish starting with X. And that's a yak. 
I this guess, is xylophone. I, guess, I saw that one. It's I guess that one. But I xylophone. <laughs> no, what? it's an animal. What's she yeah, saying? She's, uh, she's had too much sugar. Well, she's a xylophone. <laughs> yeah, she had she had a sausage roll in between the break. I did not actually. I didn't. I had half a sausage. roll. She had half a sausage roll. <laughs> oh, fish. now now look, that's funny she's you should say it. that. Uh, Chantal said, can I ask, is there an angel party on the squares? I'd love to use the letter to make some little bags for a school fair. No, make as many as you like, sell as many as you like, that's fine. Well, there's the 40 squares, look, uh, John, just cut out. Look how many you get in there. 40. 40, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> and, she, and Hells has made some little, and she's made oh, me... Oh, give me lavender, it's a pin cushion. She's just a pin cushion. I've got the lavender at my house. I was going to make some, but then I, I didn't have time. Is it in your garden, then? Did you cut it out of your garden? No, no, I got it from... <laughs> oh, no, because I've got... When you come up to my house, the whole path up all the right. front door and the path down the side are all lavender. All my lavender. friend Dulcie comes round every year with her scissors oh, yes. and chops it all uh -huh. down to make her um, lavender yeah. pouches to sell. So um, she made a little put, uh, pin cushion there with L for a line. Linda. For Linda. So you go like this. <laughs> Linda, 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 Linda. She probably does. <laughs> I say, no. Do you know what? I love it. No, I used my voodoo doll for that. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody made a voodoo doll once for me. And, yeah, no! Yeah. She didn't like me at all. Another story. Anyway, this is beautiful. I, I, thi I think this, it, this would be the first one in my basket. It really would. Well, very popular, isn't it, Ben? It's, um, it's beautiful. I mean, the A for alligator, B for bear, then we've got the C for cat and... OK, can I just tell you, right, there's 51 in baskets, but there's actually only 14 left. Wow. And we can't get any more today. No. We can get more in the future, I'm hoping, but we can't get any more today. That's it today. So if you want that, you do need to check out way too many people got that in their baskets, right? So that was your animal's letters. Yeah. Then does one of these that's, go with that's them? That's the one that's got the cushion on. Right, then the cushion one goes. Look, you know your stuff, isn't it? What word? What word? Wild. Oh, of course. Oh, yeah, look. Beautiful. But isn't that, isn't that um, feature She's panel? She's pointing at this bit again. This bit, isn't that, isn't that a beautiful contrast to it? I think that is a lovely design. Yeah. Gorgeous. Do you know what, John? I work with the most talented people, and I include Hells in that as well. Oh, what's happened? Get her some no, sugar. She's I, being no, nice. No, I do. I <laughs> do. I've been really lucky to ha I have such a wonderful team. But I'm only picky who I work with. They've got to be like-minded. We are all passionate about what we do, and we put our heart and soul into these. But the these. thing is, you can, see, you can see it, because if somebody does it just for a job, mm -hmm. you, get, you get just enough to make it. But when there's a passion in it, when yes. there's a love in it, you can see that. Yeah. You can see that with all of our, you know, our demonstrators, our experts, and everything. They're all doing it because they absolutely love it. Yes. None of them are just, oh, I do this yeah. with it. No. You know, I, um, you know, and I would never, I couldn't come on here and sell something that I wouldn't buy myself. You know, I'm rubbish, though. I'm I'd rubbish be terrible. People can tell. People, yeah, my face would show yeah, it all. People may think, you don't like this one, no. do you, John? They can tell <laughs> if you don't like something. And then, they, then some of them get, like, we had something on recently, and I, got, I was so over, and they were like, oh, I can't watch anymore. He's too overexcited. I was overexcited because <laughs> it was absolutely yeah. gorgeous. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Anyway, wild. Is that above your bed, then, that one? <laughs> above your bed. <laughs> That one came out wrong. That sounded a bit rude, then, didn't you? <laughs> it did. Right, hang on, I've still got one more, haven't I? Now, this one yeah. is actually Hell's... Hello. Oh, let me just show you a few oh, more yeah, samples. Yeah, yeah. A wild, yeah. So we've got um, Oh, so you've the used bag. the panel to make a tote bag. Yeah, we've lovely. used the cushion. There's that fabric then, you love so much. Yep, well, and it? then yeah. these are just made with the fabric. Hang on, if somebody... <laughs> I know what she put in there. She put her scissors in there. No, glasses, I think. Oh, they'll be. Are they the glasses she had on earlier? Very you similar. You do lots of ombre glasses. <laughs> I know. I put nice. them as the multi pack. <laughs> you what? They're a multi pack. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. But you and then the... we've got that's with the panels. Oh, nice. That's with the five inch panel there, you see. Yeah, I'm not going to... Oh, hang on, there was a message there. I didn't see it. Hang on. Hi, Linda. Hell's John. Loving the show. Beautiful panels from Audrey and Chorley. Hi, Audrey. Thanks, Audrey. Thank you. 
Gorgeous, so, right, okay, so that goes there, that goes there. So that's my favourite, but the next one coming up is Hell's favourite. Oh, is it? Yeah. Is it like Sea World or something yes. like that? Or yes, Or Mermaid, were you a mermaid in a past life? No, I've, no. no. I was an octopus. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that was probably a jellyfish. Mm, stinging it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with my tentacles, it's, I now do it with my tongue. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I said that to you the other day and it came out completely wrong. Did it? <laughs> Anyway, look, uh, uh, come in close on these because these are absolutely beautiful. Look at these. Oh, I can see why this is your favourite. Stunning. The colour. I love the fact that also the letters look 3D, but mm -hmm. they haven't got a, a solid edge. They've got like mm. the bubbly edge, haven't yeah. they? Yeah, it's a lovely font as well, John, isn't it? Is that what it is? Yeah. Well, uh, you know, when I got my first computer, I hadn't got a clue. And my husband said to me about the font, I said, Colin, Font something you baptise a baby in. Yes, it is. Not anymore. It's your, it's your livelihood. He, there. Was, he was an IT consultant when he worked, and now I know more about the computer than he oh. does, bless him. Well, if he retired 12 years ago, I know. Have moved on a lot. Yeah, they have. I, I yeah. still have trouble switching mine on. Go, I'll, oh, actually, I'm just going to do this. Look at the squares that come with it. Beautiful. Look at that one there. That's stunning. Oh, look, I mean, of course, there you go. Oh. Now, that takes me back to my childhood. I don't know if that was a book or something I had. Beautiful. They're gorgeous, the squares there, aren't they? Oh, look at that one there. So we've got a bag here, John. Have you made out of the five-inch squares? Yes. And this is a different shape bag, which Hells has done again. Oh, she yes. She is clever, isn't she? Isn't she? Is that your own pattern? Um, sort of. I saw a picture of one and thought, right, I want to make that. So, so you just made it up? Yeah. It's brilliant. Oh, she even put a magnetic clasp in this one. No expense bed. No. <laughs> She's going <laughs> to, should be selling all these on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, there are to sell, I suppose, aren't they? It's lovely, though, isn't it? No, all the samples are going, Ben. All the samples <laughs> are going. And then we've got, obviously, we've got the cushion for this one. Now... What's the word? What's the word? Hope. Oh. And you know why I chose that? I chose that especially because of all the things that are going on in the world. Yeah, that... And how everybody's saying about pollution and everything. So I thought hope was a nice word to put on here. Yeah, gorgeous. There is reasoning goes behind Yeah, things. yeah, you just have to talk to every four-letter <laughs> word you can think of. <laughs> Anyway, then you've got the lovely backing there. Oh, oh look. Yeah. That's beautiful. Look at that. So one. use that one separately for, for something else. Yeah. It's got a real depth quality to it, hasn't it? Yeah. Very clever the way that one's drawn. $14.99. And then we've got, and again, this is one of mine, John. Oh, you made this one as well? I made this one so as well. So you can make four straight lines? I can do, I can do <laughs> straight lines. But I did make them, they have come out a bit smaller than what they should be. Oh, what, how big was your seam allowance? Uh, well, I don't know. I went by the straight lines, you know, on the bit where the needle is. <laughs> when I went by the guidelines on this that. This is sewing street, the expert <laughs> sewing channel. Oh, I don't know. That lines. That's, but look how beautiful is that? I love that kind of, I don't know what it's called, where you've kind of broken away the edges. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What, has it got a word? No, it hasn't. No, Ben, it I'm looks not as using though it's, it's, It looks as though it's dissolving, Yeah, like it? bubbles. It's yeah. kind of, it looks like it's underwater. And, it, and when the water moves, it's kind yeah. of... Yeah. Oh, apparently, apparently it's called distorted. <laughs> Being told. It? It's 100% distorted. Is it? Butch voice, <laughs> if he can do a butch voice. 14. <laughs> Why is it called distorted, then? I think our description's better, don't you? Yeah. That it yeah. looks as though it's dissolving. No, that, I, we don't think it's distorted, do we? No, no Michael's saying not distorted. No, though. distorted makes it feel as if it's gone wrong. Yeah. Look, look it's Becky, gone can you message in? Yeah, <laughs> message in. Is Ben right? Is it distorted? <laughs> oh, nobody's messaged in. Right, uh, I'm going to leave you here for a minute. Right, I'll tidy up. Because we're going to go and do some sewing. Yeah, okay. tidy up, please. <laughs> Thank you. And get them in the right order. Yeah, we'll do. <laughs> Oh, he's getting all upset now. He's distorted. <laughs> he's distorted. Oh, your it own's not on. Is it not on? No. Oh, I thought, oh. It is now. Right. Right. So okay. what have you done then? So this is the Lavender Love cushion. I've already cut it out just to save a little bit of time. Yeah. Um, plus the fact, me with something sharp on live telly on a really tall counter. That no. No. Are you so, a rotary cutter girl or a scissor girl? 
Rotary cutter. Yeah, you see, I, I'm always scissors because when I trained, there was no, we didn't have rotary cutters. Yeah. We just did scissors. Yeah, yeah. scissors. I'm, I always end up going a little bit skewy. Yeah. I need to practice more. Yeah. And what well, I've no, done... No, no, if you're happy, if you're happy doing a rotary cutter, then mm. do, do rotary cutter. Yeah, yeah it's oh, just oh, got a bit of wadding with. on the back. Yeah, so a little bit of wadding. And this is just so the previous show we did just as is. But I know our sellers at home are going to have loads of stash because I have yeah. lots of stuff. So, so what are you doing then? What I'm going to do is quilt all the way around the edge of the box. Oh, okay. Just to give it a little bit of depth. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to line up in the corner. Yeah. I'm just going to Can stand you see? Do you want me yeah. to lift you up? <laughs> <laughs> stand on my tippy toes and just get that exactly where I want it. And then I'm going to bring my stitch size right down, so it kicks. Down? You're going tiny? I'm going tiny. Oh, that's unusual for quilting. Because what I want to do is just anchor the stitch and then go back. Oh, I see. You're not going to sew the whole thing on tiny then? No. Well, I thought you could do the whole lot on tiny. No, I'm anchoring my stitch so it doesn't all unravel. I've learned that over the years. Yeah. <laughs> And then I'm literally just going to stick oh, straight along. over a pin. Straight over a pin, because these are really fine little pins anyway. Yeah. And we've both got glasses on, so we're fine. Right? Yeah. And then I'm just going to come into the corner. I'm going to lift that up, make sure I need to just bring that stitch size down so I can actually just get into get the, the corner. corner. And then give that a little twiddle. Remember to put my stitch size back up. Yeah. And then off we go again. So you can see how easy it is just to follow that line around. Yeah. And then I'm going to take that one out. There we go. Bring that in. And then check again. Bring that stitch size down to about the two, to about there. And then twiddle it around. There we go. And go for it again. So we're literally just following that line. Now, if you wanted to, you could really go for a lot of quilting and maybe quilt around the outside line as well. Yeah. Am I going to get another one in? Oh. That's near enough in the corner, that one. Actually, no, it's not. No, you're not far enough. No, you just need that little bit more. There we go. I reckon just the one. There we go. And come back up. Yeah. And then just work that right the way down to the end. Like that. And we've gone right in the corner. And then I'm going to take that stitch back down again. So I've gone to 0 0.6 and I'm going to press the back button yeah. and then just very gently bring that backwards and then forwards and then that should be nice and quilted so I'll take all the pins out. Yeah. Would you make, I mean I know you're going to do that one today but mm -hmm. at home you could do that line. Exactly. You? you could do round there if you wanted and all sorts well, of you things. Well you could go right the way around it or you could actually, now that bit's in there, you could go in and do your own free motion quilting in there mm, so you could actually, you. Um, I'm rubbish at that. Oh are you? Yeah. But Everyone says that about free motion. Yeah, apparently you just need to relax. Yes, relax your shoulders. Yeah. Because Sit down, don't because, do standing because up. Because I'm always like yeah, this. And don't breathe, you forget no, to breathe. No, I know. I forget to breathe most of the time anyway. <laughs> Lovely little scissors there. Now, these scissors will go back up to 12 99 at midnight tonight, and they're not supposed to be 12 they're not supposed to be 6 oh, 6 I need 99. these. I, ne I actually need these in my life, because my, my snippy snips have busted. Yeah. But these, look, they've even got a little clip on. Yeah, little sheath and everything. And they're left-handed or right-handed. Are they? Yeah, so you don't, you don't have better. to... Yeah, exactly. So right-handed and left-handed people, six ninety nine. Please make sure you check out on those. Hundreds have gone, but I just don't want you to miss out because I think when they come back next time, they'll be twelve ninety nine. Personal opinion, personal opinion. Right then, right. so, as I said, you could go in, you could quarter it, you could go in and free motion it yeah. if you wanted to, but what I've done here, this is the back. There we've got one line across there. Can okay. you see I've stitched? 
and then I've already done two on that side just to save a bit of time. So is your two one the one that's going to be seen by us? I'm it's... actually going to stitch another one on there. Oh, you're going to stitch on two as well? Yeah, yeah, just, yeah. So, just so it's nice and neat, because yeah. even though you can't see it, I'll know that it's yeah. there. So I'm going to line that up. I want my stitch at three and a half again, and then I want to bring that over. So I've used zero for my stitch width there, yeah. and then the same here, and I've just... On That's that the one. stitch width, not the, not the stitch length. We haven't gone to a yeah. zero stitch length. So it's, it's the width away from there. And then yeah. this one is seven. So it's the... Everyone at home knows what I'm on about yeah. anyway. Yeah. Everyone knows. They all know what I'm talking about. Sandra Santangle, did you bring an extra label with you today by any chance? Because we need to label. Oh, too late now. She brought me a badge. She said, I said she didn't give me a badge. Fine. The go, Jackie so. and, the, and the gang know about your badges. Right. Snip, snip. Yep. And then I'm just going to set this with the iron. Yeah. So, set the stitches. So, just give that a nice little press. And I'm actually going to press the front as well, just Lovely. to make sure that that's nice. If you wanted this really, really poofy, you could use polyester wadding, which would give, yes. it's got a higher loft, doesn't it? Yeah, so, you can make you it could really do. poofy with that. Or what you could do, oh, yeah. or oh. is something that I have done in the past, yeah. is get some thin, um, just some thin cotton fabric, yeah. and do exactly the same thing there, but then slit along, so you're making like an opening, yeah. and then put lots and lots of wadding in, so it actually then becomes puffy. Oh, right, like a trapunto almost. Yes, to, to, you yes. Know, Toronto, where you, you, you stuff it into... Yeah, well, you, you, yeah. Could, you could do that with wow. that, so it could actually then be yeah, yeah. Well, a cushioned cushion. Yes. I'm full of these bright ideas, yeah. you know. Right, so my envelope back, top first. So, so now you've not got direction on this fabric, have you? So, uh, no, it doesn't matter which yeah. way I go with this one. And then the one that's going to go underneath, that's the bottom. And that's the easiest way to remember it. Mm -hmm. And then give it a wiggle and line it up. And then we're going to go in and pin. Lovely. So starting off on the overlaps. So there's one there and then you can come down, feel where that one is. Like so. That bent pin. It's I know, it's ever so slightly wonky. Yeah, maybe you ran over it with your sewing machine. Nita. I maybe did. I do, st I do try and straighten them out. I've a I'm actually using new pins. Oh, are you? Because the pins I've got at home are shameful. Yeah. They're very good. I think we all do that, don't we? We all kind of have them in our pin and uh, don't ever throw it. If you get right. a bent one, you just put it back in the pin cushion, don't you? You don't yeah. think, well, I should throw that one away. I tend to try and straighten them out, especially these ones, because they're really fine. And then oh. that one's gone ever so slightly. slightly off, yeah. I've gone a little bit wonky with that one, so I'm just going to straighten that yeah. up. Or well, you could blame the panel designer. It's probably the person that cut it out. <laughs> That's not me, she says. It's not me. <laughs> Which was me. I cut this out, so I've probably cut it out ever so slightly wonky. But it doesn't matter because you've got enough seam allowance there anyway. Yeah, exactly. So we can go in there and then, yeah, look, it's gone one key. We're just going to go with it because if this yeah. happens at home. The thing is, when you do stuff, yeah, it happens to us all all the time. Mm -hmm. When you're doing dressmaking, though, you'd have to rethink that because obviously yes. it's, it's not, it might be something that makes it not fit. Whereas on a cushion. Exactly. On a cushion, it doesn't matter. Yeah. But I know I've made a skirt before. Um, I've only worn it once because it's. It's not very pretty, but <laughs> this is another reason why I don't make clothes. Yeah. I need to go and do proper dressmaking class, I yeah. think. Learn properly. Right, so now I'm just going to bob that around about there. So I want a quarter inch seam allowance. So I'm going to knock that one down, and then I'm going to bring my stitch width down as well. Uh -huh. And then start off secure that stitch and then I'm coming down here as I get to this bit I actually want to back stitch over there as well yeah. so I'm going to go forwards and then backwards because that's the construction point there when I'm shoving a pillow in it what I don't want to do is end up shoving a pillow shoving a pillow you place the pillow with the pad cushion pad <laughs> that's the one 
so just, I don't want it to split up. And, so no, I'm going to no come. Noise when you hear that ripping, that kind of that and that tearing of stitch noise. You think, oh, I've got to it's like I've, I've literally just made that. Right, so just... Say that again. Background. Oh, distortion. It's, what is it? Muted, apparently. Thanks, Muted Becky. Matter. Rebecca who? That's Becky. That's our Becky. Rebecca said them. That's our Becky. Oh! It's Becky, Be Becky. Your Becky. Yeah. Sorry, I don't think know who you are. I think you meant like <laughs> our Rebecca Reed. So Becky's at home with her kids. Yes. But she's watching. She go, oh, yes. Well, she'll be watching on t one TV and the kids will be watching. Oh. Um, so what did she say it was called? Muted. We she goes by a posh name, Rebecca. Rebecca. Rebecca, I was going to say, I was thinking Rebecca Rebecca said, and yes. <laughs> So, and again, going over the construction points, just coming back there. There we go. Slow down a bit. And then just reinforce that corner. And then I've got the last bit. And like you pointed out earlier, you don't need to leave your turning gap for this. No, of course Because not. you've got your envelope. What's that thing over there that's rolled over the table? Where? That, that thing white thing? Oh, I never saw that there. That is my... Have a look. Oh, uh, I knew, because I've seen the bumblebee yeah. bottom ones, but... What's and that's the... Same, just a bigger one. Oh. Mm. But that's, like, grippy, so yeah, it gets yeah, all yeah, the yeah. little picky yeah, bits out. Yeah, it gets all the bits out, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, I have to get one of those in. I can't remember where I got that. I have a tendency to pick stuff up. Do what? I have a tendency to pick stuff up and think, oh, that, that'll come in handy. What, nick it, you mean? Well, no, not quite. Yeah, I'm keeping an eye on those but scissors, yeah. Michael. Those yeah, scissors these there. scissors might just fall into my bag. I think there's a queue of people who want to fall into the bag, actually. Right then, so now we'll snip the corners. Yeah. <clears throat> Here we go. Oh, that one didn't snip. Oh. There we go. And then I'll give it a quick press and then we can turn it. Whoops. It's got a life of its own, it that thing, is not it? Yeah, because I do, you know the little ones that come with, me, with the machine? Yeah. And that's great, but I can't find it. Okay. No, no, but those ones with the... With, we, we used to sell them <coughs> with the Gutemann thread. Mm. They have, like, that kind of bee thing on... I call it yeah. a beehive on the end. And it just takes... Because when you unppick, there's nothing worse than having all lots and lots of little bits. Well, this bits. is it. You've got all those tiny yeah. little bits and that of just thread. Them, doesn't yeah, it? it's like a little silicon thing, isn't it? It just picks up your threads and it just saves that yeah. time from having to sit there and unpick them properly. You can do quick unpicking mm -hmm. with that. Right. And it's so iron. I don't know if we've got any left today, actually. <coughs> We'll just have a quick look. I love that one. That's and there's, isn't it? there's one in the in the green room as well, one of the big ones. Oh, they've sold out. They've sold out. The big yellow one, the one that lifts up like that. Yeah. Have you nicked it? Because uh, someone was looking for it earlier and it's yeah, not I'd, there anymore. Yeah, I'd frisco when she goes out, if okay. I were you. <laughs> there's a, when you go through the front door, there's a, one of those beep Oh, like yeah. <laughs> frisk, yeah. <laughs> We've got one of those, you know, those arches that yeah. go beep. Yeah, it's hidden in the doorway. <laughs> yeah. so. Because before, up until recently, there was nobody, there was security used to be just at the gate. I know. Now they're at the entrance of the gate and they're as you come in through the front door. Right, so now I'm just going to give that a little wiggle. And then we can straighten that out in there. Like so. Flatten Brilliant. that out. Another quick press just to make sure it's all nice and neat. Yeah. Because I use a full-size iron at home. I don't, I've got a little one, but I don't yeah. use it that often. That's this is kind of a midi one, isn't it? Because we do the little, little one. This and we do the big lovely. one. Yeah. This is lovely. Yeah. This is lovely. I think I might need this one more than I need the other. Yeah, it's kind of nicely... Because uh, people look at this hand, yeah. it's really difficult to hold on to, but it's, it's actually not, quite it's a nice... Lovely. It fits and you, in the and you put the water in at the top. I don't know yeah. why I'm selling it, because we haven't got it to sell, <laughs> but it's a lovely Well, ain't that typical? When are you getting them back in stock? Oh, we'll get them back soon, I'm sure. I'll have to keep my eyes peeled for that then. Right then, and I think that that is just about that. Yeah. So let's move the iron out of the way, and I'll pop that flat so you can see the quilting around the edge. As I said, you could go. Yeah, you could, you, could do all, you could do all sorts, couldn't you? Exactly. 
But they're lovely quick projects as well, aren't they? So if you suddenly thought, oh, Envelope. I've got to see, go and see Linda this afternoon. Oh, I've not got a little gift or anything. Could you could run this one of those it. up. Exactly. You? you can make somebody something like that. And this is a 16 by 16 size cushion. And you end up with a nice plump. Like, yeah, you, and, and, yeah, there's nothing worse, isn't there, when you see a cushion cover and you put the cushion <coughs> in and it hasn't got and, enough cushion in it. I know, so and it, limp. It, yeah, exactly. Yeah. There's nothing worse than yeah. a limp one. You want a nice plump. <laughs> I'm moving on. <laughs> right, come on then, let's recap. Are these in the right order? Yes, boss. Are they? Yes. I'm not the boss, I just come <laughs> in and shout. Right, where would you like to go first then, Ben? Right, what is that? W Y U U fourteen. Oh, A Y seven eight completely sold out. Right. Y T O two first. Then is that this one? I think isn't it? Yes, uh, this is the panel. Oh, that's the panel, but these are the five inch squares. This is the cushion cover. Yeah. These are the five inch squares. Beautiful, aren't they? Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I hate it when you watch a shopping telly and people go and say this, but I'm going to say it. It's been an incredibly busy hour. So please, please, please check out. I hate it when you're watching a shopping channel and two minutes in, they go, oh, 80% has gone. No. Oh, it's the busiest hour, <laughs> busiest hour. And they're still selling it an hour later. And you're going, how can it have been? And we're totally, I mean, totally, I'll tell you. I think what we, the Crafty Witches, are good at doing is pulling out Talking. the colours. Oh, well, we're good, at, we're good at that. Well, we're <laughs> Smack in one when I go up there. <laughs> told you you make match. No, it's starting to give me a complex that I talk to. It's because, you know, when you've been married for 45 years, there's not a lot you've got to say to each other. So when I come <gasps> here, I can oh. talk. No, honestly. I'll I talk you still talk. Talk. Do you know, there was one time many years ago, he came home from work and I thought, do you know what? I'm sick of starting all the conversations. I'll wait for him to start. I'll wait for him. Two days later, he said, have I missed something? I said, like, what? He said, have we had an argument? You're not speaking <laughs> to me. And I said, no, I'm just proving a point. Oh. I'm the one that starts all the conversations. So I make up for it when I come here. Oh. It deserves I'll, a I'll medal, a... that man. It's what? <laughs> it deserves a medal. He does. does he? Yeah, he does. How many years? I love him. 40, yeah, I 45 years. Oh, here we go. He's what? 45 years they've been wed. Bless my husband, house. I have one word to describe him. He's a gentleman. Oh, that's nice. And he's my rock. Yeah, exactly. And we, we kind of mess around and joke and everything. We're only messing around. And she's only messing... I mean, she's not messing around when she's his rock. But, like, we all do that to people yeah. we love. Don't we go, yeah. oh, he's this, he doesn't speak. Well, it's, actually, it's, adoring, it's like how I take the mick out of hells. Because well, she easy. knows. <laughs> well, it is, you know. <laughs> she's a prime target, isn't she? she just, but right. what we are good at is picking out the exact shades of colours... When you look at that in its entirety, there's nothing jars on the eye no. for the because it stands out for the wrong reason. It's the wrong it, shade that's of blue. Really funny show, cause I used to do costumes for films, right? And I used to think if people notice some man's costume, then you've done something wrong. Yes. Because yes, sometimes somebody has to have a spl splendiferous costume to come down the staircase, but it's supposed to enhance the story. Yes. It's not the story. And we, we've we've taken the same. Um, take on these as we do with our paper kits that everything mixes, matches, and harmonizes. Oh, she's been practicing. Right, okay, that's that one, fourteen ninety nine. Then we've got that one in a panel, haven't we? There, yes, which is number four. You've got this Jeez. one as a, as a oh, cushion. Oh, no, hang on. Uh, the, cushion, that's a yeah, cushion yeah, that's the right one, isn't it? With yeah. the word hope, hope. on. Because, you know, we, the, we have to have hope that the planet well, and is And also, you know, survive. there's a village in North Wales called Hope. Is that? And so, uh, Catherine, my friend Catherine used to live there. She said, I'm Catherine, I live in Hope. Oh, <laughs> that's a good one, isn't it? <laughs> so there you go, you get the front of the cushion, two backs and a spare piece. Fourteen ninety nine. Beautiful. And that's, that makes this. No? Yeah, yeah, that yep. makes this. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Would you like those, Michael, so you can start packing? Yeah, the big ones. There you go. <laughs> right, next where, Ben? Uh, this one's the one we showed very right at the beginning. So this is the one we've got the quilt at, behind um, Hell's. It's very elegant, this one, yes, isn't it? Yes, yes. This is very kind of Downton Abbey, yes, upstairs, it is. downstairs, yes. isn't it? But I like, my favourite colour is black because it, it adds a hint of drama. Black you can put with any colour in the spectrum. You know, I mean, I wish I were on commission for the amount of sheets of black card that I have sold over oh, the really? 20 years because I, I, I take 
some of the credit for starting the black card. You don't have to use a lot of black, just a hint of black. Just makes colours pop. Yeah, well, no, I, when I sell jewellery, black opal was my favourite because you put a black background with colours that have to pop out of it, like a bolder opal, the colours automatically yes. are much, yeah. much deeper. And I like a quilt sometimes, with a, like I've got a trip around the world quilt, which has got a navy blue background, and all Dog. the colours yes. on it just jump yeah. out, don't they? That's... Uh, uh, 14.99. That's for a boudoir, isn't it? Oh, is that it? One? Boudoir. <laughs> boudoir. So you've got that and you've got wild above the bed. <laughs> Fine. What's next? HI20. Is that that that's one that's the, in a panel um, there? The, oh, the love. The cushion. There you go. So that's one side of it there. I'll do it like that. Then they've got there. The thing that I love as well is you've not all of your uh, accessories, because that's the freebie, that's all yes. just a bit added yeah. on to the thing. Even that's beautiful. So you've yeah. thought about but everything. That is you? a beautiful background. Yeah. Even yeah. though it's not, well, you'd make your pouch or something like that, because you can yes. use this for your I would use cushion, this for yeah. the cushion. Your black. Yes, yeah. So, and if you opened your wardrobe at home, what percentage of it is black? Um, well, oh. I wear plain colours on air. We were always told if you wear block colours. Yeah. That you if, you, if you had a pattern, it stands out more. So um, you, will, you will always see us in block colours because we had it ingrained into our, um, into our bit. It's really funny because when I first got off the job at Sewing Quarter and I said, oh, when I'm selling fabrics, I'll just wear a plain shirt because it'll be the fabric. But they can't do that because I'd be changing every second. Yeah, second so hour, you, you find, and we wear black. Yeah. For black but in real life. Um, I wear all sorts of, but I like, I like, I do like black because it makes you look thinner as well. And yeah. I need all the help I can no get. Um, <laughs> I do. Um, but I think black always looks. Oh, it's, oh, it's, um. Shall I let you into a Savore, secret? Savore, is yeah. it? With net underneath? This was Hell's. And she only wore it oh, once. Health. Health. And she lost so much weight that she gave me it. Oh, that's a bit of a backhanded cunt. <laughs> I can't, uh, this doesn't fit me anymore. You have it. Oh, I didn't mind. I didn't mind. It's nice. Though, I, actually, it? tell the truth. I didn't say, would you like this? You said, I want that because it's too big for you. Oh, OK. So how, how, did, you, how did you do it? Same in world, uh, Weight Watchers? Um, eight less, started walking. So oh, so you didn't do a, a thingy? Okay. No, no. Oh. No, I do Nordic walking now. Did you do it during lockdown? Did you do it during lockdown? You did it. No, uh, start of 2022. Oh wow! So just recently, well, that's brilliant. She's got another one that I'm after, but she hasn't. Oh, lost another it blouse. Enough. Yeah. It's not, too big, it's not too big it's, for you. It's not too big for you yet, but I will get it. Uh, which one next? <laughs> watch the watch and watch. watch <laughs> I'll, this I'll tell it you. Like. No, it, it, it's like all embroidered, isn't it? Yeah, it's um, lots and lots of sequins <gasps> and seed pearls in, oh, in like what? a paisley pattern. I bet, I bet. It, it was very expensive. <laughs> yeah, you are 15. So, so if I'm, you see her on air next yeah, wearing that. And I'm wearing that. Or out That's clubbing. One of <laughs> out clubbing wearing her sequins. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, this is your lavender. Lavender they, love. I wore mini skirts that were like pelmets. I mean, these, these youngsters these days think they invented hot the pants and is, things. is, isn't it funny? Like, you see things and youngsters go, oh, look. Yeah, go, go, I'm, I'm talking know, about my niece, nephew. Go, I wore that the first yeah, time. Yeah, pla platform, yeah. <gasps> platform shoes, shoes and stuff. Yeah, oh, twisted your my, ankle more I than enough. I you know. loved my platform shoes. that were the Heels were this big yeah. and the platforms that I loved. Those. And my brother had, um, you know, like Noddy Holder. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it was my stepfather because my stepfather had long hair. In fact, if, from the back, he looked like a woman because these builders wolf whistled at him <laughs> and he turned around. He anyway, what shoes did he have He had a, he full, have be full beard like Roy Woodoff oh, wizard. Uh, uh, what shoes, though? What shoes did he have? Were you talking about his platform shoes? Oh, yes, he had platform boots with stars on. Oh, I had those, the stars, and then the petals in brown and green. Yes, yeah, yeah. I had those. And then the yellow and the red ones as well. Uh, there's your one with your gingham. Are oh, you plaid on that one? Doesn't that shade of green go beautifully with that lavender? Yeah. Now, does it just come naturally to you then, or you're in your team to, to team these up? No, this this is Becky. This is Becky at her finest. She, Becky she messages just, Yeah, she just knows instinctively. Like I said, and I mean this with all honesty, I couldn't wish to work with better people than I do. Oh. We're very lucky. We are one family, even though, because we fight like families do. Yeah. I mean, just, you know, just a couple of years ago, I gave Hells my embroidery machine. I gave her everything because I, I wasn't going to sew at yeah. ages. 
I've had to ask her back for it back. Not me embroidery machine. I've left her with that. Yeah. But I've had to get me cutting mats. And Do you know what? I did exact same when I was at Roxton Co. I thought, I'm selling jewellery now. I gave Dulcie all my sewing machines, yeah. all my sewing stuff from my filming days. And then a few weeks later, I get a job on sewing quarter. I haven't asked for it back, though. Well, right. no, she offered. <laughs> She offered to give it you back. Yeah, I even gave her my mum's sewing box because oh. I wasn't using it. But, Mum, I've got it back. Mom, oh, I've yeah, got Dulcie's back. got... I've got this... I had this lovely Silco box, like a 1920s Silco box with the drawers oh, and the yeah. Silco drawn on it. This is a cantilever one that <gasps> my mum had. Very nice. 14 99 Oh, God, I can't move on. Come, last one. One more, one more, one more. Oh, sorry, Michael. One more. Oh, no, I've got two more, actually. Sorry, I've got two more. <coughs> right, so... Oh, this is pretty. This is the baby cushion. And remember, you can make bags out of this one. Yeah. Work. That'd be good for keeping your nappy, because it's a nice yeah. size to keep your nappies and your thing when you've got the, the bottles baby. Put it on the and back everything. Of your yeah. and everything. Beautiful. And then I've got one more WY14. And then this is your wild. Wild. Yeah. I'll, I'll, <laughs> you didn't make out my accent. No. <laughs> I'm northern too. Not quite as north. <laughs> I know, it's the Midlands. I mean, people say, oh, I live no, in the north. No, I'm from the northwest, me. I'm All from right. Chester. They say, oh, I live in the north. Yeah, I'm only 62 miles from the Scottish borders, you mm. know, the north. I once got asked by this lady many years ago. Um, she, she, we were in a shop and the, a customer in front of me was trying to pay with a Scottish pound note and she wouldn't take, take it. it. And I said, it's legal tender. So we see loads of where I live. Where do you live? And I said, only in Newcastle upon Tyne. She said, do you have pound coins <gasps> up there? And you know, I said, I said, we even have colour television. <laughs> <laughs> right, ladies, it's been a pleasure. Well Thank done you. on your very first Thank show. You. It's been marvellous. <laughs> well done. And we are friends, and I've got my walnut mug now. Uh, right, uh, when are you next, you know? Uh, May the 1st or 2nd. Oh, bank, another bank holiday then? Yeah, oh yeah. No, no, because it's the middle of the week, because it has to oh, be a bank holiday Monday, Monday yeah. doesn't it? Oh, okay. I was thinking oh. May the 1st, that's the day we dance around the Maypole, isn't it? Yeah, where we used to <laughs> when we were kids. Did do you? they still do that? We do in our village. Oh. Anyway, look, uh, tomorrow's menu, I've got to go. Tomorrow's menu. Miss it, miss out. Stop waving, we haven't said goodbye yet. Miss it, miss out. Quilt kids at 8 o'clock. Who is it tomorrow? Is it Vix? Uh, four mm. Seasons Cushions with Sandy Chocolate Chip Cookie. Uh, now, is that the Helen Newton cushion? That's Helen Newton cushion. Then we've got the Sage Brush Top by Friday Company with Adele Rowland. Then we've got the Lion City Bag with Sandy Chocolate Chip Cookie.